All right. Hello and welcome back, everyone. We're going to be playing some Conan today on a Friday stream. My goodness, look at that. Two things that don't happen often. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So we're playing on an official server, as I do like this challenge. I don't like. I did poke around a little bit to see how intense it's going to be, and it does look like there's some Alpha Clans on here. Do you want to do Mitra, or do you want to do? What did your I always end up going for Mitra, but I think their is tactically better. We'll go for Mitra. The Ambrose is crazy, and besides, we'll run into the jungle. No one's ever in the jungle. It's a safe place. It's a safe God, place. It always is. Watching. It's always a safe place. Most people don't like. There's like only ever one clan that ever hangs out in, um, in the jungle, just because it's never a. It's not. It's not a fun place for most people to build. So it's very rare for anyone. Let's get the hair out of our face. Eyes are fine. Facial is good. Eyeshadow none. Facial details doesn't matter. We'll go with green eyes this time. Green, light green. Let's go light green eyes this time. We're a big guy. Big physique. We have slightly bigger packs. There we go. Done. Done and done. We're out of here. But how's it going today, Dalka? How are you doing? How are you doing? Zaldor Sumerian, condemned to death and exiled for crimes including impersonating a priestess, <laughs> strangling a moneylender, and assassinating a merchant. I feel I feel like we might I, this again might have been another time in which we've done three crimes in one go. We impersonated a priestess to try and get some money out of a moneylender. Didn't go so well. We we strangled him. Turns out he was also actually a respected merchant. Who knew? <laughs> Want to know how you impersonated a priestess? Listen, we're really really convincing. We've got a we've got a really good uh, feminine voice, and we just uh, we walked around with like the best makeup on. You saw we were wearing eyeshadow earlier. We're just very good with paints. We just painted ourselves looking perfect. Any who removes this body, living or dead. From the crop, from the cross, will be flayed alive along with all members of their family. Done. Let's get in here. Very concealing clothes. They probably helped a lot. Yeah. The cobra. We will skip that. We do not need to know the introduction. It is not important. Oh my goodness! We're right next to a wall. All right. So we're playing chapter three of the Age of Sorcery, which is there's new journey steps. In the top right, Survivor, take your first steps. I've not looked at any of this stuff before. And so it's no longer like a... There's quite a few of them. It's no longer like a... Here's a list of... like Because it used to be just all of these unknowns, and you just kind of clicked through them, and you kind of did them. But now we have to go and like do these journeys, but we get a reward from them. So our goal in this playthrough is to go through the journeys and maybe, maybe mess with the Alpha Clans. <laughs> Maybe mess with the Alpha Clans. We'll see. We'll see how much tomfoolery we get up to. But we can see here that there are, in fact, some Tier 3 Altars. So there is at least an Alpha Clan on the server. <laughs> There's at least an Alpha Clan. I'm assuming it's more than one, looking at where their builds are. These locations could be... They, like, these two might be tied together and these two might be tied together. But I don't see how this one and this one would be the same. Nor this one and this one, because it, building between the two is kind of obnoxious. And we have no idea if there's anyone over here, or... Oh, did the game just crash? Or, oh, no, we're back. or if they're up here. Just my mouse stopped working, okay. That could be dangerous. Or if there's anyone up here, we have no idea. We only know where those are. Well, that's a nice, a nice little sound. Search the billowing smoke in the southern desert for exit. Okay, we can do that. Um, I think we need to do that for... Is that going to be for something else? On the broken highway, what is it? J? J. Search for intelligent life, right? Because that's it used to be a search for intelligent life was listening to the thing. Nothing here says search for intelligent life. Alright, maybe we just don't need to listen to it. Alright. We'll still listen to it. We can't do the climbing and whatnot anymore. <laughs> Take advantage of that, huh? How's it going, Nova? How are you doing today? See it's par for the course. How you pull off the priestess seduction, we'll never know. Nor do you wish to know. Just two. Oh, this is really cool. We're just, we're too good. Friday stream, and back down to the Conan rabbit hole. Yes, here we go. <laughs> here we go. How's it going, Valnar? How are you doing, Nova? This is really cool. 
Can I take this? I can take the plants. Okay. I can take the fiber to do that. Alright. Uh, dead man. Big cart. What else going on with the cart here? Search nearby for supplies. Dead bodies, crates, or chests. Okay. Can I loot these? No. Can I loot this? No. Can I loot anything? I can loot this. No. I can't loot any of this. Okay. Search for supplies. Search nearby for supplies. Dead bodies, crates, and chests are among the things that can contain useful items. Chest containers can use E for. I don't see any useful chests. There's something I can interact with, right? Picking up stones and stuff, but I can't interact with these. Ah, no, this is a chest we can interact with. Here we go. It's got meat. Oh, wait, we instantly acquired a meat when I opened it, too. That was weird. Okay. Done. Eat and drink. Okay. Oh, okay. So we'll go ahead and chuck these on our hot bar here. So we'll go ahead and do that because our food and hunger are down. We'll drink. We'll eat. And then we'll get that one done. Not M, but J. Next is gather plant fiber. Oh, we have to do it in order. Oh, because I've already gathered. Okay, we have to do this like literally in order. So we've gained a level. Gather plant fiber. Plant fiber complete. What? Basically interacting with it. Okay, I did. Do I need to gather more? Was that not? Oh. Click that. I am right. Left we can listen to that while we try and get. The there it is. Okay, we just needed to get more. There are others here. <laughs> Slaves, bandits, and cannibals. Exiles from lands I've never heard of. Huh. Some of them try to scrape a life from the wasteland, scrabbling in the rocks and sand for their own place. I think this is new. I cannot go on. The life that I left behind haunts me. The sun over the glittering spires of Belverus is forever denied me. The smell of my daughter's hair. Nope, now we've heard this before. I will pass the ghost fence. <laughs> and this cursed land will finally end me. To whoever reads this note, I leave the last of my water and this message. Stranger, you have my pity. You do not right? know how cursed... You truly are. Pants on. And shirt on. There we go. Now we're civil. Wearing some clothes. How's it going, Della Duke? Uh, Della Duke, how are you doing today? Is there a way to watch your Darkest Dungeon playthrough? No! There isn't. We played that before I started actually recording and holding on to all the VODs. I wish we did. I really do. But we, the Darkest Dungeon playthrough, just like the RimWorld playthroughs, are gone to the ether. Yeah. Spend an ability point, search for more survivors, gather stone. Jeez, okay. So we can't even gather stone yet. Alright. So, spend an ability point. So we'll go back to... Was it an ability point? Don't want... What do I want to put points in first? Uh, we're going to want strength for damage, we're going to vitality for health, we're going to need to be able to carry more stuff. Let's just put one in strength for now. We get the heavy blows... Heavy and special attacks are 10% more damage. That's good, but durability of things is better. We'll go and we'll start putting points in here. We'll probably just kind of wiggle between the two, honestly. We don't have to specialize in one before the other. All right, search for more survivors. The road leads north of the desert. Follow to search for more exiles. All right, off we go. Barely catch you live, but you watch a lot of the VODs? Well, I appreciate that. And thanks for letting me know. It's always good to know that people are enjoying the VODs. Yeah, no, I wish we could get that up there. The The Witcher series is the last one that needs to get up onto onto YouTube that hasn't been placed up yet. It's the last one. Got to do that. Let's see here. Um, another gripe you have with Bannerlord now is that while it may be fun doing the whole Empire playthrough, you would have been more fitting for them to make a second best equipment bearing that uh, they could currently have. Mm -hmm. An empire does not say that... Wait, well, let, me, let me pay full attention to this. An empire does not say that unfiled without having the strongest... In, um, in, oh, it doesn't say, okay. 
does not stay that unified. I'm like, what? <laughs> doesn't say. Doesn't stay that unified without having this strong and uh, in innovative standing armor uh, army. Yeah, you definitely need one. For sure. Read it again? Yeah, it was pretty bad. I think I understand the, the gist of what you're saying now. So wait, is this a different journal than the one we were just listening to? Oh yeah, this is the one saying there's like people, there's, there, we need fire. Right? God's curse this sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were forced I've to take never known a beast that doesn't the take the taste of fire and a blade. There's something in the storm. Beasts. We hear the skittering of their paws outside the ruins and their howls mingled with the screaming winds. Okay, so how does this work? I put the work journey? crafting root of entry weapons and torches from the Okay, so now we gather stones and branches and make a pick. I've yet to meet a beast that like fire. Or the bite of the axe. Or the bite of the axe. Uh any more stone. Unfortunately, Bamlord does not technically develop. Yeah. It doesn't technologically develop at all. You're, you're stuck in, like, one age. But it would be cool if you could do that. I'm sure there could be a mob that would do that eventually, right? Someone goes and builds that out. I guess I need more branches? Or did we get those done? No. Gather stone. I guess I haven't gathered enough stone. It might be that... Oh, I see in the top right it says four of five. Well, now, now I understand. <laughs> I'm, like, over here, like, but I did it. No, no, there's, there's a specific amount required before you, you you pass. I understand. All right, we're learning this together. We're learning this together. I know this game very, very well. I put hundreds of hours into this game, and we have two playthroughs on YouTube right now. But this is a brand new system. We're figuring it out. We're pretty far to the, yeah, pretty far over to the west. So we grab some more branches once we get into the, the actual port. Oh! We found our first first building. All right. We're not playing a hardcore. We're not playing a uh, an Iron Man run this time. Five of those. So we don't have to worry about dying. But I still don't want to die if we can help it. All right. A pick is next, which is good as it should be. The pick is the more important one. Insects away. Pink journey. It's done. Harvest stone with a pick, and then make a stone weapon. Is there any stone around here that I can actually mine? No. Alright, we can go mine this stone. I think we just have to break one full stone, I imagine, right? Yeah, there we go. Let me make a stone weapon. Okay. Um. Oh, I can't make a weapon yet. It's telling me to make a weapon before teaching me how to actually create weapons. I can't jump to this one until this one's done. Brutal. Okay. Make a stone weapon. It says, craft a stone weapon from the from inventory and tab. But it doesn't tell you how to make a weapon. These aren't weapons. These are all tools. So it doesn't tell you how to do that. So that looks like an oversight. They didn't quite get that one sorted. You have to unlock good old warrior here first. Wait, new journey step unlocked warrior. Oh, with it unlocked now I can do the warrior journey step? That's why it was locked? <sighs> Prerequisite, I see. So let's... If we switch journey, this one's now locked, and this one we can do. Okay, cool. So we can do roll, kick. Uh, what else is on there? Stone club. Which I guess we're going to have to make two stone clubs, aren't we? Let's make a stone club. Okay, and then we'll go back over to this. No, don't skip. No, no don't do that. No, no skipping. Switch journey. <laughs> Jeez. Back here, and then we'll make the sword. Because I need a stone weapon. Right? Oh, maybe it... Huh. Okay. Craft a bedroll, place a bedroll, slay an enemy. Alright, cool. So we'll take pay attention to those in a minute. Look at those in a bit. Alright, who is this? Who are you? Who is this man? Where's your door? There's your door. Who are you? Ray. Alright. Here we go. Start to mark the map. Number one is Ray. Alright. First place found. Alright, next is bedrolls. Swing to bedroll. We can make a bedroll. We have everything we need to do that. 
building items. Make me a bedroll. Go ahead and we'll just dump this bedroll somewhere nearby. Put it in. Not allowed to build here. Oh, I think I'm too close to those guys. Makes sense. We'll dump it in there. I heard something. I got C in this game for crouching. <laughs> Gotta remember. Alright, what's next? Slay an enemy, craft rafts. Alright, well, we're we're in luck. Got an enemy right here. What we got? I'll take that. Watch out! Carpenter 2. We'll take him down. Mr. Interesting. We actually keep our other our forearm up on our as if we're gonna be blocking with it. Interesting. Yeah, let's take him down. One more. Oh geez. There we go. Oh, just auto locked onto the next one. What do we get? Some ramps. And do you have anything useful for me? I'm just gonna take everything right now. Oh my goodness, an iron pick. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. That works. I mean, we can't rebuild it right now. So, actually, the iron pick's going to be used only for collecting iron. But we got an iron pick. That's pretty cool. We'll leave that on the bar. Horse gloves. Sand gloves. Okay, nothing special. Wait, do I have a second water skin? I do. I'm going to go and sort that out. Having the forearm raised may mean you're trying to protect yourself. Protect your largest target. That thing, your torso. Yeah, it just it just feels kind of odd, but it does make sense. I mean, hey, we might be able to Wonder Woman it and get it on our super magical bracer, right? That might work. Now, right, what's next? Create rough wraps, heal yourself, and then harvest meat from a corpse. Yikes, okay. All right, so then first things first, let's go to consumables. We'll make rough wraps. We should actually make three rough wraps. Move that over. And again, in progress completed. Ah, from the challenges. Cool. I was like, what was that? Alright, done. And then heal yourself. So, six. Nope. Oh, we've got kills. Kills is on. All the way to Barracks Star Wars. What? Okay. Kills is. A clan's followers map. Oh man, I have to remember how, where all this stuff is. Where do we see chat logs and Wendy? Let's uh, jump up here. How do we do this again? It's server player list. That's the one. So we got, okay, we got a bunch. Holy, there's a lot of people online. All right, so we've got Wendy and Scavs, and we have kills and demo crew. We've not found them yet, but again, we've just started. Let's see. Position, heal thyself. Yes, heal thyself. It must be done. All right, what is next? Next is harvest a corpse. Won't cry if you say so. Done. Refill your water skin. All right, off we go. Oh, what we found? Actually, need some more water. Yeah, we found just a just an open base of kinlid. Okay. I don't know how big Kinlet is. Are they hiding in here? They are. Perfect. So they're brand new. That is great to hear. So that means that we we found our place. We're going to set up shop here. We're just going to use their base as, as our starter. They've got everything we need here. We don't need to build anything. This works out well for us. Scavs here? No way, man. I mean, it seems like they've moved on over. Let's get over here and let's fill up the water skin. There we go. Next what? Primitive cook? Unlock primitive cook. Okay, we can do that. Primitive cook. Unlocked. Next, craft a campfire. All right, can do. Building things, campfire, build campfire, get that off. It's not a not so hostile takeover. Yeah, this is like, he's left the base out here, which is very kind of him. So we can just use everything here build along. There's nothing of important 
there's, there's no real important items here that he's going to be too sad about losing if someone takes, unless someone already came by and took everything. So, I mean, hey, that works for me. Um, but let's also make sure we get this on here. Kin Lend. Kin Lend. Alright, Kin Lend is here. Just mark down. Alright, let's go ahead and we'll just make a make a little fire a little bit further away. Okay, done. Next is put the fuel in there and get, Okay, we're not gonna eat the the rotten human meats. So we're gonna go ahead and instead go grab this. Oh, actually, for us to do that, what we can do is we can swap to this journey. What is it? Lock onto target, perform heavy attack, apply sunder, unlock defender. Okay. Lock on. Okay, heavy attack finished. No sunder, but heavy attack finished. I gotta hide off of him. That's not what I want. Let's go take the let's go take the mama down. We should be able to get a sunder this way too. There we go. There's the sunder. Two sunders, in fact. Oh, come on. There we go. Game another level. Perfect. Go harvest this for hopefully some meat. No. Okay, I won't give meat unless I actually use a tool for meat. Oh, there's another one. We're finding some shacks here and there. If somebody ransacked the place before, talk about knocking them further when they're already down. Yeah, I know. Like, they're already down and out. Like, you don't need to do that. Grab this guy. What's the next one? Is unlock defender. So we'll go do that real quick. Defender is a free. It's a free one of memory serves. Is that just armor? It's just armor. One of the combat. Defender gets yeah, a free knowledge, so we'll go unlock that. Okay. Let's those guys fight each other. Looks like it didn't unlock for some reason. Uh oh. <laughs> And we're gaining some good levels out of this, but, um... Okay. There we go, I got some fair, fair flesh out of it. I didn't want to have to make anything else, so we really should make a... I really should go and make myself a axe. Well, we can go ahead and we can drop off the wood we picked up, and we can drop off this flesh as well. Put that up. Knowledge. Defender. Oh, properly unlocked it. All right, next. What is next in here? Block and attack. So we need to make a shield. Make a shield, block and attack, unlock the bruiser knowledge. So if I unlock the bruiser knowledge ahead of time, does it does it get angry at me? Is I guess the real question. Okay, so, it so it's just going to check to see if it is unlocked, but it is angry. I mean, we do literally have to go in order. Yikes. Okay. Well, in which case, we'll jump back over here, and we'll switch back to this journey. Cook raw meat, eat raw meat. Oh, then we're done. Perfect, okay. Cook raw meat. And then eat cooked meat. Survivor so done. Journey completed. Excellent. Now we need to go and set our next journey. Multiple journeys unlocked. Ooh, okay. Also, do you need to drink water? I'll put stuff back off there. Pick all that. Pick this back up. Alright, so then... This is now done. Oh, I see. You see the lock here. Okay, so now we can do survival shelter. And we can do warrior. We're gonna finish up warrior because might as well block an attack, get bruiser, get a stone pike, and then cripple. Okay, we can do that. So if we unlock bruiser, we just need to. Oh, well, we have to. Oh, first things first. We have to activate this journey. Then we go ahead and we get a shield, not bone shield. We're gonna make the wood one. Oh no, I don't have enough wood. Grab some bark here real quick. Okay. Let's go ahead and make an X. Drop off the stone club. There we go. Grab some wood. Oh, he's even got a, a fish trap over here. You don't mind if I do. Decayed. Oh. Um, we'll get a building. We'll get it. We'll get a building uh, hammer soon and see how long he's been off. 
So it says it's decayed, but this hasn't decayed yet. So I'm not too sure. We'll have to see. Anyway, we need to block an attack. So let's go ahead and let's get this going. Build you. So we'll swap that out. This lasts about as long as fine. Get this shield up. Oh, didn't actually build the shield. Just got all the twine going. Build me the shield. All right, we got a shield. Let's go ahead and block an attack and finish this off. I'm looking forward to seeing the ones after we get like the basic survivally things done. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna end up being. Hey, you attack me! Attack me! There we go. Block. Now what? Now I need a stone pike. Okay. Build a stone pike. Pick it up. And stone pike pick, picked up. There we go. Get a cripple on him. Oh, there we go. There's, nope, that's... Oh yeah, we, no, we got a cripple on him. We must have finished it too, right? There it is. Warrior done. Nice. I haven't been paying close attention to the experience, but I think we get a lot of experience when we kill these guys, yeah? Where'd the other one go? I thought there were two of them. Ah, he went back. Use an axe actually get some savory flesh out of this guy instead of all this, or not, or or we won't get any. You know, maybe that too. There's more structure over there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, and we actually have to hit claim on the rewards. I see. Okay. Cool. And so since that's done, we've got what soldier. Feed an enemy with a strength weapon. Invest five attribute points in strength. Really? Invest ten? Heavy combo and wear heavy armor. Wow, okay, so you actually really have to go down the tree for some of these. And rogue is defeat with agility. Five points, ten points. Um. Funcom. Funcom. Why do you have different developers working on different ones? Come on, have one guy write them all out. Invest F-I-V-E... Invest five. Can we see consistency here, please? It, it just bugs me. It doesn't matter, but it bugs me. It bugs me. Anyway, invest five, invest ten. Craft and require poison. Apply poison to weapon. Oh, they actually teach you how to do that. That's cool. Shake my head. I know, right? Come on, guys. And then archery can't do quite yet. Well, well, well. If it isn't Tobias Gray, welcome back. How have you been? Alright, so I don't think we're going to work on this one yet. Because we're not at the point of point. Well, we could, actually. If we have plenty of points. Yeah, we got six points. So we can easily dump them in there. But we're not going to do that yet. Let's go do shelter first. Care about making shelter? I think we want to explore before we do shelter. So I guess maybe we do work on soldier for now. I don't know if we can work on it. Oh! Homesteader. There's actually other ones down here we can look at. Interesting that it doesn't push it to the top of the order. I feel as though that's a design flaw, but okay. Bed shape, placing a bed, torches, light source, table chair. Oh, nice. Cool, but not what we're going to work on right now. Been a hot minute since you've caught one of these? Yeah. Well, welcome. It's good to have you here. All right, so let's go ahead and let's claim the rewards. Let's see what we got. How much inventory space do I have? Not as much as I'd like. Maybe we should dump some stuff that I'm carrying. Uh, first and foremost, I never used the, uh, the pike, so we'll leave that. I don't like the pike. The stone club is a 1324. Four, and this guy is a 13-8. What? <laughs> wow, the sword's strictly worse. Okay, cool. I like that. Make it nice and easy for me. Uh, we don't need these. I don't really need to be carrying stone on me right now, but I'll hold on to it. I don't need to live a journal. I don't need the scrawled notes. I don't need two water skins, but I'm going to hold on to the two water skins, because I've, I've come into... I've had problems by not carrying those before. So that's fine. Got a bunch of bone on us. There's nothing bone-wise we want to make. We can make the shield, but... Is this shield actually better? No, it's literally the same. Same stats. That's fine. Alright. Let's see here. So, if we go back to Journey, and we go here, and we claim reward, we now have a materi supply materials, and we get a bunch of fiber and a bunch of branches. And we're instantly way over encumbered. Why is that the reward? Why is the reward just a whole stack of branches? 
You don't need 500 branches. You don't need 500 branches until way later in the game. You don't need that many branches at all. Oh my goodness. Jeez, we're gonna drop that like a hot sack of potatoes. I mean, honestly, I kinda wanna drop, drop another good set of that too. We really only need some. <laughs> Do not need that much. Alright, let's get set of full encumbrance. Holy. Alright. That one's done. It's also checkmarked. We're good to go. This one, it's not checkmarked because we haven't taken claims of reward yet. So if we claim this, we get five repair kits. So maybe we learn how to make the bracer or the hand wraps? Knowledges? Search. Good gracious. Um, so tough with all this. Is my mouse? Oh, that is my mouse. Uh-oh, that's not good. Come on, mouse. Cooperate with me, please. <laughs> what? Island Barber? What? Huh? I don't know what that is. I literally don't see the hand wraps here at all. Oh, no, here they are. In the armors. Two armor. Okay. At armor's bench. But the gloves I have are one armor. So it gives me one armor more. Well, let's go over the armor bench. I think he has one. Yeah, he's got one. Alright. What do I need for this? Hide and twine. Here's your hide. I don't have any twine made right now. We should probably have a, a good stack of it prepped. You always need twine in this game. It's, there's never a time in which you don't need twine. I'm wondering if this gives stat boost. I wonder if this helps us with anything else other than just one extra armor, which is not amazing. The repair kits is very nice, though. Okay, well... You will see on the event log that we took items out of there. I mean, the wraps, they're cool. I, I will say they're cool. They are... Same weight, less durability. So, okay. Less durability, same weight, light armor, one armor value more, but don't actually give you environmental protection at all. These hand wraps, cool. Not that good. Not that good. Huh. That doesn't matter. We'll still sport them. They're new. It's a new item. I've never had it before. We're going to sport them because we can. Right? Sport them because we can. All right, let's go and do some exploration here, right? What's the next journey we want to start working on? I think we'll just go ahead and switch to the soldier journey. All right, certain weapons, such as two-handed swords, rely mostly on strength to deliver. Try different weapon types to find out which one you like. Yeah, that's fine. I already know. It's axes and maces are my... Axes and maces are my go-tos. Let's go see who's here and what's going on. Who's set up shack over here? With uh, apparently a problem with their <laughs> roof. Their roofing is... Something's going on with their roofing. Also, I should probably heal. Let's go heal up and make some more ramps so we have a full stack of pin. Their health up to full, too. We are dealing with being very encumbered right now. Oh, I guess it's not a horrible design. Oh, yeah, that's no, a horrible design. <laughs> We've got a ladder here. Or, uh... Not a ladder. They've got the stairs here. We just crouch on in here real quick. Knock, knock. Who's there? I guess if there was a person online right now, they could just close off the top and it'd be locked in here, but... We're not carrying anything that's vital. Alright, who lives here? Zern. Zern lives in this cramped place. Okay. Not too sure what's up with the design. It's not horrible. It's not amazing. A little bit of both. So he says, both boxes are unlocked and there's nothing in them. And my mouse is still dying on me. That's... I'm going to have to go get this sorted. I thought they changed out the battery on that recently, didn't we? 
Let's, instead of a rechargeable battery, we'll use like a brand new battery. Let me swap out my mouse battery here real quick. And we'll figure out what's going on with the rechargeable one later. This is cutting out on me. That's no good. Much better. All right. Where were we? I don't want to be running around and end up in a, having a problem with us not being able to move. All right. Erzen. Erzen is here. Erzen has a bedroll. There you go. It's a, a very interesting design now. I guess they just started to set up. They don't have any crafting supplies or anything in there, so I don't know what that's all about. Actually, I think, honestly, I want to go... Let's go and pick up those tools and explore this way. We need to explore up and down New River as well. I don't know what we'll run into. So, in this one, it's just defeat an enemy with a strength weapon. Paper. So... What we're currently carrying, actually, we really should get these swaps. Better. <laughs> Much better. Oh, there's more building. We'll go take out this elite lady right here and get some medium armor from her. Okay, or I just, like, not hit her at all. Also, I forgot we're totally encumbered. Ow. We're totally encumbered, so our stamina regen is abysmal right now. All right, Anna. Okay, bye, Anna. <laughs> yeah, I'll let that be for a minute. <laughs> you can, we can wait a minute. Let's see, I need to drop some weight, so let's get rid of the stone. Oh my goodness, that is not the heaviest part of our weight here. Drop the wood, we don't need to carry that with us. Campfire, I'm gonna keep the campfire. I want some more, oh, hello. Wow, she killed them all. Actually, surprise. I honestly expected them to kill her. There she goes. Ooh, not only did we find silver coins. That's great. We got some boots. Those medium boots on. Medium boots look really good. All right, so we just went from one armor to seven. This also gives us 15 carrying capacity, so its weight is actually offset. We actually carry more. You can see here. We actually carry significantly more <laughs> when we wear these boots, so it's good. Nice. And then we'll go ahead and... Actually, we should get a butcher... butchering cleaver here. Where's that whole thing about me needing that stone, huh? Right. Let's get a butcher's cleaver here. We don't really need a skinny knife yet, but let's get a cleaver. Let's get some good old meats. There we go. Some savory flesh. Now we're talking. Okay, maybe I don't need that much. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of savory flesh. I'm going to drop that stack. I don't need that much. Yeah, cool. Alright. Off we go. I don't see anyone building at the waterfall. We'll have to like, get closer and see if anyone's built on that plateau. It's a common build spot. Oh, there's a building over there. This bridge. Right here, there's always some guys fighting. Oh yeah, look, there's a there's a stairwell up there too. Staircase, I think. Actually, it's not really a stairwell, is it? Well, let's see if these guys do what they want to do. Let me look at this box. Ooh. Yes, yes. Thank you. I'll take those for sure. Look at this monstrosity. Jeez. All right, we need to get a construction hammer going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a crocodile hanging out on the... Uh-oh. Sandstorm. No? Or it's just end of day. It's like an eclipse is coming in. I don't know. Um, jeez. Okay. This is a thing. Oh! Someone raided a base. This base is raided. Oh, are there any goodies in here? We're gonna have to figure out who this person is. He's taking over. A player. Unconscious. This player has no name. They're left with a hatchet on him. Pro people. It's decayed. I 
I imagine everything's stolen since these guys are literally right next to a base. There's no reason why he wouldn't just scavenge everything out of it, yeah? But, this whole place is decayed, so we could use this with the impunity if we wanted. Yeah, there's a tier 3 thrall wheel in there. Okay, we have to figure out who this is. Alright, is there a journey that we need to pick first before we pick a building hammer? Stone. Oh, wow, stone hatchet is here. Got down tree, construction hammer, there it is. So we want to get that construction hammer going. Or is it the repair hammer? I actually can't remember. I think it's the repair hammer, not the construction hammer that we want. We're going to unlock this. We go to journey, we go to you. Switch to this journey, bam, bam, done. Oh, nice, because it sees it's in my inventory. Oh, I see. All right, we'll leave it on, shel on uh, Survivor Shelter for now. Uh, attributes, we're struggling with weight, so let's actually knock this guy up here. Make these other three points. We can go into further into weight. I'd rather have more damage right now, so we'll put these points in here. Next point, we can finish that off. Whoa! Well, that's really cool. I guess... I don't know what's causing it, but that's, that is a very cool effect. That is a really cool effect. How's it going, Alceris? Greetings, Eclipsed Mortals. Yeah, looks like very much eclipsed right now. It's beautiful. Let's go ahead and heal myself up here. I forgot we don't have passive healing on yet. We'll go ahead and we'll get the... I guess it's... I don't know if it's a repair hammer or not. Let's go ahead and let's knock down a tree. I'm going to need that for some wood. So I threw it all out. go. And build a construction. Okay, we'll get the repair hammer first. So I can't remember if it's the repair or construction. I think it's the repair hammer we need. Multiple journey steps unlocked? Really? Oh, let me just climb up here. Alligator's on me. Multiple journey steps unlocked. What do we unlock? Blacksmith, Mason, and Homestead. Okay, Homestead was already done, but Blacksmith and Mason is done. Okay. Blacksmith. Unlock blacksmith. Do blacksmith stuff. Carpentry stuff. Okay. Cauldrons. Oh my goodness, get up to insulated wood. Jeez. These journeys are pretty intensive. I'm really curious as to what the rewards are and if they're worth, like, the the struggle and strife of getting them. I'm curious if these balanced ones are better than the basic ones that we make. It says sharp iron sword, so I think that's different from a regular iron sword and a powerful hunting bow instead of a normal hunting bow. So I'm assuming these are, like, I guess some of them aren't, but I'm assuming some of these are, like, more powerful versions of things. Survival kit. That contained very basics for survival. Okay. Yeah, I think we just need the repair hammer here. So we use that. Right, repair hammer is what we need to go and test things and see who's doing what. Oh, yeah, here we go. So we can see here that it's got two hours before it's completely gone, and we can see that it was absolutely nuked. <laughs> it was definitely destroyed. Its hit points are very low. So, okay, so these guys have A, not been online in about a, a week, and have been blown up within that time. Now, this is cool. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this bridge material before. Rope bridge. Short. Lemons. Haven't been online in a while. That's good to know. Sounds cool. Alright. What do we have here? We don't want to touch these. We get spikes and we take damage just by touching them. <laughs> don't want to touch them. What do you mean by you don't know what's causing it? It's obviously a solar eclipse. You can even see the texture of the moon right there. Yeah. Nah, I know that. I just didn't... I don't know if it's like a, a thing with the whole magic stuff that's going on. Let's jump up over here. So I'm assuming this is all the same lemons. But this one's significantly sooner. Doesn't look like there's an easy way to climb up, though. This is lemons. There's more building structures up here. Oh, jeez, we're getting rubber banding. 
Oh, wait, what? It's kind of nice having that, that sheathing animation. I don't know if that was there before or not. Oh, it's there. It's good to see. Alright, so lemons. I guess they built on that small island, huh? Yeah. Alright. Lemons. Let's go check out this other one. We want to do as much of the exploring as we can here. See what we're running into. Just to give us a good idea on how we need to make sure we don't get in trouble, yeah? There's a bunch of buildings down here. But let's start at the top. Let's start at the top here. Who built this? Is this Lemons? Is this Lemons' starting base? Lemons, yeah. But it's damaged. Is it light decay or explosions? Looks like light decay. What's in here? Ah, they've got an airlock. Smart. Oh, it's honeycombed. Oh, awkward. Well, I'm not dealing with it. It's sandstone. It might, that might be where they keep all their goodies, but I'm not gonna not gonna worry about it right now. I'm an explosive boy. I'm gonna fight that guy. Got a whole bunch of carpenter station. No. Wait, but this is. Took some pizza. Look at all the insulated wood, though. That's like 108. And there's someone currently being trained in there. Let me heal up here real quick. All right, chug some peanuts. What's going on here? Oh, he was—he's literally was—he was literally just here. Right? I'm trying to remember what the decay timer starts at. Looks like this just might be a thrawling spot. Nah, he's un he's uh, unconscious. You can see him unconscious on the ground over there. So they've logged off. It's one week's worth of hours, so I can't remember exactly. So, what is that? 24... 24 hours by 7. Right? This is definitely a thrall wheel. <laughs> you can tell because it's got the little top, top piece here. Nope, it's actually empty. Interesting. Peanuts here. What's it? What was his name again? I swear it was Peanuts. Okay, it was it was it was chokes and peanuts. Okay. Oh. Peanuts. I've got an extra C in there. I knew I was spelling that wrong. Arrow keys. There we go. Okay. Alright, we'll continue to explore. Banner getting hit by a stone in close range, and Banner Lord dealing two damage to your leg. And oh, and your attack getting flinched even though you were wearing uh wearing fighting 20 armor. It's just a pain. Oh yeah. The fact that you <laughs> in Bannerlord, all it takes is a, a stray rock to really mess up your ability to go and take down bandits. And they've got a grunt they've got a strong arm, man. A strong arm. Those bandits. Alright, who are you? There's a lot of these sandstone buildings here. Tips. Tips hasn't been on in a bit. I'm in combat with something. Not sure why. We got combat music. Something, something's targeting me. I don't know what it is though. Oh, maybe there's a thrall in here. There might be a thrall in here. Yep, there's a. Th <laughs> yeah, there's a thrall in here, and she's pissed. Yeah, there's a thrall in there. So they're offline. Tips. She can't attack us. We don't have to worry about it. She's stuck inside. Right? Is that how it was spilled? No. At the end. 
goodness, I have to get off the marker. Off the marker first. And right click on the marker. Half of the last. There you go. Tips. Done. All right, cool. So there are a lot of brand new players that just have their little setups here that have been offline for a couple days. That, you know, are just, just hanging out in New River. There's a bunch of them here. Kind of surprised at how many. So our last playthrough that we did when we were doing the Iron Man run, there wasn't nearly as many. Also, there wasn't a, a full, actually, Tier 3 base set up on New River. It's very rare to find players deciding to keep their Tier 3 bases here in New River. Just because it's not the... It's not the best place to get all the resources. You have to do a lot of running. Because there's no iron on the south side of New River. There's there's none down here on the south side of the river. We gotta go to the north side if we want to get iron. And that's just a basic one. Brimstone's further in to get steel. And then you have to go all the way to the far frozen north if you want to go and get the uh, black ice. To make hardened steel. Or get what you need for star metal. And no one's built over here. We have a dead spot. Kind of surprised. People often build around here. Nope, oh, never mind. <laughs> like, huh, no one's built over here. It's, this is a popular place to build. Turn to the left a little more. Turn to the left a little. There they are. There's the building. That tier 2 building. Insulated wood, tier 2. And a tier 1 sandstone. There's lights in there. This is clearly... That's got to be a cauldron for sure. Fireball cauldron. Those things shed so much light. It's insane. This looks like it's been blown up. Dirty Mike and boys. Yeah, it's definitely taking damage. Eh, not much. Not much. Oh, yeah. 758 out of five, out of 10k. Yeah, no, it's uh, this thing was definitely blown up. So these guys also have 90... 98 hours left before this place decays entirely. But there's nothing here for us. Looks like everything else is gone. We can assume it's their neighbor. Let's jump over here and take a look at their neighbor. <laughs> With one of their walls being backwards. Nice, nice. Lady Bits is the neighbor. Lady Bits has sustained a significant amount of damage, though. On the foundations. I think Lady Bits was raided and is rebuilt somewhat. Yeah, there's significant damage across the entirety of this foundation down here. Back here, no damage. Yeah, I think this place was raided. But they're still playing, and they re they, they sealed it back up. Man, having these NPCs here is kind of crazy. Alright. What do we got in here? Whoa, okay. Maybe it has it locked up a bit. Alright. Oh, or... Or not. It's a sacrificial room. Okay. So Lady Bits is a bigger entity than I was expecting. These are locked. No, no idea what's in there. There are sacrificial stones. There's something like, hmm. But it has been blown into. You can tell that by how much damage is on these walls here, the ceiling. So someone did raid in here. It looks like they haven't really done anything to rebuild it. Yeah, pick up that grub. Let's go ahead and eat and heal. Let's get in, and grab what we came for, and get out of here. Drink some water while we're here. Should we also top off our water skin. Hey right, guys, don't mind me. I'm here just for this, and I'm gone. <laughs> we found those Tafari tools last time we were playing, so. Definitely want to pick those up. I, I believe they are better than what we can currently build. Because we don't have any iron on us. Let's get our auto run going here. Let's take a look. Alright, so we can leave all this building for later. Because we're not going to build quite yet. So let's go ahead and let's jump back over to the soldier journey. Let's go to attributes. Knock ourselves up to 5. So we have that guy. We go back to Journey here. We need to get to 10 and then do a combo finisher. So we still need, still need five more levels, then we can get this sharp iron sword. I'm assuming this means that we just, like, get it in hand, which will be nice. Looks like we're swimming now. <laughs> but if we go to Inventory and we take a look at the 
We can make the axe. Okay, here. The cudgel. So the cudgel does 15, and our current one does 13. Let's go ahead and let's make that cudgel. What I am curious about, though, is if it has the same kind of... Okay, so it is less armor penetration. 3% less armor penetration, but 3% out of 2 damage is nothing. So we'll definitely swap over to the Defari one. We'll drop this. Drop this guy. Don't need the wood on me. Keep the seeds. This would be useful. I don't know if we even need to carry the handful of insects. We'll hold on to them for now. Let's go ahead and let's drop another half of these branches. Very heavy. Don't want them. Stone. We got breathing potions that we stole and some gash swords. Which are great. Those are going to be... That's going to be useful if we end up in a situation where we got to run. <laughs> to run from someone, we can go ahead and rely on those. All right, so we've managed to knock our weight down a good chunk. Let's actually drop some of these plant fiber that we got here. Ah, 50%. percent we drop some more. There we go. Now we're under. Perfect. We've got that. Should probably get some aloe extract potions going. So I am going to need you, but I think I'll take you off. I'll leave... You would like this. I mean, we don't really need to carry the water skin on us. Swap out like that. Where are we at? Which building is this? Oh, yeah, this is the building with a thrall in it. I'm like, wait a second. We've been here before? We have. Jeez. Hi. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you? Okay. That's fine. So let's go north here real quick. Actually, let's go pick up the set religion while we're here. No reason for us not to. Brown sugar. Who is brown sugar? Server player list. Brown sugar is part of the demo crew. So demo crew has at least two people. It's at least two people in the demo crew. This is a performer. It's a dancer. Tier two. We'll come back for you, lady. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You might be far from where we're building our base, but we'll leave, we'll let her live. Any item she drops is not going to be super useful for us. We want to go up where that cage is, right up there. That's our goal. I want to get up there. Yeah, getting a dancer is always my number one goal. Doesn't got a thrall no more? Hmm. Who are you? What clan are you in? Oh, this, oh, this is where the stairs are. Just take a look at those. Player list. Who is this? Part of Star Wars. Okay, so Star Wars, when they were talking about Star Wars earlier, that's a clan. Okay. Where do you plan to live? How's it going, Beastmaster Tamos? How are you doing today? I'm not sure yet. We haven't made a decision. We'll pick this up over here. Submissive one. I'm tempted to pick up this iron while we're here, but we really don't need to carry the iron, honestly. Oh, this is just an eyesore. <laughs> Ugh. It's an eyesore. Oh, man. Looks like there's combat going on. How's it going, Seth Wolf? How are you doing today? Back to Con and I see? Yeah, we got some... Some some plans were cancelled, so I got some free time today. So we got to do a stream. Alright. And we're, we're mostly just playing with the journeys. That's what I really want to do. So I'm not too sure about everything else that we're going to be doing here. See your construction. Okay, so it's just game levels. That's all we gotta do. It's just gotta game levels for now. Get to level 15. So in that case, we're just gonna do exploration, figure out where people are. Oh no, wait, that's not what I thought it was. I didn't think there was a base up here. I thought it was the shaman's retreat or whatever it's called. Hmm. Instead, there's actually a base up here with a teleporter that was blasted into Ranger. How old is this? It's out in less than a day. Tanner's table. Not a bad place to get leather. This place is not active. Or is it? Holy! <laughs> it's active and still connected. Owner revealing was blown into a long time ago. Problem is I'm worried about teleporting. We don't have a way to deal with corruption right now. So if we teleport, we literally cannot deal with the corruption. Just another soul-sucking workday? Oh, no. 
Glad to be off and excited for the festivities tomorrow. Nice. So, uh, let's see. That's got 20-something hours left on it. We might go and check it out. Here, we're just going to... Here, we can do this. We can do portal. We're just going to have this be a portal marker for now. Since they are... Since it is decaying, and isn't going to be around for long, I'm not going to rely on it. Sephamaru has dancers at the bar if you need them. Yeah, but we'd have to get over there. I'd rather finish up our exploration over here prior to us doing that. But we'll probably use that and check out their different locations. The issue is going to be we're going to end up at 50% health. I still don't have to listen to these tablets anymore. We have listened to them before. All right, let's get over here. This is a Shaman Retreat is what it's called, right? I don't remember what it's called. Let's see here. A respite? Shaman's Rise, that's what it is. Stay your hand, stranger. Come, look into the pit. Alright, perfect, done. Empty boat awaits therein. Ah, oh, thank you. Bye. We're gone. Just like that. And tier 3 altars on the map? Yeah, there's a couple of tier 3 altars on the map. We got these four up here. So there are, there are some big boys playing around. We just haven't found... Well, we found one. We found lemons. But other than lemons, we haven't found anyone yet. He doesn't have a tier 3 altar. So I did see the beginning of building over here. So there is a building over here. People often build around here. It's not a common spot. Let's see who that is. Let's see. Who's this? Should be able to climb that. I think we've got enough stamina for it. I let my stamina be at full when I start climbing. It'll be close. <laughs> it's going to be a close call. I don't know if I have enough grit. Let's see. Whoa. Okay, game. Calm down. <laughs> Alright, how about we not try that? We are, we're, we're bouncing around a little bit. We'll go up a little bit further. I would imagine they would build a way up and down for them. I imagine they'd build a way up and down for themselves. Otherwise, we could just take the path. No, looks like they just used the path. No, we can do that. Walk up here. It's chasing us. Sahinas are not chasing us. Okay. There's these hyenas. Right, this place is either constructed or destroyed. I can't quite tell what the way it's arranged. No, it's constructed. It's one piece. Poorly constructed, but it's constructed. Oh, this is all their hyenas, isn't it? Yeah, it's all their hyenas. Who is this? The Geesters. It's taking some damage. Actually, a decent amount of damage. Huh. I wonder why it's taking so much damage. Hmm. How's it going, Provocus? How are you doing today? Let's get up here and see what we can see inside. Alright, it's a pretty big complex. Rhinos, they've got a well. Some taming pits. So there's an easy way back out if I get myself in, is the main question. I want to make sure I can get back out if I get myself in. Uh, yeah, it looks like you can use that and jump up and over from that side. So if we if we didn't finagle ourselves in, we could. But it doesn't look like there's anything we could really grab in there. Most of their buildings are closed. But, yeah, it doesn't hurt to go and snoop around. Real quick, what was the decay on this? So they haven't been around for a bit. Geeksters on here. It's, the, it's a pretty dense server. Hmm. 
Come here, here we go. Clements. Probably cook some more food. <laughs> We're all out. So today, you're making preparations for Easter, which is next week. You're making sweet buns. Ooh, and we'll paint 120 eggs. Holy provocus, that is intense. That is a lot of eggs to paint. Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to need preparations for that. That's, that's intense. Yeah, this is poorly defended. I can easily just walk in here. I don't know what they were thinking. Because from right here, I can get inside. Now, the question is, was this place attacked at all? Or is this their design? Well, they've got thralls. They aren't online, so you don't have to worry about that. A tanner bench up here. A little bit of iron, a bunch of stone for some reason. What's with these doors? What's with this? We've got a horse down there. Now, it's an interesting, interesting place. It's definitely a spot that we could raid. It's an option for raiding. It's a very, very awkward design here. It's a really weird design. But it wouldn't be too hard for us to blast through. Here we go. Got beds in there. They definitely have at least a couple thralls. I want to try and keep going up? Not really. I haven't seen what I needed to see. They don't seem like a, a big player on the server, but they also haven't been, like... And they do look like they've been... No, they're just taking slight damage. Might be just some decay damage. Yeah, this is, like, this is some of the tiny damage. Unless someone was actually um, inspecting here. Yeah. I think someone was inspecting in here, because when you inspect, you deal you deal damage to the wall. You can actually break these walls if you have the patience, right? Because if you look at the look at the health on this, it's got fifty two four ninety five. I punch it, it's got fifty two four ninety four. The left click you get two. Oh, there's actually a switch in there. But yeah, so you can. You can actually raid that way. It's not efficient at all, ever. <laughs> it's essentially not worth it, but you can. It is It is an option. We don't have explosives yet. So we could do that if we wanted. You know, that is something I'm not sure about. I actually don't know if using your fists to break a wall counts as you destroying the wall. I don't know if they have that, If that's if it's coded that way. Oh no. Alright, so you know what? Let's go ahead and let's play with the portal. But before we do that, let's go pick up sorcery real quick. Let's grab sorcery, and then we'll go back down to that portal and we'll teleport. This way it doesn't matter if we've got the corruption. And then we can go and try and get ourselves to Sephamaru. We wanted to do that. Otherwise, we can just go ahead and. Uh, where is it? The cleansing brew. Where's the cleansing brew located? The Cleansing Brew is up in the north, so we can't actually do much of that. We need to dance there. There's no other way around it. Huh. Hmm. So when you charge against the enemy and you have a speed of 21.4 miles per, per second. <laughs> Freedom humans. <laughs> Terrifying when you have a bunch taking, uh, taking the brunt of the charge. Hey, he's playing Bannerlord right now. Yeah, yeah, he's playing Blind Roller. Ooh, we're building. Oh, jeez. These walkways are just an eyesore. <laughs> Some really gross construction. Not impressed. I'm going to be honest. I'm not impressed <laughs> with this. Meters per second, sorry. Yeah, meters per second is what you initially indicated. Sorry, I, I immediately see freedom units, especially if I'm glancing at stuff. Yeah, I'm not going in that cave right now. Alright, who's the monster? Who built this? This thing, this pillar's not even used for anything. Who built this? Lemons! Lemons built this. Why would Lemons build this? Lemons base is to the south. Hmm. 
Don't tell me I'm European. Yeah, no worries. That's for me. <laughs> it's it's for me to make sure I know what's going on. You, like, what? Okay. Where's this taking me? It's going to be night soon. We might need to make a torch if it gets too dark. This must just be for thralling. Oh, jeez, hello. Why are you still following me? Map in the meantime. So, if he built that there to get here, and Lemons lives here, it seems odd that he built it here. Unless his run is from here, up, like, here to here, up that ramp, up this ramp, over then over. A weird, weird way to do it. Okay. Oh, there's a bear thrall. What tier is that bear thrall? They might have something good on him. I think I might take that bearer down. What level is this bearer thrall? They're coming. Ah, it's a tier one. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's not take too much damage here. Let me just scoot through. Excuse me, ladies. Just trying to get to this cave over here. Don't you mind me. No stamina. That's not good. Luckily, we're still lightly encumbered. <laughs> Only in light encumbrance. We're okay. I'm up here and we'll go bandage yourself. No, you don't, mister. No, you don't. Okay. Oh, wait. Do we just not get true night anymore? Is the eclipse just whenever it's nighttime? Interesting. Before we go in, let's top ourselves off. And all that's built here. Let's back up a bit. We'll put this here. Do I have anything to burn with? Not really. I guess we can use this. It's fine. Burns it for three minutes. Plenty of time. We need to get ourselves some more food. Alright. Wait, is there a journey for sorcery? I guess we don't have an unlock, do we? Yeah. Reach level 20. Defeat a sorcerer. Find the hidden sorcerer's cave. Touch the Tome of Kurak. Okay, so we have to get to level 20 first for them to even want us to do that. I don't know if that messes with the journey steps if we just go and do it now instead of later. I really don't want to mess with the journey steps at the case. It's just convenient being here right now. Right, what we'll do is we'll, we'll come back to this another time. Inter it's kind of nice that we don't have true dark, but it also kind of sucks that we don't have true dark. Right, we're going to change this from custom to heaviest. Just make my life easier. So we don't have to keep organizing it. Okay. In which case, maybe we'll use the portals later. Once we get to level 20, and we'll come back here. I don't really want to explore this way anymore. I'm not too interested. Perhaps we'll start exploring this direction. I think maybe we build over here. North of the giant rock. Let's go head back. Yeah, let's stay up on this ridge. We don't have to drop down. In fact, we can go poke our head up here real quick. See if there's anyone that's built up above. Let's see. The fact that spiders can't climb walls is hilarious. It is well, the thing is that they're like they're all tarantulas. They're too heavy. Ah, I knew I'd find something over here. Just felt like we could find something over here. I never build in this region, though. I never, like, it's a decent spot, but I never build over here. So we got two things to look at. Let's go check these out. One of them was bombed out. I'm, again, I'm assuming there's no items left for us to scrounge, but you never know. Why do you use a mix of things instead of going all in on one? It's kind of nice to know both metric and imperial. You usually use metric, but considering you're uh, a, a border away, <laughs> the Yanks in this case, about 20 minute drive, you get used to both. That does make sense. Hello. All right, what is this? Who is this? This is 
Chinky. Okay. Well, it's clearly bombed to high heaven, so we do not have to worry about putting them on a the map. We bombed recently, too. Wow, a couple days. I'm so tempted. We're gonna take him. <laughs> We're gonna take the baby. Come with me. All right now, I believe up here is where the other one was at, right? Yeah, we'll finish exploring here. Then we'll start going down the other direction, and then we'll start. Then we'll probably go and set up a temporary base. Since we're going through the journeys, I would use... Like, normally I would use that base we found earlier. Oh, this has been bombed out as well. But since we're going through the journeys, I guess we'll go and we'll build everything ourselves. Wait a second! It's a ruse! Let me guess, this is lemons, isn't it? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. This is a thralling spot. Or not. It's a respawn location. That's his current respawn location is here. I wonder why. Maybe it was for raiding. Maybe that's his raid base. But yeah, clearly it was cover. It's built for cover. Fighter tier one. Hmm. Well, we've got some got some skilled people here. What's this bear? Bear two? Well, not worth taking. If you had a bear three, I'd do it. Ooh, it looks like <laughs> it's like there's some smack being told in chat. Oh no. Right here is a really good spot to build, but oh, come on, man, that's not even a good cover. Yeah, you can see, you can see it at the top. I couldn't see it from over there. Here you can. This is actually a really nice spot to build right here, right at the top here, because you can get an elevator to. You know. Sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's scary when I'm like, you know, this is a really good spot to build. A lot of people like to build here. Would you look at that? This person hasn't been here for a while. It's a check. Uh, it's a chest. This is all foundation, so I can't glimpse into it. Oh, okay. It's a th okay. This is just a sacrificing pit. That makes sense. This is a nice place to build. Because what I've seen some people do with this build, let me jump back up here. We don't need to put it on the map. It's just a thrall. Uh, it's just a sacrificial pit. It's we're not going to get anything out of raiding it or keeping it marked. It's no, no real value there. But this, this right here, this hunk of stone right here, is a really good spot to build. A lot of people build here. Because you get sight over New River, right? You have, uh, you've got iron in the length that you can get further up that way. And then what some people will do is they'll build from here over to that platform, and then over to that platform with, like, make one building here, one building here, and then their main base over there, and string a, an elevator across. It's pretty cool. All right, let's go head back. There's a tiny little nook that you could build inside over there, but it's not that big. Okay. Yeah, no problems. Yeah, North America is just three countries, it's true. <laughs> Makes it easy to remember them all. If you're not part of... Uh... If you don't live in North America, it's pretty easy. You only have to remember three. <laughs> Unlike any other continents. Except Australia. They make it really easy. <laughs> the one nation that also owns an entire continent. Alright, let's head back. So we got what we came for. We picked up the Defari tools. We've done some scouting. We found a couple of other locations. We only found one other spot of note uh, where there could be someone, maybe, who's dangerous. But other than that, it, we haven't really run into anything too scary yet. Maybe you can heal up. We haven't run into any active players yet, so they all must be up north. I need to drop some weight. This thing is very heavy. I don't need the hide on me. We can easily pick up more hide. 
Ah, I'm tempted to keep the bones, though, because we are using that with these. No, this doesn't use bone. It uses rock. Perfect. Get rid of it. Don't eat it. Now we're in yellow encumbrance in the top left there instead of red encumbrance. Now that we're in medium encumbrance, our stamina comes back faster. Alright, so let's start running. We haven't done anything for leveling in quite some time now because we've just been exploring. We need to level up to get this. So, there's two ways to do that. Journeys and murdering things, so... It's got nothing for me. Oop, let's reset. Ow. Jeez! Okay, they sting. It's a baby croc! Don't pick him up. Or it's gonna swim across. <laughs> Get out of here. <gasps> Gasp the Friday stream! It is! It is! How's it going, Rapcon? How are you doing today? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Alright, let's go. Let's just jump over to where I'm thinking of us building at least a temporary base, if not our long term base. Because I'm not sure if it's going to be temporary or long term. We'll still hop on over there and see about setting up. We're going to set up near the croc. Just right up in this area. So we got Risen over there. Or I guess maybe Risen is how it's pronounced. RZN, Risen. Oh, I was about to say, oh, the giant crocodile isn't here, but there he is. He's hanging out right there. And there's the base. Okay. So someone else has already beaten us to the punch with living here. That's fine. We can always just borrow some land nearby. Let's see. Tier 3 base, tier 1 top. Hmm. Okay. They've also got a tier 2 Shrine to Jaketo, it looks like, at the top there. We should probably go check out this little piece down here before we go check out the other one. Decent anticline, but not good enough. We can still get inside if we want. Whose base is this? And is it that guy's? Blown up today! Desert Haters. Their base was literally blown up today. That sucks. Oh my. Actually, it's a good thing they did. It's a plan of three guys. Smart move. Smart move, man. Smart move. You had these three guys pop in here. It could, it could have been dangerous. Carpenter bench. Some table. Alright. Uh, usually I'm like, don't blow up the sandstone thing, but turns out there are three guys in there, so yeah. No, good on you. Who's this? State. State is here. There's this door. Honeycombed. Not super sturdy, though. You just have to get through the one tier three, and then you're in. Let's go explore from above. Let's go see who's got. Oh, yeah, also right sentence. Let's go talk to that guy. I don't know if we get anything for talking to him anymore. Before, we needed to talk to him for a journey step, back when that's how journey steps are done. But I don't think we need that anymore. The side here. So it looks like he's just honeycombed the base with foundations. And the rest is still just the standard, nothing, nothing special sandstone. Which state? Seems very Texas in origin, but kind of speaks a little Wisconsin. Uh, and Texas is definitely closer to because I think that the foundations that he's using is from one of the. It's one of the DLCs. It's like one of the. Uh, like wild wander packs or something? I don't remember. He built a trebuchet. Oh, there's a duel going on, maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> there isn't. So this is what I was talking about. This isn't will. This isn't secure. This is what I mean by it's not secure. I can get in. There's iron here. Apparently he has a setup where you have to climb to get up. I use this. Am I allowed to use someone's trebuchet against them? Yes, yeah, so he's got a trebuchet. Got a bunch of stone in there too. All right. I'm not going to do anything against him right now, but we are definitely going to mark him on the map. That's for sure. Eight oh eight times state. 
808 times speed. I think it was in all caps. Yeah, it's tier two. Unfortunately, I don't have what I need to actually be able to make a potion. Stamina potion would be nice to be able to make. It does look like he does have this at least locked up, so we can't just walk in. But we, oh, we can actually see in here. It's a tier three. It's got a tier three thrall wheel. That might be the only thing that's in here, though. Orkin, who's Orkin? No one. Um, someone's here. A player is here. That's a person. Um, I don't know who he's shooting at. But there's a player. I think he missed the jump. I don't know if this guy's going to be able to like, beat the snot out of me or not. <laughs> Whoa, look at that foundation. Looks like he's moving, actually. There's a tier 3 foundation there. I don't know where this guy went. My heart's racing. I shouldn't be worried, because, again, we're not playing hardcore. We're not playing Iron Man. I don't know if I die, that's it. I don't know where he went. We're a lowly level 10. That's an NPC. But I did hear someone else fall. He's still in the area. I heard him. I don't know where he is, though. Ah, he's over there. It's Crocodile fighting. Oh, it's not just him. It's him and a friend. So that's what he was doing. They're they're engaging. I don't know if they even noticed I was there, <laughs> to be honest. There's a person up here. What is this? They're dying. Hey, right, see, so he clearly sees me now, and that's fine. I'm just gonna stand here like a lemon. What kind of tools are they playing with? Looks like steel or hardened steel. I can't quite tell. Or are those ice? I'm not sure what they're what tools they've got. <laughs> Just back off. I was standing on where they get their loot. We're killing the guy. I'm gonna swim around here. Where are you? Cat. <laughs> okay. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> We're not in a position to be able to actually kill anyone. We're still carrying some of the worst gear you could possibly have. I couldn't quite tell what gear they're wearing. And the hardest part right now, a very un-American response. I don't want to get involved right now. Well, what do you mean? An American response would be show up with uh, the tools and equipment on par, if not better than our, our counterparts, yeah? This lady respawned. Nice. Ends up being a random person each time, so we can get a different piece. Look at previous chat. So it's a very un-American approach coming from Yuzao. I gotta say. Um, ain't gonna do anything right now. Maybe later. Yeah, I ain't true. You are not wrong with that. Let her take that out. Oh, or not. <laughs> Dead. Alright, 
Can I get... Ah, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Gloves. Better gloves than these. Cool, we got them, but these gloves are better. Do that. But yeah, so Kate... Actually, since we did find Kate and we looked at Kate, I think we can see them in the log here, right? No. We can't. Okay. Darn it. The American response is diplomacy first, then uh, when that fails, you bring in the Marines. It's, it's, I mean, true. We didn't even try diplomacy. I, I guess we did. We did, uh, they, she did the friendly squawk to see if see if we'd be friendly or not. And I just responded in kind. And since I backed off immediately, I guess they think they're fine. Although I probably should have followed them to see where they live. But we now know at least Kat is with one other person. That's one of the big things we need to know is who's with who, you know? How's it going, Peach? Welcome. Well, you're new to the game. Would it be better to start with online open world or single player co-op? I'd say right... So what I'm doing right now is playing with the journey system, which I've never played with before because it's a brand new thing for this update. And I would say do at least a bit of the journey steps on, in single player first. And then jump in with friends. Uh, one of the nice things with Conan Exiles is you can... Invite a friend to your single-player world. You can invite friends to your single-player world. They're limited on where they can go. They get stuck. Um, they have to stay around you. Here, let me just climb this for a second here. Um, so they're stuck, essentially, one tile distance. They can't go more than, than one square from you, from your location. When you do that... Yeah, it's like Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, so they're, they're stuck, stuck within a range of you. But I would say definitely try it first on your own and go through this journey system, at least, you know, a couple of them, like Survivor, Survival Shelter, Warrior, some of the basic ones, just very basic ones, then go ahead and bring in a friend. Or do that on your own with a friend. But jumping online onto an official server like I'm playing on, I would not advise doing that until you've, you've got at least a little more play under your belt. And the reason for that is because, as you'd expect in Survival, in Survival open world combat heavy games where raiding is a thing, People can get, um... I'll just read the chat that keeps popping up. <laughs> people can get a little aggressive. And it is sad to see that there are a lot of people that will jump in, grab this game, you know, jump onto an official server, play, you know, really enjoy the game, have a lot of fun with it for, like, maybe, like, ten hours, right? Have their entire base completely destroyed with no ability to stop it from being destroyed, and then drop in the game. I really, it's it's really sad whenever I see that, uh, which is one of the reasons why I really don't like attacking sandstone bases, tier one material bases, because I just I don't want to, I don't want to discourage people. So I would say the best thing to do is definitely solo for a little bit, especially with this new journey system, because this new journey system actually shows you how to do everything, which is good. The last the, the system they had before, for years, not so much. Okay, so I don't want to build over there because it's where those guys are at. Let's try over here. Sounds good, thank you. No problem. If you have any questions about this game, let me know. I know I've been playing this game a lot over the last couple years. So if you've got any questions, let me know. I know most things at this point, but not all. All right, so we could actually, before we go anywhere else, let's go and check the, I went really far away. We should check here first before we go anywhere else. I want to see how many people are thralling in this area. This is the superior thrall location. Builder, I found out Thursdays you're getting a... Oh, you're finding out Thursday you're getting a 30% raise in promotion? Oh my goodness, Robert, 30%. That's huge. Congratulations. Oh my goodness, Robert, God, that's insane. 30%. Whoa. <laughs> that is amazing. That is amazing. Congratulations. It's like rust in a sense. Depends on how lucky you are uh, server-wise. Yeah, that's actually a good way to put it. It's like rust, except... I'm definitely taking some coal before we go. It's This game is very similar to rust. You know, but no guns. However, the amount of time it takes to get set up in this game is way longer than it is in Rust. Even if 
you find a person's base that's decayed that you can steal all of their stuff and have all the items and whatnot you ever could use in this game, you're limited by one thing and one thing alone. Levels. Levels are a thing in this game. You need to get to level 60 to be able to do to build some of the biggest and best stuff. So levels are always going to restrict you. Um, so you can't just jump straight in and immediately have an amazing start by uh, taking someone down. The other thing is you can't rely on recovering as quickly either. It takes quite some time, which sucks, but I want you can't. Yeah. Yeah, not, not much we could do. What, sucks for what you can you do? Not much. I'm assuming this is just a thrall spot, yeah? Yeah, it's just thralling. No, it's not even a thrall spot. They don't even have a thrall wheel. What? Is no one thralling here? Yeah, be kidding me. If no one is, then we're going to set up shop here. Not really the best place for iron, mind you, but... You know. Yeah, no one's here. Really, no one's here to thrall at this location. That's where we just were, was down there. Stunned. <laughs> There's no one thralling here. The amount of the raise is more than you made working at the theater in a, in a year. <laughs> oh my goodness, in theaters in a year? That's amazing. That is awesome. I think we might just build right here. I'm trying to think where the nearest place, nearest, like, big source of iron is, though. Is it going to nighttime? It's just a cloud. Or is it a sandstorm? That is a sandstorm. Okay, well, that's not good. But I've built here before. Not on stream, but I've built here before. It's not a bad spot. I'm just trying to remember where I got iron from. I think I got iron from up there. Yeah, that's right. Up by the, all the spiders where you get iron, all right up here. A bunch of iron up there. So we could do that. We kind of want to explore a little more, but the sandstorm is going to cause us to be problematic. I guess, you know what, let's go ahead and let's just destroy everyone in that cave. And we'll use this time as combat experience. Yeah? <laughs> Here comes the sandstorm. There it is. We're just going to we're gonna have to bite through the sandstorm here. Alright, sandstorm damage. Here we go. Let's get inside the cave. It'll give us the shelter we need. Jeez, if I can actually survive long enough to get in it. Okay, we're taking some heavy damage. <laughs> There's the entrance. There it is. Gotta get inside. Gotta get inside and not be taking damage before I drink. Hollow potion. Again. Okay, is that guy gonna follow me? No. Alright, let's go and just clear out this place. Level up from some experience with combat. I like how the sandstorm effect is still going on inside, even though we're safe in here. Sir? <laughs> Where are you going? Come back here. I'll take the water orbs. There we go, now I can see in here without the sandstorm effect. What we got? Is this a cook? Yep. Cook tier one. Definitely want to take her out quickly because she'll otherwise get us really bloodied. I never wanted to be here. Blacksmith two. Knock her down. Some more stamina back. Alright, and again. We're dealing with a bow boy. We'll deal with the bow boy real quick before we deal with the pike man. <laughs> Knock him off. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Uh oh. Wait, where'd you come from? <laughs> what? Where'd he come from? Careful. Okay, I'm taking too many hits. We're, we're not, like, really well geared yet. Oh, jeez, I have to be very careful. We're almost dead here. Drink. Okay. Okay, block him. Kill him. Give me stone. Arrows. 
I don't even know where the cook went. I think the cook body just disappeared. Cook's body's just gone. These guys just have a uh, short-term memory loss, it seems. He just completely forgot about me. Oh, oh goodness. It looks like the storm's passed. Yeah, I'll take this for now, because I'm going to need more. Where did this guy's body go? Did I knock it off? Nothing. These guys really don't have anything for me, huh? Alright, let's go mine this brimstone. That's where we'll get all of our levels. We get a lot of experience from mining brimstone. So while we don't have the carrying capacity to actually carry it, you can watch our watch our experience bar. So if you if you go ahead and you watch the experience bar up at the top here above our hell, look how much each attack or each uh, <laughs> each pick gives us a lot. Okay, jeez, I was so wait. Oh, it's Kate again. Skate again. I was like, I heard I heard that noise and I was like, that's not good. So it's the same gal from earlier. What do I have in settings for what I have uh what is it? Key bindings. Tilt tab mount communication. Push talk is T. So she's still here. The hard part is that now there is now that there's uh, essentially transmogs, like you can you can transform your gear to look like gear that it actually isn't. It's really, really hard to tell if someone is actually wearing baggy. Yeah, she's one shot in these guys. She's either very high level or the armor and weapon she's holding is not what she's actually holding. She annihilated that guy. She annihilated him. So that's not the case. I don't know if there's any other brimstone in here. It's just a dancer. Don't worry about him. I just came in for the brimstone, thank you. I think that's some right here. There it is. I'm gonna drop this brimstone because it's very heavy. Honestly, I should drop it. We're gonna drop the well. I need to not be carrying it. Dance is coming at me again. Alright, we'll let her clear them out. Eyes and the light, we don't care about that. Oh, uh, she's brimstoning as well. Dang. Okay. That's why she's down here. It is very dark down here. So she's here for brimstone too. Uh, all right, we're gonna leave. <laughs> we're gonna leave. I don't wanna. Don't wanna piss her off. We gained a level out of it. But it does mean that they live nearby. So Kate does live nearby. I don't know what clan she's with though. Or cat. I think it's just cat, right? AT. So I don't know what clan cat's with, but. Cat's getting brimstone here. Wait a, Wait a second, this wasn't here a minute ago. Origins. Did I just not see this? Maybe I just didn't see this. Okay. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> let's leave this area. Unfortunately, we didn't really get what I was hoping for, but that's fine. I was hoping we could grab, like, a whole host of uh, levels out of that. But we are still struggling to fight through it. That's alright. Let's go ahead and let's get a little bit of work here. So do we want to get more strength? I mean, we need more strength if we want to get the warrior thing. So let's go ahead and get our warrior thing up to 10 points. We'll get warrior up to 10. 
Coal gives a decent amount of experience as well. Let's go mine some coal. Actually, real quick. Is anyone built up above? Is anyone built up above here? Another popular spot. A spot we could build if no one else has. Got little well things here too. Is anyone built in this little space up here? Oh, no one's built here. Let's go all the way at the top. There we go. So I can't quite see it from this angle. No, no one's built there. Whoa! The game just minimized. <laughs> Don't do that. It's crazy. Alright, so let's keep moving. Let's keep moving then. Let's go to get as much of this coal as we can for levels. Yeah, we're not going to keep it with us, but we'll just go ahead and nab it real quick here for experience. I was grind a little bit faster. We need to get to level 20 to finish this. Or level 15 for us to finish this journey step. Although we can easily go and finish it if we just go pick up some yellow lotus and build a alchemy bench. Ow. I was about to both of you stop that. Jeez. Ow. <laughs> it's painful. Acolyte unlocked. Requiring level 12. Acolyte? What is Acolyte? Acolyte. Place an altar, craft religious tool, harvest religious resources, and craft religious item. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Good look into that. Yeah, we get some experience off this, but it's, it's not like Brimstone. Like, look at how our experience bar goes up. It is not the same as Brimstone. Brimstone is just so much better. The problem is the the respawn timer is 15 minutes, so we'd have to wait 15 if we wanted to go and use that. But we can at least just go grab this coal and get one level out of it. Grab one level out of this coal. I'm not just sure where we want to build. The server's very populated. And I knew it was going to be populated. It just, for some reason, I didn't think it was going to be this populated. <laughs> the point where, like, most spots for easy starts, we have people building around them. Not people that are small, either. Stamina up before we get attacked by this spider here. No? Huh. Oh, that spider was coming for me. Let's go grab this. That should get us our level. There we go. We need to get some water. Actually, we've got. We don't need to get water. We've got two water skins on us. Easy. More coal. More things of coal. Here we go. A texture on that web. <laughs> Very pixelated. Dump another chunk. And we don't need it. Bring ourselves up to the top. Oh, hang on a second. Who's this? Now, yeah, spider silk if we wanted to get spider silk here. Actually, yeah, let's go pick up some silk, actually. I can't remember if the axe is actually better than that, because we're getting four right now. No, we get nothing from that. Oh my goodness, it's got a lot of help. Oh, we, we, we missed that last attack every time. That's no good. Luckily, if we just strafe, spiders aren't that smart. Put the shield away so we can actually get the attack off here. Oh, <laughs> unless I missed wildly. 
There we go. Because now we can get Sundering ha to happen. You only get your weapon's, like, status. Ooh, jeez, careful. One too many. You only get the weapon status being applied if you end up using it. God, I can't do that. All right, we just got to do it by hand. Uh, you only get the weapon status applied if you don't, if you're not dual wielding, so you can't have a shield in your other hand. A right, bunch of gossamer required. A bunch of spiders to get over here. I'll just run past them. Just grab all this gossamer over here. Gossamer's pretty light. If we had a sickle, we'd be getting significantly more gossamer out of this. Kind of a nice little spot to build here. I mean, except for all the cobwebs, of course. Alright, so let's check out this base up here. It's a nice big flat space to build. I've never actually looked into building up on this plateau before. Don't you hit me. There's more spaces up above, too, there, if you want to. That pillar is a common place that people used to build. All right, what is this? Who is this? Who are you? The Amazing Blar. They've got a thrall wheel in here. Where are you grabbing thralls from? Must be over there. Is that a camp net? Oh, hang on. This is just the top of the building. The structure goes much... Jeez, it's a... It's a little village. I will rip you apart! <laughs> okay. Sounds like they got a black hand in there. Got a, a black hand raider turned thrall. Oh, they got a. There's girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're unconscious. Okay. Is this all for the amazing Blar? This is all the amazing Blar. All right. What kind of weapon did that guy carry? Did we see that when it was poking through? It's fine. Go ahead and we'll mark him here. Set, identify yourself. <laughs> the amazing Blar. Uh, the, the amazing Blar. The amazing Blar. Blood of the serpent. Enemies at the gate. There. All right. He is noted on the map. You now know about him. Or iron down here. I mean, I'm half tempted to kind of like build up where we were last time, you know? If there's no one over there, it's a good place for us to start. I think we'll probably move to a further like north side base at some point. Who's this? Like something further in like the north, even like the grasslands or the the forest or maybe even the frozen north. But around here, this is not a bad spot. Looks like a standard wall, though they built the built the wall backwards. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe it was blown into. Damage? Zero damage. There's no damage on power's base. It's not here. Nothing in the stables. I don't know why they're using stables here. Nearest horses are actually pretty far. Eh, it's one, two. Two-ish two grids, it's not that bad. Be worse. Okay, so power lives here. Goodness. There's so many people on this server. Look at all these bases we found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten so far. Roaming around here. That is a lot. He's building some sort of courtyard for himself. Okay. So we can go up there, and that's where we lived last time. Take a quick peek up there and see if anyone's built. Not sure... I'm sure if we do want to build there. Ah! 
I mean, around here's not bad. We can get a bunch of iron in this area, so maybe we just, like, build... Yeah, because it's not far for iron. I don't want to build on the island again. We've already done that. And I'm sure someone keeps an eye on that island. It's such a good spot to build. But if we set ourselves up here, we could probably power level pretty quick with the brimstone and the coal. Or brimstone and the iron. Spot. Why is there a buzzard down here? It should only be up above. I don't know why they're down here. Look at those feathers. If we're going to do anything with a bow, only those feathers. Maybe we just rebuild here for a quick moment. So far, I'm not seeing anything pop into place. Looks like we might be in the clear. Oh. Ass damn, I couldn't climb. Yeah, no one's built here. That's where we built last time, all within this area. Hmm. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not a bad place to build. Stone, wood. We've got uh, in the cave just up there, we've got iron and brimstone. That's really all we need to get ourselves up and running to steel. We've got a couple of camps here and down there that we can use as well. Maybe we build in the water this time? Oh no, not going to Exiles. This usually doesn't end well for other games. I think we'll be okay this time, Story Snow. I think we'll be okay. But we'll find out. Greetings, how are you doing? Why are you exiled this time? We are exiled this time for impersonating a priestess. What was it? Impersonating a priestess, strangling a... A loan man, like a loan shark, and assassinating a merchant. And again, I think we did that all in one go. I think that was just one one event. I think is what caused that. I, I imagine that it all happened one time. We impersonated a priest as a priestess, uh, and during that time, we strangled, thus assassinating. Well, we, str we strangled the merchant by assassination. I think is what it was. Alright, yeah, let's just build up here. Go ahead and build up here. But let's go ahead and change the journey over to you. So we can get this going. Because it's foundation, door frame, use a place builder, build more walls, build a ceiling, build a door, build a... And then do boxes. Okay, yeah, we can easily get that done. Yeah. So we can go ahead and just build up here. Same place as before. Strangling a money lender. I was a money lender. That's what, yeah. Yeah, yeah. An assassinating merchant. Yep. Those were our crimes. Alright. See, I'll just build a shack here. We're not going to do anything too grandiose this time. Let's go. Okay, so we already have this. Perfect. Let's go ahead and make ourselves the construction hammer. There we go. And foundations. Do we want to do sandstone? Or do we want to do flotsam? I do really like how flotsam looks. And every, everyone else builds in sandstone. I really like the flotsam. Flotsam's from the Isle of Sips DLC. It's the only DLC I've got. Maybe we just build the a tower again. I did like our tower. Let's go ahead and let's build a quick little tower here. Build a little circle base. Ah, it sends the ground. It's always obnoxious. That's fine. It's not a permanent base. We are out of wood. Wood. 
usually pick uh, disobedience, <laughs> disobedience of a priest, impersonating a priestess, and decapitation of a priest. Oh my goodness, Tommy Snow. Decapitation, I feel as though that's a little too far. I mean, we strangled the guy to death, sure, but I mean, decapitating? Makes it kind of tough to have an open, uh, an open coffin funeral, right, for the priest? Kind of tough to do if you're decapitating them. I guess I could sew it back on and put, give them a scarf. <laughs> guess that would work. Got 15 of these. Thing. And we're making it more difficult for ourselves by making it circular on a non even floor. We might end up moving, we'll see. It doesn't have to be a perfect spot here. It doesn't have to be perfectly beautiful in the way that it looks. It has to be functional. I think we've got the angles right that we can get a functional setup here. Yeah, it looks like we can get yeah, perfect. we can get the enough rows, so that's good. A little more wood. There we go. Here. Once we've got this wood, we'll go ahead and we'll put down the walls, the ceiling, and then the boxes. Actually, also attributes one, two, and three. Okay, so one more level. We just need one more level, and we can go ahead and work on finishing up the the warrior journey and we'll be finished so we'll finish up the construction journey which will help us finish the warrior journey so one thing i do want to see oh. yikes i thought i saw something out of the corner of my eye um hmm howdy neighbor who's this Who are you? Our clan. Uh oh. Our clan was chatting in chat, wasn't he? No, no. Or or can. Not our clan. Okay. Haven't been online in a while. It's empty. That's a good sign. Was it blown up? No, it's in perfect condition. Okay, yeah, there's nothing here right now. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. There's nothing here. So there's no need to antagonize them at the moment. They don't have anything set up. There's no bedrolls or anything for them to show up in. I don't think, unless it's in this offshoot back here. No, that's where those are. All right, yeah, cool. That's fine. So our clan started building up something, but it doesn't look like they actually finished. Or maybe they moved. I also haven't been online in a while, so we're we're fine. We'll, we'll we'll continue with our with our little circle base up here. It's not tucked away like you should on a PvP server, but again, we're also not expecting to stay here forever. We're expecting to move, and this is a good spot for us to go and get ourselves situated with steel tools and move ourselves up to at least level forty, if not level sixty. Should be able to manage. Before we go anywhere else on this, let's go ahead and get this campfire down. You and you and get that going. Perfect. We're running low on food. Let's get that up and running. Okay, let's then go for here. I don't think we quite have enough wood for the foundations. We might have to do one more run. Uh, maybe. It's gonna be close. We don't. We don't have enough. We only have five. We need six, if I think, if, I'm remember, if I am remembering correctly. Yeah, I missed one. All right. But now that we've dropped the sticks, the branches, and the food, lowering our weight, we'll be able to carry more wood for the next run. And after we get this next level in strength, we'll then start looking at getting levels in carrying capacity. Something we might end up doing after we get this done is see if we can get the alchemy, uh, the alchemy bench and everything running. 
Because we've got Yellow Lotus here, so we could just go and respec for, you know, uh, farming and building. And then respec back to combat after. Might be the way to go. Save us some time. Let's head back before we get too encumbered. Pick up some fiber on the way. Because again, as always, we always need twine. <laughs> you never you never don't need twine. Up we go. Alright, let's get this foundation in place. Perfect, okay. What do we want our front door? The stairs coming from there if we wanted. Stairs coming from here. We'll do stairs from here. Journey set. Okay, so the journey point, we don't actually... I was just watching the replay on that. So we don't actually get a lot of... Oh, put that away. Wrong way. We don't get a lot of experience for now. We actually don't get any special experience for the tiny bit of the journey. I'm curious if we get a bunch of experience for the large part of the journey. What, um... What's the next thing we have here? Pound <laughs> sugar. What's going on over there? Build a door frame. I did, though. Oh, but I did it out of order. That's right. You you literally have to follow these in order. That is right. But now door next, right? I would imagine. Use the place builder picker. Okay. I want the door to go that way. Right? Wrong way. The place builder picker? Is this the place builder picker? What is the place builder picker? What? <laughs> Use the building piece picker. Use the middle mouse button while targeting a building piece to select it for your next building piece. Oh, I never knew that was a thing. You press middle mouse button when you're looking at something and it pulls up the copy of it. Oh, that's... That'll save me so much time. I had no idea that was a thing. See, uh, this is why we're doing the journeys, is we're learning. They want at least two more walls. Don't worry, we're going to do more than two walls, that's for sure. Now, build a ceiling. Well, we're going to go too high because I'm not a fan of a one-high building. It's always way too cramped being in third person in a one-high building. I like a stone for one, so we're kind of running low on wood, too, so we'll get more wood as well. Let's get that stone first, though. Cool. Learning something new. And that's the whole reason why we're going through the journeys. And, as I said earlier, I know a lot about this game, but... I know I don't know everything. Alright, let's go get a little more wood. Let's head right back to it. Yeah, we should have plenty of food now. Grab this last little tree here. We're gonna, hopefully, the other trees can start respawning soon. We went 16. This is not going to be a lot. We're almost, we're almost there at leveling, though. Almost level. Uh, what, 15? Yeah, we're almost level 15. Level 14 still. Okay, let's just jump in. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Alright, ceilings. Alright, you go that way. Go that way. Go this way. What's next? Build a door. I already did that. <laughs> Alright, but now that I know I can just deconstruct and reconstruct the thing, right? So I can copy the door, delete the door, build the door. Okay. Now unlock boxes. Okay. Go to knowledge. Let's go do it this way. It's easier. Box maker. Unlock box maker. Okay. Place a box. 
All right. Decoration, storage, more wood required. Bummer. Okay. In which case, let's get some triangles so I can now start copying these. Perfect. Thanks. Makes this a little heavier, but now we have plenty of food on hand. So we can eat to get our passive health regen up and running. So while we're running back over here, I should also get another one, two of these going. Alright, what was it? We were low on wood, right? We got plenty of plenty of stone right now. We're out of wood. Good thing that these guys aren't active right now. Because <laughs> otherwise we're coming over here and just picking up some wood would be a real juicy target to go take down. Wait for some stamina. Okay. We can get what? Two more trees, I think. Maybe three if we take the small ones. Nah, we'll just take these two big guys and we'll be done. Don't over encumber. Oh, perfect. I think we're at 99% encumbrance right now. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. We did it. Whatever made that screaming sound that scared you earlier, you automatically thought you were playing Skyrim when you heard it. You have not started Skyrim today? Hmm. I mean, the screen sounded it sound kind of like the spider sound. Kind of spider sound. Spider screams. Pick that up. It'll over-encumber us. That's fine. Wait for us down and then we'll climb back up. You instinctually thought, oh no, what another dra Oh, another dragon? Hmm. Oh, I know the sound you're talking about. Yeah, no, it's actually not associated with anything in this game. It's just an ambient sound. Put this guy right there. Okay. All encumbered from all these sticks I'm carrying. <laughs> Okay, we'll dump them in there in a minute. Oh. I think we're still going to need to go out and grab more. I don't think we have enough. Yeah, no, we still don't have enough. We're close, though. So after this, we'll do the one that uh, pushes us to get torches. Oh, don't do that. Copy. Oh, that's really cool. We have to get used to using it. Jeez. I'm going to have to get used to using the copy function, but the copy function is really cool. Right, so we'll copy this one. Just need a few more. And what is it we're low on? As expected. Okay, we still have plenty of stone. We'll pick up this one. <laughs> it pretends to be a bush, but it's actually a tree. It's a ground tree. They're rare. <laughs> An endangered species of tree. You can easily deal with the dragon in Skyrim now. You did the enchant for fortifying uh, enchant enchanting potion to get OP items. Oh, yeah, I know that. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. It's a well-grounded tree, it is. Well-grounded in its principles, for sure. I didn't drop off the branches. We're just going to chuck those. Along. We'll pick up more as we're cutting down wood. There's our level. Nice. Gotta get a little closer. So our goal here is to get to the point in which this is built. We've got storage. We'll put a little bed in there. And then get some stairs outside so we can get into it easily. And then start working on crafting. I want to get up to iron. 
So you have a magic item that increases your destruction magic by like 70,000%. Jeez. Doesn't sound broken. Sounds perfectly balanced. Just uh, awkwardly get ourselves inside. Those branches. Get some proper lightning here. Lighting in here. Oh, it's actually in the wrong spot. I don't want you here. I want you moved. There. I want you opposite the door. Perfect. All right, what are we supposed to do? Place the box. All right, we'll do the box in a second. Let's go ahead and finish up the circle. All right, we are fully secure. Decorations, storage box. We'll put a storage box on either side. We'll put one here. Not enough twine. Let's turn, turn all that into twine in the meantime. Now what? The wooden box is small, but important addition to the base of uh, to a base of operations. Interact with the box by opening it so you can store an item in there. Yeah, okay. Do that. Open it. We'll dump these in here. Dump the coal in here. We'll dump those. I don't need to carry this on me. Don't need to carry that on me or that. I don't need both. We can drop you, drop you, drop you, drop you, drop you, 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 and you. And then... Lock. Should we say lock so no one else can just freely pick it up? All right, cool. The journey. Ah, and that's it. Done. All right. So we've done the survival shelter. Construct a shelter. Uh, constructing a shelter requires basic materials and knowledge of how to work them. Done. Reward. Okay, we've now claimed our survival kit. Which has a weight of 0.13, low low grade consumable. A bag that contains very basic, uh, basic, very basic for survival. Which is lasting feast. What? Two different bed rolls. Another water skin because of course the other two I had wasn't too many. An aloe potion, a torch. Nice. I'll take that. Healing wraps. A lasting feast. Actually, really cool. And one plant fiber. So you got the enchanting to level 100? Yeah, but as you need to, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Flame Cloak gets increased range and damage when you fortify destruction magic. That's... Wait, what? Flame Cloak gets range? That sounds a little broken. <laughs> it sounds, sounds a little broken. Drop that off. Drop off the aloe extracts. I'm only using weak right now. Let's go ahead and let's use the bedroll. I'll have bedroll. We'll just put it on the dirt. A lot of dirt there. So we got the second wooden box. Is because we're gonna need more space. So we'll keep that. Nice. Drop those bugs off. There we go. All right. Not level one hundred, but legendary one hundred. Oh, jeez. Who is Don't Shoot? He's new. We're level 15. Don't Shoot is not part of a clan. Ah, Doom Trigger is part of Lemons. Okay, Doom Trigger is part of Lemons. Okay. I must have seen him at some point, because I don't remember seeing him in chat. Hmm. Alright, next journey. We've got three journeys down. Soldier Journey. Wear a piece of heavy armor. Ah, oh, we're gonna have to craft heavy armor. We're gonna need the armor one. What is this? Unlock the armor knowledge to get the armor one going. Okay, so we'll get the armor one going next. Because we're gonna need to make heavy armor. And rogue. Alright, let's go ahead and switch to this journey. Go back to attributes. What is it? So armor weighs less or combat finishes do more damage. We'll do more damage. There we go. Go back to journey. This guy's perform a heavy finisher. We can do that real quick. There we go. Done. And the last thing we need to do is wear heavy armor, which we do not have right now. So we'll jump on to the next one. So we got 
Bed shaper torches, light source, chairs, carpenter bench. What do we want to work on with? I think I want to do blacksmithing first. This is more important for us right now. So switch to blacksmithing. Start off with unlocking blacksmithing. Let's do that first. Oh, okay, I see. So you're over level three. That makes sense. That makes sense, Stormy. So I was going to say, geez, work. How many points do you get to spend? All right, blacksmithing. Is that survival? There it is. Blacksmith. Okay, blacksmithing completed. What do you want us to do next? Next is access or place a furnace. Interesting that it says one or the other. Okay. Then we have to har harvest ironstone and harvest. Oh, we have to go back and harvest coal. Okay. We can't just have some in our pockets. Bummer. All right. Actually, is, any is there anything for stairs? <laughs> Are there is there anything for stairs? Mason, dryer, hardened brick, build a well. Should we build a bed and bind to the bed? Chair, thrall taker, acolyte. Okay, there's nothing for stairs. So let's go ahead and let's just build stairs. Because I want to build stairs. I, I would like I would like some proper stairs to get down, thank you. Building pieces. Not sandstone. Awesome. Railed. Go. Much better. Alright, perfect. Place a furnace. Furnace can be expensive. I don't think I have enough stone, I don't. Should right here. Okay, now we got enough. Okay. Furnace. Uh, let's go ahead and stick a furnace right here. Right. Yeah, we'll put the furnace here. It's right in the center. Okay. Next is harvest some iron stone. Where is the nearest iron stone to us without going in that cave? It's not really any close place other than going in that cave, huh? Let's go in the cave. What we might do is we might just blitz right... <laughs> I might just go ahead and blitz directly past all the spiders. To go nab a little bit of that iron stone. Let's pop ourselves off there. There we go. A little water. Good, good. A lot of perks to unlock. You personally... Yeah, you probably only unlocked like 60 to 70 percent of all perks. Wow. So ordinator gets 400 and 469 perks. That is a <laughs> man. Again, I I haven't played Skyrim in 11 years, so that's that's insane. It's a lot of perks. I am looking forward to playing it with mods, though. That's gonna be fun. I'm excited to do that. Let's go up here and grab a kiss real quick. Pretty sure this is where we pick a kiss, right? Yeah, blow kiss. Perfect. All right. We're going to just run past all the spiders. We're going to mine a little bit of iron. Actually, we're going to mine iron with the iron pick. Because the iron pick's going to give us more iron. So we don't have to come back here as much. Yeah, we'll come back here for all this brimstone, too. We did place our bedroll, so we should be okay. And these guys do struggle with hitting us if you keep on running. Spiders are not any good at it. I'm gonna have to ring around the rosy here, though. Okay, harvest time. Oh, we had to actually break a whole node. That makes sense. Now, we gotta go find coal now. Wanna get the brimstone? Give me levels. We got all the levels. We get so many levels from Brimstone. <laughs> it's so many levels from Brimstone. Let me finish this here. Okay. We get so many levels from Brimstone. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let's get out. Alright, run. 
We need to go get coal. Um, up there is where we can get coal. So let's go drop all this stuff off here real quick so we're not encumbered. And we'll go get that coal. Yeah, we level so fast with brimstone. I just want to go get more brimstone. It's the easiest way for us to get that. Attributes. So we'll go ahead and we'll start putting points in expertise again. Then we can get the harvesting that makes it more efficient. So we get more every time we harvest. You don't like making Skyrim into Star Wars, but wait. You you don't like making Skyrim into Star Wars Battlefront 2.5? Wait, what? Alright, Stormy Snow, you're going to have to explain on that one. You're going to have to explain what you mean. <laughs> I'm a little lost on that one. You, you put Star Wars blasters into Skyrim? Is that what you're saying? Alright, here we go. We got Cola already. Go ahead and open that up. Pull in. Alright. Drop these. And we'll hold on to this because I'm still building. It's fine. It is more of an engine than a game at this point. That's how moddable it is. I mean, true, yeah. Skyrim got mods for practically everything now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's true. That's just. It's kind of funny. It's a good old Skyrim, but Star Wars. All right, harvest coal. Coal can be mined by a pick, and is an important fuel, much more efficient than wood. Coal can provide you with a fuel source without sacrificing your wood supply. Equip pick and swing it in a coal node with left mouse. Wait, is it coal or iron that's over here? I just remember there's iron over here. It's not coal, it's iron. I should have came over here for that. Right... Right... There. Right right there. Right where the little cursor is. Iron. We can go ahead and we can do a sweep of that if we pick up some more coal. We can get coal at the very top of this ramp. So we don't have to go too far for the coal, so that's good. That is good. Ooh, jeez, okay. There's another base up here. I mean, we are up near the pit, so I really should expect base. Jeez. Okay. It's huge, and I think maybe it was raided. Oh, yeah, it's damaged. Um, I sure did. Okay. Wonky base design. He's airlocked it behind foundations. How old is this again? A couple days. Don't have to worry about him right now. But if he comes back and continues to play, this this guy could be a problem. Whoa! This guy could be a problem. Looks like someone. Someone on the server built an arena for everyone. Oh, I thought that guy was going to come after me. I was like, what? Seriously? Alright, so who is the generous team? Lady Bits is the generous one that decided to build us an arena. Very cool. Ooh, and it's damaged? Did someone seriously blow this place up? They did. Who used explosives on this? What is this? Stormclass Gargoyle. Never seen that before. That's cool. I think this is a new bizarre Stormglass set, is it? Isn't it? Is that a map room? Oh my goodness, look at that. It's gorgeous. Those windows? I don't know about these spires, these roof pieces, but the rest is gorgeous. From what? Okay. Very nice. Left it open for everyone, too. What's the decay timer on this? Someone was just recently here. Okay, there's just stuff all around this base. Holy. Okay, we're going to want to build further away from here. <laughs> this, this is the Savs. Or Scavs. The Scavs are here. 
This is OMG, but they're kind of done. These are all raid pyramids. Or maybe they use these as, like, respawn points to come back for the arena. Because they're all evenly paced, uh, placed around. No, OMG has two of these. Oh, this is really cool. I like the caps. Tulip. Completely raided out. Huh. Okay. And then... That one's right over it, so there might be a elevator down, but it doesn't look like it. Let's go grab this obelisk real quick. It is going to give us corruption, unfortunately. Alright, only one health point of corruption. That's not too bad. We can live with just lo with losing one hit point. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's go get that coal. Let's get out of here. Uh, and who's this? I'm not even going to mark these guys on the map. It's not really worth our time because they're all clustered in one spot. And these are all the same kind of pyramid style. You can see they're across everywhere here. So it's not worth us marking these on the map. Lady Bits got raided. Okay. Especially because it's not like a place that we have to worry about regularly. This is where people come to from time to time, but they're not living out of these spots, and that's what matters. What the? the tree base over there. There's Wa. Actually, again, very recent was here. So Wa was here recently. Let's go grab that coal while we're here. I guess we can go find the summoning place. As well, actually, I don't know. We knew the Sony place in the old journey. I don't know if this new journey stuff that requires that. How's it going, Iridium? How are you doing today? All right, now what? Smelt iron bars. Okay, we can do that next. All right. How much emotional trauma should you prepare for your players today? Uh oh. <laughs> what? Where? What's going on with that one? All right. Uh, Valnar. Okay. I wonder whose house that is. Jeez, this place is just polluted with houses. Son of Loki. That looks awesome, though. That base looks really cool. So this brick. We got Was over here, too. Okay, so Wolf kind of feels like he lives here. More so than just has a couple of bases. Feels like he actually lives here. Who's this? This is Star Wars. Star Wars, this is a beautiful build. To us. Doors open, but not perfectly. There's a rock nose over here. Weird. Oh, this thing's been blasted into. Sacrificial chamber. Okay. What the? <laughs> I think it's coming for me. Oh, it's almost dead. I'll just take that out. Oh, nice. Gained a level out of there. Actually, we got a lot of experience off killing that guy. Down. Take these Defari Warriors down here real quick. Uh oh. Come on. No, hit him. One more. Oh, that was really close. Nice. <laughs> that was really close. Alright. The players have decided to recruit a gnome village into their alliance. The said gnome village is also housing the rat turned gnomed character. Okay. Let's just pick up some coal from this guy while we're here. Oh, iron. Nice. I'll take that. Perfect. What do you have? Nothing I want. Nothing I want. Huh? Nice. I'll take that. Right, let's head back. Guess there's a lot of coal here, by the way. <laughs> I guess we, can, guess we can pick up more coal while we're here, yeah? We're just going to ignore this guy. You shouldn't do too much damage to us. Coal gives us uh, experience, and we're going to need it for smelting anyway. I'll catch up on chat here once we're running away from the coal. To get this last piece here. Right, perfect. Get the auto runs going. Off we go. All right. Should the rat turned, all right. Should the rat turned gnome run up to the player who turned it and call him daddy? I mean, maybe like creator or savior would make more sense since it's like a rat that's been turned into a gnome, but the rat wasn't like the child of the player. That would at least make more sense to me. Ah, oh, that's where the door's supposed to be on that side. 
I see. Hmm. Oh, it was the player that was testing the potion. Yeah. Okay. Taking a break from XCOM 2 anxiety? Ooh, Iridium. Nice. How's XCOM? Well, clearly anxiety. So how's it going? Um, War of the Chosen? You think you just did the integrated DLC? Nice. On Legend, it has a lot of clutch moments. Oh, you're playing on Legendary Difficulty, Iridium? Holy, I think I played on Hard Difficulty when I played it. When we played War of the Chosen, not... the uh, Original XCOM 2, not War of the Chosen. I think I did on Normal Difficulty. And then when we did War of the Chosen, I think we did Hard Difficulty. That's when we swapped over to Hard. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> XCOM's got some very tense moments. Totally understand that. I can see that being the case for XCOM 2 Anxiety. Oh yeah, definitely. It has been... Um, it will have only been a gnome for like two months. I mean, sure, but like how old was the rat before? The rat wasn't like, you know... It wasn't a, a teeny baby rat. I mean, if they adopted the rat first before testing it. I don't know what the story of how they got the rat to, like, in the first place and then gave it the potion. But if they, like, if it was a rat pet, then sure. Makes sense. It was just a random street rat. They just found a random street rat and turned him into a gnome. You know, on the bright side, because this Storm of Snow, is, this isn't fully converted over to Pathfinder yet, right? It's still 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons? Because if so, then, you know, depending on what type of gnome he is, he can he can still speak to his brethren, you know? Alright, that's done. What's the next journey step? A blacksmith's bench is necessary for a crafter. Okay. Um, in it, you'll be able to craft not only weapons but components used in building upgrades and more. Okay. Next thing we need to do is get the blacksmith bench going. It requires 50 iron, which we have plenty of because we started that going before we went on our adventure. Uh, let's do this way. Come on. There we go. All right. Unlock iron tools from the knowledge menu. Okay. Knowledge menu. Tools. Iron tools. Unlock tools. Now we got silk. That's what we were picking all that gossamer up for earlier. Iron weapons are primitive, but very effective implements of destruction and an improvement over their stone counterparts. Craft an iron weapon in the crafting panel. Okay, well, I can't... I don't have any actual weapons. I guess we have some of the... At least other weapons we can grab, but I don't have any, like, weapon weapons. Let's drop you off. Oh, I actually need branches. Where are my branches? Did I drop every single branch? I should have branches stuck in here somewhere. I don't have any branches. Yep, let me go grab that. Uh, this is a 5th edition group? Yeah, okay, so if you're playing 5th edition D&D, then, if I remember correctly, what is it, uh, hill gnomes or something? Get the ability to talk to burrowing critters, which includes rats. So if that's the case, he can still talk to his friends. Right, so we've got a handful of branches now. Okay. Branches in. Let's go ahead and unlock some. I guess I wonder if by weapons it means tools, because these are technically weapons. Tools are technically weapons, funnily enough. So I don't know if that's how it counts. We should get an iron axe. We have an iron pick. So we can drop the we can drop the stone pick. We don't need that ever again. Let's go ahead and let's make the iron axe, because we definitely want an iron axe. And we can drop this axe. We'll go ahead and we'll fix our iron pick in a moment here. 
But I'm curious if the iron hatchet actually cl uh, is classified as an iron weapon. Because weapon repair kits work on. No? Of course, more feet here. Oh, we wait. Hmm. Doesn't look like it does. No. Definitely doesn't. Okay. Now we know. So iron weapons. So it's not classified as a weapon. Interesting. Very interesting. Forest gnomes are the ones that can talk to small beasts in 5th edition? Ah, it's forest gnomes. Okay. My bad. But <laughs> I haven't run a 5th edition campaign in a long time, nor have I played one in equally as long, actually. So I was I was running one and then a friend did a quick one shot. Yeah, so I haven't I haven't done that in a while. Right now we're just kind of waiting for more iron. <laughs> we should probably get a second furnace. How much stone do we have? Not enough. We can get more. Don't necessarily want to break this, but we might as well go out and grab some stuff while we're waiting. Uh, can I drop some weights? Yeah, I got all this wood. Let's drop this wood. Don't need the wood for it. We just need the stone. So I can carry more. Come on now. Close, please. I don't want someone to be able to freely walk into our base. There we go. 500. We can go ahead and make a second furnace. Help speed things up. And again, eventually what we're going to want to do is have a second furnace so that we can do iron and steel at the same time. It's pretty critical. Is this bleeding through the back? It is not. Excellent. Right, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to take half this. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So that'll help speed that up, because we're going to need 30-something for weapons. Alright, so knowledge. Weapons. And bronze sword, flanged mace. Do you want to go axes or maces this time? We did axes last time. We could do maces this time. The nice thing about axes is they do bleed damage, so that once we hit someone, they start slowly bleeding. But maces do sundering, so that we do more damage each time as we go. And we're already using the cudgel. There's, what, 15? And this gives us 17? This gives us 19, but it doesn't get as much armor pen. The bronze sword and the like are pretty cool. The Kopesh is actually really good. But the, the iron short sword and broad sword are good. Let's go with maces. Let's go with maces. Rats apparently grow up quickly, starting to fend for themselves within several weeks of Earth. Jeez. Rodents are scary. <laughs> their, their life cycle is very quick. Yeah, it's another 30 as expected. Let's go ahead and make sure we eat so we're still healing. Actually, let's go ahead and wrap that up. This way we can get some more... We can go ahead and pick up some more plant fiber. And with that plant fiber, we can go ahead and get some more wraps. Which would be good. Got plant fiber lying around? Nope. We'll have to go grab some. We're at 22, and we're at 8. Excellent, that's enough. 23, even better. We can use that to repair this guy with the last, last bit. That flange mace going. And then this last one here, we can go ahead and repair. Oh. Interesting. So, though the items disappeared, they don't actually count as being out of inventory. And by saying I wanted to repair, it canceled it. I was just going to use the one iron bar we had lying around in there. That's, that's what I was going to do. Okay, well, that's awkward. <laughs> Well, you learned something new, right? You learned something new. All right, let's go get some more twine while we wait, then, I guess. Be a quick moment. It won't take too long. We need more twine anyway. More fiber to start with, but more twine in the end we're going to need. Let's go ahead and grab that while we're here. Just sitting and waiting. These eclipses are crazy. Learning new things? Is such a thing possible? Also, hi. How's it going, Strong? How are you today? Yeah, again, it's one of those things. I played. I have over 500 hours of, I think, how many hours? Yeah, I have over 500 hours of play time on this game, and yet there's still stuff I'm learning all the time. I'm still learning stuff all the time. We've learned two things today that I never knew about. The one that you can change what you're, where you're getting by pressing in middle mouse button to copy something that's already been placed, which is 
Amazing, by the way. You can't hand... Okay, you cannot handcraft rawhide bedrolls. Interesting it says handcraft, when actually that's what you do. You handcraft it in this menu. But it's very cool. I said the rat is equivalent to a 10-year-old gnome. That's still a very young gnome, right? Gnomes have a very short lifespan. Or have a very long lifespan, rather. So, 10 years is like, still child, right? Alright, now let's make the flash mace. <laughs> Whoops, daisies. Whoops, daisies. Gnomes live like 350 to 500 years in expectancy? Yeah, so that... Yeah, a, a 10-year-old gnome is... What, not even a toddler? This would be like one-third of... Right, if it was on the low end. If you say humans live to 100 years, then it'd be divided by 5, right? Nice, blacksmithing completed. We divide by 5, so that means it'd be a 2-year-old. <laughs> Steel smith journey unlocked. Alright. Yeah, yeah, so 17 and 24. So it's a flat upgrade to our Defari cudgel. Which has it served us well. But we no longer need it, so we're going to get rid of that. Next journey. Alright, Steel smith. Place a fireball cauldron... Craft tar in a tannery, brimstone, fire steel, create steel bar, steel knowledge, tool, and weapon. So they are separate. Okay, so I thought. Ooh, a perfected... Oh, wow. Look at all the rewards. We'll probably use the axe. So I guess we'll go back to the axes then. We can get more repair kits. Nice. Only one weapon repair kit? What? Only got one weapon repair kit for that? I got five from this one. Oh, maybe it's the higher tier weapon repair kit, actually. No, it's the same. <laughs> okay. Seems kind of like a... Not really the best deal I've ever seen, but okay. Fine. Be that way. Heavy armor. We'll be doing this soon. Steel. Mason. That's not anything new I want to do. Do. Which one do we want to focus on next? I mean, I, granted, I do want to, like, blitz here if we can. Carpenter and then uh, Cauldron. So you actually need to get Fireball Cauldron knowledge on two. That's actually just, of course, opening it up. So I guess we can do Mason next, then. Let's switch to Mason. So for Mason, we need to go and get Carpentry. That's the first thing we need to go and unlock. Is Carpentry. There we go, Carpenter. Done. All right, you need to craft stone consultant for your buildings. Unlock the fireball cauldron knowledge. We're not going to be doing anything with stone consultant for a bit, though. Let's go grab that. And stone consultant is tier two building materials. Like we, we, we're not playing with that yet. Let's go ahead and get the fireball cauldron done. All right, turn step. Moving on next, stone consultant functions as a temperature uh, resistant mortar. It is a key ingredient in the crafting of most building and furnaces. Okay. I think we're going to be done with this one for the moment. We're going to swap over to a different journey. We'll jump over to the steel journey, steel smith journey instead. Start working on this one. Gather tar, tanner. What do I need for this? Unlock tanner. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fine. Uh, we should probably go do tanner. Unlock the tan. Wait, what? Um, unlock the Tanner Knowledge. Prerequisite, unlock the Tanner Knowledge. I feel like someone was doing these uh, steps when they were on, like, two hours of sleep. We found a handful of weird discrepancies in here already. You need the Tanner Knowledge to even start this, but you have to have the Tanner Knowledge to get past this. This step is literally... Moot. You don't need it. Remove it. Take it out. You don't need it. Why is it here? It also would make it so you wouldn't have to really scroll. Be kind of nice. Also, tannery is lowercase when it's upper. Oh my goodness! I'm gonna go mental with these. <laughs> oh come on, come on! It's not that hard to do this. Right, let's go ahead and unlock tannery. Tanning. Alright, Tanner unlocked. 
Golly. Oh, that also actually... Oh, yeah, the Fireball Cauldron is what unlocks uh, you. Oh, we only have to give to Aloe Extract? Easy. We'll definitely do that one next. Let's get Tanner started, though, so we can actually get some, some hides going for getting some armor. All right. Skinning knives are tools used to skin defeated enemies and gain hides, furs, and pelts from them. Okay, let's go make one. Uh, with our bare hands. That's right, we're going to make one with our bare hands. We can do that outside. They mature at the same rate as humans, apparently. Oh, really? Gnomes do? Crazy, okay. Time to go eat some breakfast? All right. Enjoy that breakfast of yours. Then prepare for D&D and have fun, for sure. Have a good stream? Thank you. You keep your addiction in check? I will do my best. This game's so good, though. Just, just one more stream, right? Just one more hour. One more build. Okay. That's done. Let's go ahead and make our skinning knife. We'll take the repair hammer off. We're not currently doing any sleuthing. All right, skinny corpse. Let's go take this guy down. With our big old iron mace. Bam, gained a level out of it too. Let's see, we're fleshing a bunch of hide. Excellent. All right, picking up bark. Bark is acquired is required fuel for tanners and acts as desiccate. Okay, you can gather bark by using a pickaxe to harvest trees. Actually, grab a bunch of that. Dried trees give quite a bit of bark. Oh, I really like that we're already up to iron. It's good. Even though I've been kind of like tomfooling around, like we could have gotten to iron a lot faster, but. We got a lot of uh, exploring done. There's still a lot more exploring we need to do to kind of figure out where we are in the world compared to everyone else who's playing. So again, this is quite a busy server. It's quite a busy server. <laughs> we went over to the pit. Compared to the last server we were playing on, the last uh, PvP official server we were playing. It's a lot. All right, what else do we need to make the... It's interesting, it doesn't require us to actually build the tannery. Just to, you know, go and grab that stuff. Oh, no, now it does. Place the tannery. Okay. <laughs> Spoke too soon. Should read the instructions. I only had one there. Let's get them from here. Canneries are automatic crafting stations where you simply need to add fuel and basic resources for it to work. You can place a tannery by using the construction hammer. I says tannery by pressing E. I'm looking at it. I like how it says pressing E and looking at it. Looking at what? Looking at the tannery or looking at the menu that pops up? I don't know. Back. We have no more attribute points. We do. More expertise means more carrying capacity. More carrying capacity means less trips. We like that. Less trips is a good thing. Go eat up so we keep healing. All right, let's get a tannery. I guess put the tannery here. Oh, are you guys both done? Oh, you are. We need to go get more stone. We're going to go and do a do a run for that. Because we're going to need so much that, honestly, it's only going to be worth it if we have that running all the time. Let me put it here, right behind our bedroll. Nice double side. There we go. I do like that, like, clicking sound, the, the completion. It does sound really nice. All right. Acquired leather from the tannery. By putting bark and hide in a tannery, you produce leather products and a byproduct, tar, and the byproduct tar. Place bark and hide in the tannery inventory and activate it by pressing the play button. Okay. Go. After the hide is dried, take the tar for the tannery inventory. Do we have any hides as well? Nope. Okay. There's bark in here, though. Leather and tar is now in inventory. All right, craft a tanner's table. A tanner's table allows you to convert and refine a variety of pelts and hides to other resources, and is a requirement for crafting armor components. Okay. Should just be wood. Yeah, we can make plenty of those. And nestle this in here. Got it poking through. All 
Oh, it's gas. Nice. Okay. And it doesn't actually... Okay, so, so far it doesn't give us... Checking everything off on the journeys doesn't give us a bunch of experience, but I think when we complete it, it does. Improve Tanner's table. A table to process and assemble hides into finished products. Okay, so let's take a look where our experience is. Should tell us how much we need, right? All right, we need 22, 830. You know, we, of course, you know, staying alive gives you 10 every, what? It's not every minute. You get 10 XP every 10 seconds? Yeah, every 10 seconds. You get, so you get 1 XP per, per second while playing this game. All right, so 2280. 2280. Complete reward. Journey Steps gives 0 XP. I was just assuming it was. So Journey Steps, back prior to this update, used to give XP and was the fastest way to level, was by doing Journey Steps. That is no longer the case. Very interesting. The improved Tanner's table. Wow, it's very different. Is that how you get the improved Tanner's table as opposed to... Do you have to do journey steps or can you get it through knowledge? No, you can get it through knowledge. Okay. But you get the you get a variance. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Don't need another two three weeks of Conan Exiles. I know we need we gotta finish the others. We need to complete uh, Elden Ring and Fallout Four first. Yeah, we gotta do that first for sure. Just realized shorting Elden Ring to ER also makes it an emergency room. It does. <laughs> it does. But yeah, no, we we shouldn't get too swallowed up by it. We we gotta get those games done. Definitely on the to do list. All right, so we can go ahead and do this, but mostly what this is going to be is used for us to make twine whenever we need twine. That's what we're going to be using it for for now. However, I do need one of these. All right, it's so new journey. So we can do alchemist next, which will be real easy because we have... Oh, we have to harvest aloe leaves. Where are they? They're nearby. We can just go down down to the bottom of the cliff. We can go grab those aloe leaves. Crafting aloe extract and drinking it simple. We can get that all done. Armor requires the armor knowledge, so we'll have to go do that next. Tinker, do you want to get the armor done? Because we're going to need to be able to make the heavy armor. It says making light armor, but we'll need to make... We can't make heavy armor, can we? We can't finish off Soldier for a bit. We can't make heavy armor until we get heavy hide. Or thick hide. We're not going to get thick hide for a bit. We'll have to do Thrall Taming first. So we'll jump on Thrall Taming next. So let's go ahead and let's get Alchemist as our next journey step. Access Fireball Cauldron, Craft Tar, Brimstone, Firestone. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get this one done first, and then we'll start working on the Steelsmith. Alchemy. I need 50 steel. Or 50 iron, rather. A bunch of iron is good. Let's put this here. Unfortunately, it's very bright, though. I don't really want it there. This is just how bright it is. Put the Fireball Cauldron here. Put it inside. There we go. All right. The Alchemy Bench converts raw materials into healing wraps and potions of limitless wonder. I didn't read what the Cauldron did. I should be reading what each one says. Ah, you know what? I think we are going to move it over there. Yeah, no, we're going to move that. I do want it in the corner. PvP rules be darned. I want it over here. It just looks nicer. <laughs> I want the space. There we go. Aloe leaves. Aloe is used in crafting in the crafting of healing concoctions and can typically be found near bodies of water. Jump down here. Press E while facing the plants on the ground to pick them up. You also use a sickle to harvest them. Nice. That does really give a good rundown on everything. Should be aloe on the other side of this embankment here. Interesting. Do we have an extra piece of corruption? Why do I have 208 health instead of 209? 
Who picked up some extra corruption at some point? Harvest aloe leaves. I'm harvesting aloe leaves. How much harvest do we need? Um... Huh. <laughs> more! We need more! I don't know if keep on going down. It doesn't hurt to pick up more. But... <laughs> Sept Wolf. <laughs> we'll pick up more. It doesn't hurt. We, we are in a PvP server, so we are absolutely going to end up... We're going to be doing PvP for sure. We're going to need a whole bunch of concoctions. But it seems as though this isn't working. That doesn't work. We might have to get a sickle for this. Might not count this as harvesting. It doesn't feel like it's counting it as harvesting. Let's grab some stone while we're here. I know we're going to need more stone at some point anyway. Let's grab this now. Might as well come back with a full inventory. There's no need. There's no reason for us to be running around without a full inventory when we're coming back. This way, we get more experience as well, as we're getting experience for harvesting. So we can level up sooner, so we can get more carrying capacity, so we can carry more when we come back each time. Also, want to get the tinker up next, but I think we're gonna get the steel crafting up next. It's the big one I want. Run. Let's go ahead and drop. Salt's kind of important, but I don't really need it. Drop some of the stone. We don't need all the stone. We'll grab three stacks. That's still good. So we might have to go and craft that sickle. It's a bummer. We don't have a lot of iron left. We only have, what, 48 iron, I think? 38 iron. Yikes. Even less than I thought. Oh yeah, because we needed ten to make the make the alchemical table. They really need to revise the journey steps. The redundant requirements and unclear instructions are kind of lame. Well, I mean, they literally just did. They they just turned it into this. This update is when they made the journey steps like this. So they they definitely need to go and clean it up. It, it's not perfect, but it is definitely better than it was before. However, I don't like that it doesn't give you experience. Even if you don't get experience for completing the little part, like the tiny parts of the checklist, you should get experience. Jeez, are we going to make it? Oh my goodness, we barely made it. <laughs> we almost fell. Um, at least completing a journey step should give you a chunk of experience. The fact that it doesn't make me a little grumpy. It really should give you a chunk of experience. Put just building materials in here for now. Alright, that lightens up our load. So the problem is now that I've got this aloe, I can't actually continue this journey. Because crafting it, I have to do this first. You can't do them out of order. We'll still make one because we're going to go and do some, some diving for some materials in a moment here, but... I'm gonna need better storage at this rate. Yeah, crafting this does nothing for us. Bit of a bummer. Yeah, I'll leave this on us for now. Okay, and in which case, let's change to a different journey then. Uh, let's, what, armor? We can get skin and animal, armor, light padding, light armor. We can do that in a minute. We'll do it when we get back. Tinker, weapon bench. Not steel, so that's the one. Switch to this journey step. Alright, access a fireball cauldron, pull out tar, and then gather brimstone. Access a fireball cauldron. Done. Alright, I need to be reading the prompts at the top right. Because some of them actually have some nice, nice things to written out as. Alright, place bark and hide in the dryer. Inventory. To... What? Oh, what? 
Craft tar in a tannery. Place bark and hide in the dryer's inventory and activate it by pressing the play button. Maybe I shouldn't be reading these. I literally said I was I should be reading these because they've got nice blurbs of text. It literally has the wrong crafting station marked on there. I'm supposed to use a tannery, not a dryer. Jeez. Okay, uh, Brimstone is harvested with the pick. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know, right? Wowzers, right? Jeez. So we found three things, and I haven't been super diligent. We've already found three things that need to be fixed in this. Beta testing? Listen, Funko. Listen. If you let me stream it, if you let me stream it like a day before release for some of these updates, I would be happy to do this, right? I'd be happy to do so. Get just... Or, or maybe just give me some like keys to give to the community, right? Could do some giveaways. I'd be I'd be happy to go and fix all of these problems for you by testing all this. Come on, <laughs> seriously? Yeah, do they even play test this? Or I'm sure they do play test it. But it's one of those things that when you make something, this is something we all run into. I don't know if you had this when you were like doing like in school when you're doing like essays and the like. I don't know if you guys have ever run into this before, but you write your essay and then you read it back and it looks fine and then you submit it and then you read it later after it's marked up because of bad grammar and you find out that you were using like words that are similar but not the same or misspelling stuff or made like an awkward sentence structure just because you read it the way you intended it to be not how it actually is and how you actually wrote it which is why i'm a big proponent of hey if you're going to do anything like that like for school when you have a big essay do all the writing and then wait a day and in the morning, or wait a few hours, like if you do all the writing at night, wake up in the morning before you turn it in, read through it, make sure it still looks good. Good, then good. If not, fix it, right? It's just, it's one of those things, it's tough. People struggle with it. But I'm telling you, you know, I used to do beta testing back when it was, when their like open beta wasn't a thing, they were always closed betas, right? Back prior to open beta being normal and early access being a thing. I used to do a lot of that, and the text was a huge thing that I worked on, because I like reading all the lore and whatnot. Like, it, come on. Help me help you, Funcom. Help me help you. Let's take down some spiders here, get a little experience. Jeez. <laughs> Lag up. Lost a couple frames there. Alright. Brimstone is harvested with- hello! <laughs> Where are you coming from, big man? Got something for me? Can't believe it. Killed by a bleeding landsman. Killed by a landsman. Alright. Rinse it. Hello? Let's finish killing this. Okay. Brimstone is harvested with a pick. You can find brimstone in the world, and they are identical by their yellow tint or stalagmite shape. Look up a pick and swing up brimstone nodes left. Perfect, which is good, because this is going to give us many, many levels. We're probably going to get three levels in here from Brimstone. Probably going to get about three levels in here from all the Brimstone we're going to be picking up. Look at how fast our experience bar goes. It's so nice. Oh, so good. Craft Steel Fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll do it in a hot second. Let me just let me just go grab a couple levels here. Let me just go pick up a couple levels here real quick. Now that we actually have this uh, an iron mace, we'll do more. Ow. Let me go, let me go around, please. Jeez, oh, okay, we're surrounded. Gained a level. Oh, we can do sorcery now. Ow! 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 <laughs> We can do sorcery now. Sorcerer. Level 20 was the prerequisite. Okay. Defeat a sorcerer. Okay, cool. We can do that. A uh, sorcerer that we can defeat is just around the corner. Wow, that iron hasn't respawned yet. It hasn't been 15 minutes. Huh. Nope. More brimstone. More iron! We do, we're out of iron, so any, any and all iron is good right now. I want those two furnaces running all the time. Having the furnaces running at all times is just 
you, you just need it. Unless you, uh, unless you have, like, a whole row of, like, ten, you should have at least one furnace running at all times. Sit down, you. Oh, we do so much damage now. It's really nice. We do a lot of damage now that we've upgraded. We won't be able to carry everything, but we'll carry as much of this iron as we can. Oh, I'm spider. Sit down. Stagger him. Alright, it's two levels so far. It looks like we're only going to get two. We got one outside, but we're only going to get two here. Uh oh Very awkward. I'm encumbered. Now's not the time to fight. Okay. Well, if he's going to just sit here, I'm going to take him out while I can. Drink. Oh, I thought that was going to drop me enough weight. Uh... Um... Run. Let's get out of here. Perfect. So we should have enough to get us by for a while here. But we'll definitely be back. Man, I really like this cave. This cave is really good. Having both iron and brimstone in it, near Noob River, it's such a good spot. Although I think, ideally, building... Maybe not over there, unless we built a bridge. Because having to go around is a little tedious. It's a little obnoxious. Like, maybe, like, building down there, like, in that, like, crevice, that little tunnel. Might be a good spot, or down below. But having to walk all the way around is a little annoying. We might have to build a bridge. We'll just make sure that it's built much, much prettier than all the other bridges we've seen today. Oh my goodness, the bridges we've seen today. Ugh. We've yet to see a pretty bridge. Everyone's just built these just monstrosities. <laughs> No style, no skill to them. I mean, we're just currently in our, you know, starting hovel hut. We'll make a nice base. We're not going to make any... We're not going to be building cube bases. Hey, if it works, it works. True, it does. It's just... My eyes bleed a little. <laughs> my eyes are just bleeding a little, that's all. Okay. You get this, and that. You get this, and that. I got three hours of coal from you. We got 11 hours on you. Drop some brimstone in here. We'll keep some brimstone. This tar, grab that brimstone. And make steel fire. Okay. Steel fire is crafted, crafted in the fireball cauldron and is a key ingredient in recipes such as steel bars and dragon powder. All right, fire steel, let's go. Drop off some more stuff. I'm gonna need bigger boxes. Oh, what? I didn't have to loot it, it just... Okay, cool. Works for me. We'll have to get a kitchen going soon, too. We need better food. Okay, steel fire's done. Craft a steel bar. Place iron bars, steel fire, and fuel in a furnace inventory and activate it by pressing the play button. After the steel bar has been smelted, take it from the furnace uh, inventory for yourself. Come on, keep it open. Okay. Now we have our iron bar production, and we have our steel bar production. So there's two, two furnaces, they're tank teaming in what they're working on. We're going to need a lot more tar. Tar is going to be our main limiting factor with how much broomstone we get here. Nerds? Oh my goodness, it's Bradley. How's it going, Bradley? Welcome back. We're currently surviving in the savage world of Conan. Actually, how many people are still online? It's getting pretty late now. Uh, still a lot of people. <laughs> still... Wow, this server is way more active than the last one we were playing on. I still think almost all of them, other than, what was it, Kate? And Kate's friend, who's active somewhere within this vicinity, is their base. 
they're somewhere in this three by three square section. They're somewhere here because they were they were dealing with the croc and they were um, getting brimstone from here. So they're somewhere within this region. Other than that, there's all of these guys up here that we're gonna have to go check out. Big map. Map is huge, Bradley. The map is huge. I would really love that they'd continue to add to the map, though. In updates. I'd love that they added to the map more. I don't know if they ever will. They're adding, like, new dungeons and the like, but I would like the actual map itself to be bigger. But yeah, so they're over here somewhere. We're over here right now. You pick desert and not sea? Yeah, we're hanging out over here because we're in a, a nice little oasis, right? We've got all this greenery here. We've got this river here that we're on. Um, we're on river. We're on river. We're on one of the two rivers. We're not on this river, though. We're on this one. Because this one's got a good brimstone spot for us. Good iron and brimstone location. So we're getting that leveled up as much as we can here. Get more iron. More steel fire. Get that going. Steel. Alright, steel done. Steel tools are durable and produce more resources when used. Alright, unlock steel tools in a knowledge menu. Okay. Knowledge. Steel tools. Wait, am I not high enough level for it? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I have to be level 30. Jeez. I'm already at steel, but I can't even use steel. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> I'm off by nine levels. Well, that sucks. Okay, we'll do some more brimstone runs. We'll get leveled up at some point. I guess in the meantime, we'll just continue to stack up our steel. Our steel reserves. Yeah, all we have to do is unlock and then make the two things. So we'll just we'll make steel in the meantime, I guess. Aloe leaves. I guess we'll work on this one next. Let's jump back over here. Let's pull out the... Eight and... The two. Let's pick up the 30. Leave the steel bars in there for now. Drop off the 30. Oh, we had 7 in here, so that's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll make this. Something else we can do real quick is we can grab all of our gossamer out of this guy. You don't make gossamer. Okay, we'll do it ourselves. We'll just passively make a bunch of silk. That's fine. We'll get that done in the meantime. We have to wait for the sickle anyway. Got the sickle. We'll go ahead and we'll get some aloe. Other than that, is there any other journeys we want to jump on next? Is this one heavy armor? So I guess we can go and unlock this one. And get the armor bench going. Yeah, let's get armor and tinker benches going then. Stone consolidate. We're going to wait on that for a while. Bed shaper. We're going to wait on that for a bit. And then thrall taker. We're going to want to do that. We're going to need to go and build another thrall space. But we're going to want to get a thrall going sooner than later here. Okay. 30 more to go. Um, any repairing we need to do? Not really. At least we have plenty of iron going, so let's go ahead and let's grab some of this. If we're not getting steel rolling, let's at least get the iron continuing. Let's keep the iron train up. Yeah, we're going to have to start doing some serious skinning. We should probably get the better skinning knives, too. I don't know if that's part of the journey step. Tanner's done. Is there, like, a higher level level Tanner one? No? Just just Tanner. Okay. Alright. Um, we can go ahead and we'll just... We'll go and unlock it ourselves, then. Let's go get a better skinning knife. Where's butchering... There it is. Butchering. Let's go grab that. We should have enough steel to get it. We'll get more hide out of it, and that's what we need. How much do we have? Seven. Thirteen. Fourteen. I just need nine more. There's six. Close. Or do we need less? Not. I was, I was going to say, I think all of them require 30. 
They do. They do. Yeah, we're soon going to need to go and start thralling. Also, let's go ahead and drop off all of the silk that we've made. So we've got a whole host of silk now. It's good. Good, good. That silk will be very useful. We'll use it for bows and whatnot at some point here. Because we're going to want thralls that are going to be sitting around at the base that can use bows. So we don't need it yet. Not until we find where a more permanent base location is going to be. Skinny knife. Place that guy. Perfect. All right, let's head out. All right, so let's go get aloe extract, and we're going to go and skin a bunch. Cleaver? No, let's go. Let's take this guy out here real quick. We'll cleave him for savory flesh, and then we'll go and drop this cleaver, and we'll just make an iron one in a minute. Wow, he did not get a chance to, re to retaliate at all. Nice. Got his head. Oh, some exquisite flesh. Wow, actually a lot of exquisite flesh. Nice. Okay. Cool. Oh. Uh, we might end up using that. Might end up just cooking it as is, though. Jeez, we got a lot. You get so much from the butcher knife. It's crazy. I guess we'll leave it. Well, we don't have to throw it away. We'll hold on to the cleaver. We'll just put it in here for the tools. And we're going to drop these guys off because we're going to want more of this. This food's good. Just the savory flesh turned into good old grilled steak. Grilled steak is strong. It's a strong item for healing. It's the job done. Alright. Let's go and get the aloe. And let's go and start skinning. And actually soon we should run back over and get the sorcery skills. Right? We should go back and... like We can now unlock sorcery because we're level 20. So we should go back and get sorcery unlocked. It's going to give us a bunch of corruption. Like, a lot of corruption. But doing anything with sorcery is going to give us corruption anyway. So it's not much we can do about that. Your favorite thing about Conan is stealing baby animals and trying to get greater animals. You just end up going through a big baby processing plant, essentially. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, Move Books? How are you doing today? Welcome. Yeah, now you end up being like, I've got... I have these 53 saber-toothed tigers, but I don't know what to do with them all. None of them turned into greater saber-toothed tigers. Oh my god, it's getting great. So, okay, books. This is something I really want to see happen. I would like Bumcom or Conan Exiles on some updates, one of these updates that they do, for them to add animal taming thralls that can be attached to the stable and the animal pens, and they uh, they can either, I don't know what they want to do, increase the speed at which they're tamed, increase the chance of them being a greater version, or uh, train them so that they actually come out at like level 5 or level 10. Yeah, so we did have to use the scythe for it. That's a little annoying, but hey, it works. Pick up some extra all over here. Little annoying, but I guess, oh my god. Okay. Looks like Hyde's back on the menu. I can't hit the broadside of a gazelle. There we go. Look at that. Unfortunately, they all went running. We'll track them down. Mmm, thralls? Yeah. Well, good luck, Zelda. If I stay up much longer, you might fall down the rabbit hole of making. Uh, Play-Doh code. So best head off and sleep now. All right, sleep well, sleep well. Yes, it takes too long for them to mature. That's a great idea. Thank you. I think that would be a good idea. I think that would really help because right now, the the problem is animal companions are so. I, I can't really say they're underrated because like it's underrated having animal companions running around with you because I think it would be really cool to have them, but the thing is they're just not good. The amount of time and effort that you have to go into for acquiring, taming, and then training them, it's not really worth it that much. Oh my goodness, this gazelle. <laughs> Let's go get the croc instead. No? Oh my goodness, this gazelle. I mean, it's working. I can. The predator cannot kill this prey. Oh, yeah. 
It's moonwalking too. I think we're done. I think it deserves it. It's fine. Oh yeah, named thralls are so much more powerful than any greater animal. Yeah, and I think that's something that would be good to be changed. In which having, because there should be been like pros and cons to different things, right? That's that's the whole point of having options is be able to play with different pros and cons. Skinning crocodiles is something we have to do too. Nice. Checking things off the list. Where are you? Got him. <laughs> Got him. There we go. Yeah, I need to get more hide. So we're going to need to get the Tinker Bench up and running soon, too. So that we can get uh, even better cool uh, efficiency. We can harvest more. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit the baby. The baby came. Oh no, the baby ran in last second when I was swinging wildly. Oh, poor baby. At least I'll take the hide. Wait, it's not want not. Okay. So many gazelles here, it's crazy. Luckily, these guys are very calm. Just kind of chill out. Okay. Off we go. Oh, crocodile. We're still not encumbered yet. Oh my! Hit him first. Jesus, he hit like an absolute truck. Oh my gracious. <laughs> He did like a hundred damage in a bite or something crazy like that. Ow. Yeah, well, I mean, we are still not really wearing armor. We only have gloves and gloves and boots. Jeez. Check up. Let's see. Knowledge. Attributes. Okay. Final hit when harvesting grants twice as many resources, and uh, you are twice as likely to gather rare resources. Now, get the get the old resources. All right, we have two additional. I think we're done with... Hello. Hello. Um, thank you. We're stopping by. <laughs> Who ordered the gazelle? <laughs> All right, perfect. So now we've got as much of the harvesting I think I want to get. I don't think I want any more expertise. I think I'm done here. Get the kudu here. All right, so the question now is, do we want to put more points in strength, or do we want to put points in vitality or grit? Because those are definitely places where we could use more stamina, we could use more health, and we could always do more damage. All right, we're about as encumbered... Encumberful as possible. I don't know where I want to put those points. Are you on a server? Usually play PvE Conflict? So, PvE Conflict. How does that really work? It's PvE, and you can do PvP with players during certain hours of the day, but you can't blow up each other's bases? Is that how PvE C works? Uh, we're playing on a PvE... We're playing on an official... Conan XL's official PvP server. So there, there are people playing, and um, there are definitely some hostile players out there. We haven't come across any hostile players yet. The only ones that found us so far were not hostile. But if we go to the player list, you can see there's there's a lot of people online right now. There's over ten. I think we still have about fifteen people online. I would really like Conan Exile servers to be sixty people. 40 people just doesn't... It, it, the world still feels very empty. I would like it if it was 60 players could be online at one time. Limit to only 5 members per clan. On official servers. Like, on private servers, the ability to increase that to, you know, however high you want it to be. 
But for official servers, I think it should be no more than five members to a clan. You know, we good. You can PvP anytime, but you can't break your base. Uh, but they can't break your base, or your thralls won't die unless they follow you. Wait, so then. Wait, so PvEC is. So can they? They okay? So they just aren't. There's no time window in which they can destroy your base. So there's no. There's because in Pv PvP. Between X and X time, you can be raided, and all of your stuff can be destroyed and gone. But PvEC, they can't blow up your base, is what you're saying, yeah? Am I understanding that right? This bench will turn this reptile hide over. Good gracious, we've got a lot of saving flesh. I guess we'll just dump it in here, and if it goes bad, it goes bad. I don't know. There's not much we can do about it. We'll cook it whenever we need it, but I'm just going to keep this separate. Wow, we got a bunch of horns, actually. Those horns are going to come in handy when we make our kombuchin shaman armor. It's going to be good. No, they cannot access any of your... Oh, they can't access your benches. Okay, so they can't blow up your base, and they cannot access any of your benches. Interesting. Okay. It sounds like a peaceful place to play, except you could be, like, horrifically griefed. <laughs> like, someone could just build a wall around your house if they wanted to. And then you can't use explosives or anything to make a way out. So if someone had a lot of time and patience, you could just build around someone's base and lock them inside. So I imagine griefing could be a problem, but otherwise it sounds pretty pleasant. I like the I like the thrill and the the suspense of potentially being absolutely annihilated while just roaming around. I like the, I like it. So that's why I like just regular PvP. We murdered at any point in time, and then you know we might lose our base, but we can also steal from other people and we can blow up their bases too. Not right now though. We're out of we're out of the raid window. Alright, plenty of iron coming in now. We're doing very well in that regard. Alright, aloe extract. Aloe is used in crafting healing concoctions. Crafting aloe extract at the bench. Like that. You play a lot of arc, and it's traumatized you. Just getting completely wiped. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. I've never played arc, but I've heard I've heard stories. Yeah. Well, that's one of the nice things. There's so many different ways to play this game, right? And there are different types of servers, which give you the ability to play it differently, which is really nice. More advanced versions of this potion can be learned as you progress in the art of alchemy and healing. Drink any of these potions to count towards this goal. Nice. We're not carrying weak aloe potions anymore, so... Oh, sorry, our health is full. Uh, no one for combat, huh? Alright, that's easy. We'll just sprain our ankles. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh. Okay, good. Ankle sprained. Crank the thing. Journey done. Bam. And we should have a stack of 10 at all times on us, so we'll go ahead and get a stack of 10 done. Potion maker unlocked. Alright. New journey acquired. Also, we get glass flasks. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get 10 glass flasks. You know what? They're useful. I'll take them. We're going to have to go out and get more. We're going to have to go get glass at some point. I need more boxes. Ugh. Gross. I need more boxes. Alright. I'm going to need my... This. So I can make twine. Actually, if we make iron reinforcements right now... Maybe 10 iron reinforcements. We can then start looking at making the, the better boxes with iron reinforcements. So I just need some wood. And... Make some twine. Dump half this in here. Here, I'll make all the twine. 
Weird that bug is still in this game. Still haven't fixed that bug. Where if you try to... Or if I cancel it, for example. If you hit craft all, sometimes it doesn't work. Instead, you have to hit craft 10, and then you can do craft all. Or craft 1, and then you do craft all. It's weird. Deus Volt. Yeah, we might end up needing to do a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of... Crusading. We might. Let's pop off this stack. Any branches lying around for me to dump in here? No? A lot of branches. Actually, they should all be in here. Still need them in here. Okay, perfect. Alright, journey step. What are we looking at? So we got the glass. Alright, what do we want to do next? What's the next journey step we want to play with? Ocean Maker. Complete the Alchemist journey. Okay. Casting. Glass mold, flask, fill flask, acquire gold, acquire silver, place a grinder, grind silver and gold, um, a chemical, craft a chemical base, unlock potion maker, craft an elixir, drink an elixir. Jeez. Okay, we're not going to do that right now. Um, when it says acquire gold, we have to find gold stone. Ugh. I was hoping we could just do it with gold coins. Oh, man. All right, so gold and silver. When we end up finally doing that, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go... We'll probably do our, our run up to Sephamaru. We'll jump by the jaw and pick up some silver. And then at some point when we end up on the on the slopes here, we'll go and pick up some gold. But I just don't want to do it right now. It's so far away. It's so far away. I can't be bothered right now. What about a different journey than that one? Heavy armor is still out of, the, um, out of the market right now. If we can get a tanner, though, we can make our heavy... So we want to go and pick up a Tanner Tier 1. We want to do Thrall Making soon. It's locked because we don't have... Let's drink it. Tanner. We need Thrall Taker Knowledge, and then we can start working on it. Bindings. Convert a Warrior is required for that. Okay, well... We're not going to get a Warrior immediately. We can get a Tinker instead. Tinker Bench. This we need to unlock Steel Tools, which we can't yet. I think let's go and start moving towards Thrall Taker then. Let's get Thrall Taker. Thrall Taker. Let's get this journey going. Journey through acquiring thralls. Alright. First and foremost, access or place a wheel of pain. The wheel of pain is a large object and will require some space while at the same time being easily accessible. You can place the Wheel of Pain by using a construction hammer, access the Wheel of Pain by pressing E while looking at it. Okay, so we will go to you, 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 and you. We need, we're going to stick this right in the dead center of the build here. Because we can work around it, easy peasy. It's going to get a little crowded for some of our other stations, but it'll work for now. So what we need is iron, twine, and stone, which we should have everything we need right now. Stone. It's not done yet. I'll do it myself. Twine. And then 50 iron. Let's grab only 50. Okay. Hmm. Well, so off centered. What we can do is we'll move this. Move our bed roll over a bit. There it is. Right. Perfect. So we can walk around the Wheel of Pain, no problem. We can actually walk through this bar here, too. We just can't walk through the center pole. So that stops us. You never liked the idea of playing in Arc PvP? No? You don't hate it when you know exactly how a song goes, but you have no idea what the hell it's called? Oh, that's always that's always a pain. You're just like, I don't know what the song's called, but I can sing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always a real pain in the butt, huh? 
attribute points. Strength. Okay, what's the next thing that we're looking at? Berserker is we do more damage and we get more armor when we're low on health. I mean, it's fine. I don't think we get more points than strength. We're done there. Expertise. The next one is hard worker. You harvest nodes twice as fast. That is a really nice one. That is a really nice one. And then Beast of Burden will let us run around more with more weights. Vitality will give us our passive health regen. Could be really good. And Grit gives us more stamina and more armor. I think I'm going to get Expertise to 15, and then we'll go into Vitality to Passive Health Regen, and then Grit. Let's get more Carrying Capacity, and let's get to where we can start like harvesting faster. Reread the start? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, tot I totally misread the first bit. Don't you hate it when you know exactly how a song goes, but you have no idea what the hell it's called? Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I almost read it right. It was close. But not quite. Alright. These guys are still churning away. We still have enough to keep them busy. The Fireball Cauldron, I believe, is stocked. It has. Get this tar in here and get you started. We'll go ahead and we'll grab one of our runestone stacks. Put these two in here. But yeah, this is why we need to get the tanner going. The tanner is going to be running for quite some time. We've got an hour and a half of burn on it, which is good. Alright, truncheons. Truncheons are used to knock out enemies instead of killing them. Craft a truncheon from your inventory crafting panel. Okay, perfect. We need leather. I don't remember how much leather, but we need leather. And we need wood. Okay, more leather. Perfect. More hide. Wait, do we need leather or hide? Ooh, I actually don't recall. We need twine. Oh, boy. We need plant fiber, don't we? We do. Let me go grab some plant fiber. I converted it all. My bad. We'll have to get the farmer one going at some point, too, so we can just have passive, passive plant being created. Crunching sticks. Too far. One button too many. Oh no, it's five. Oh, jeez. That was a really fast build. Gotta dump that in there. Dump this and this. Tar. Dump the tar. Keep making steel. We want to keep making steel. As much as we can. The more steel, the better. Drop those off. These off. Should have a thing for yep, seeds. Good. All right. Perfect. There we go. You can use Google to find a song. You don't think Google can hear you whispering or whistling? Uh, no, no, you can. Well, I mean, do you know the? I guess the thing is, if you know the words of the song, you can get it. Yeah, if you know the words to the song, or like to the chorus or something. That would help you get there. Alright, truncheon. Alright, what's next? Use the truncheon to knock out a fighter or uh, archer. To attain the service of a thrall, you must first convert them. Use the truncheon to knock them out and then drag them to the Wheel of Pain. Ooh, they seem to have missed a very important step here. That being, they don't talk at all. Yeah, they don't talk at all about needing to be able to actually drag him back. How do you drag him back? How do you do that? I don't know how to drag them back. How do I drag them back? Do I just press E and pick them up? No. You need to have fiber bindings. Ugh. Come on, guys. You have one job. Make fiber bindings. You guys have one job when making the journey system. Make it so that people know exactly how to play the game. <laughs> oh, well. That's fine. We'll make one. But what if they added a new system that lets you pick up people? That would be really cool if they did. I'd like that. Yeah. Maybe you can pick them up. I, I mean, honestly, I think being able to actually literally pick them up but being over encumbered would be cool. But, you know. <laughs> How's it going, Wakazashi? How are you doing today? Fun count? I know, right? This is now the fourth thing we found going through journey steps. And I've only been reading about half of them. That we found and we're like, that's not quite right, is it? Right, so we're going to... Oh, this better. 
We're going to go and climb up the side here. I'm going to swap journey steps here real quick. Use that. We're not going to do that yet. We're going to go to Sorcerer. Switch that to defeat a Sorcerer. Because there's a Sorcerer that spawns up here. We're going to go murder the Sorcerer. Thoughts my show will be like a sack of potatoes? Mmm. Potatoes. Watch. Uh, Watcher's way station. Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Something hit me like an absolute truck. Oh. That's our first death. That's our first death. That is one of the problems that uh, with locking onto your target. If you lock onto target. One of the things that happens is uh, people get behind you very easily. <laughs> it's very easy for someone to slide up behind you and just annihilate you because you're so locked on. Because you can't you can't turn your camera when you're locked on. You, you literally can't. You're stuck at whatever position the the enemy is. But oh my goodness, did you see how fast my health got chunked? I mean, again. We don't have any armor yet. I should probably get the armor bench going and whatnot. We have a bunch of leather that's being made. So I could probably... I probably should go and do that. Because we killed the tier 2 fighter, so it'll make it easier for us to go and take out this sorcerer once we get up here. Ahoy there. Give me everything. Thank you. I love that that's how that works. You just run by, you press E, you pick it all up. Oh, I didn't pick up all of my, um... I didn't go and recover my aloe extract from the from the bench. I need to go do that. Oh, the Google app actually has a feature to search songs? That's pretty cool. Didn't know that was a thing. Alright, Sorcerer. Sorcerer 3. Too bad Sorcerer's... And no wonder I died so quickly. A Sorcerer 3 does a lot of damage. Jeez, I've got three people on me. And a Fighter 2, and a Fighter... Whoa, that two-handed guy hits like an absolute truck! He took out half my health with one hit. We need armor. We can't do this without armor. It's not happening. This... It's just not happening. Alright, let's go... Let's... Let's go change gears. We're gonna switch gears. Get the armor unlocked. Holy. Unlock armor. Did it not take? Sometimes it still doesn't take when you tell it to do that. Yeah, it didn't take. Unlock armor. Journey. Armor. Switch journey. Okay. Use a skinning knife. Or craft skinning knife is the first one. Alright. Skin an animal. Animals can be skinned using your skinning knife when you are close to them. Your skinning, uh, flip your knife and press the left mouse button to harvest the corpse. Okay, let's go do that. Yikes! Which lets you play, sing, or hum the song. Hmm. Press F usually works. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, like the the feature to be able to press F and literally pick up and re-equip all of your gear is so nice. It's really, really nice. Okay, well. Sorry, little guy. Uh, they ran away, so... I don't want to go chasing after them. I don't actually need to skin a bunch here. Just enough to get the requirement done. Alright, next. You can place armor's bench by using the crafting hammer. Access the craft... Armor, uh, access armor's bench by pressing E while looking at it. Okay. So we'll go to this. And for this, we we'll go to crafting, smithing. I need stone, wood, and twine. Okay. Stone, wood, and twine. Does it like fit here? Not really. It's a little too crowded if I try and fit it there. I'll put it over here for now. We're probably going to need a second story at this rate. 
Okay. Done. Uh, you used the feature once before to find a song you really wanted to listen to, and you had only heard about it uh, in a Reddit video. Interesting. Huh. Did you know black powder rifles can go supersonic? Wait, really? I didn't think they shot them that fast. Cool. Craft a oh, light padding. Light padding is a component required uh, required in the crafting of light armor. It pays to create a supply of paddings if you plan to craft several armor sets. It does. It's worth doing. All right, let's go ahead and get the ally extract. Let's put that there because that might be easier. Still have some on hand. So we'll go ahead and we'll craft one of these. Go to you, and I'll take this. Bump that in there, so we'll get some steel going once it finishes, just because we want to keep piling up our steel reserves. Drop this off in here, continue to make more. Drop off the leather, drop off the hide. Drop off the twine, any more twine. This. Oh, I'll actually take that and that, and put that knee bench. Do I have more twine? No, I don't, do I? Yeah, goodness. All right, let's get you working on twine. Uh, these go in here. Drop you off and you off. Perfect. The armor bench. Go jump on that next. Drop off the horns. Drop off the seeds. Drop off the food. It is rotting though. We'll drop off the food. Uh, okay, that's it. The twine. Drop off the twine. All right. Light. Oh uh, yeah, three is actually good. One, two, and three. Because we already have medium gloves and boots, so we only need the pants, chest, and head. Headpiece, and we'll be good to go. We good? You sleep now? See you all Monday? All right, take care, Bradley. We'll see you Monday for Fallout. We'll see you then. Take care. With a long enough, with a long enough barrel, black powder can push a bullet at up to three hundred and seventy meters per second. Wow, that is insane. Should you give your cheer players a good chance to get a magic bone in this session? What do you mean by magic bone? What does what what the magic bone do? Alright. Armors will grant you not only defense capabilities, but also shield you from the elements to some extent. Armor may also grant additional passive effects. You can expect um, how armor affects your defenses in the stats page G. It's not G. This is not the stats page. This is the attributes page. What What is the attributes page, by the way? Or the stats page? I don't know. This is the page we're supposed to be on. My defense. What's my armor value? I've got 6% damage mitigation. Yikes, that's bad. Oh my goodness. Only 6% damage mitigation. No wonder I'm getting crushed. That is horrific. Lights. Alright, so... Wear a piece of light armor is the next piece, okay. Need the chest piece. Oh, I don't have enough hide. That's right, it doesn't actually... I need hide for the light armor. I need hide for the light armor, I need leather for the medium armor, and I need thick leather. Or thick hot. Yeah, thick leather for the heavy. So chest piece, the pants, and the turban. Shouldn't need to make another one. Not unless it cancelled. Maybe it did. No, it didn't. We have all of them that got picked up for this last one here. Well, this will give us a good boost in armor. Because they're going from 2 to 11. <laughs> It'll be big. Big bonus for us. Not the kind of armor we want to be playing with long term, but it's a, definitely a step up from what we're currently doing. Magic Bones is a homebrew mechanic you have. Okay. 
When an enemy is killed, there's a 1% chance of it dropping a magic bone, which can give a feature or ability score improvement based on the creature. If the creature got high speed, the bone can potentially give a plus 5 movement. Oh, wow, okay. Or if dex is high enough, it could potentially give a plus 1 dex. If the enemy got a tail, there's a small chance of it dropping an, uh, ex an external tailbone, which gives your character a tail. Does your character... Do the players have to, like, graft these bones to themselves? I'm not too sure how this works. Are they literally bone grafting, like, random creature bones to themselves? Armor. Perfect. So we had 6% damage mitigation to start with. Oh, expert armor is now unlocked. So we had 6% damage mitigation before, and now we have 10. Much better. Much better. Chest piece is giving us 2 armor. This gives us 11. The pants are giving us 1 armor. This is giving us 8. The turban gives us 6. And we had nothing before. We'll drop these. Much better. Much, much better. Okay. But 10 is still not amazing, but it's still better than 6. I'll still take it. Alright. Journeys. What's next? Oh, it's just done. Expert armor. Finish. Oh, finish. Journey. Okay. Iron ski. Well, you don't say. <laughs> you don't say. All right. That works. We get an armor patch kit. Five. Nice. Okay. Take those. We can go ahead and we can switch to this one. Unlock journey butcher knowledge. Uh, get the iron skin knife. Cool. Craft medium padding. Piece of armor. Wear the piece of armor. Harvest thick hide. Well, we can't quite do that yet. We're going to do heavy padding into heavy armor. Thick hide's tough. I don't know where we're gonna easily get thick hide from here. Let's go back to Thrall Taker. Swap back to Thrall Taker. Truncheon to convert a warrior. We're not really gonna be converting a warrior though. Um, I want to go and get a armor if I could. But I guess we should do the warrior. Yeah, we should. Hmm. Apparently this dude managed to push a a 0.5 caliber 80 gram ball up to 100 and, uh, 1,854 frames per second with FFG black powder. I don't know what FFG or FFFG black powder is. Oh my, it's 565 meters per second. That's absolutely insane for a black powder bullet. Holy. Greens, not grams. Thank you. It's the same thing, though. It's a, it's a problem whenever you see, um... What's a good, uh, what's a good example of another... metric that uses the same... Um... I'll think of something. <laughs> Grams, uh, and grains both use a, a lowercase g to denote what they are. And they're both involved in weight, which means that's really dumb. One, It should be GR for grains, or GN for grains, and just G for grams, because G because grams are used more often than grains in measurement. Oh, big sneezes. FFFG is fine green black powder, generally meant for revolvers. Oh, okay. It burns faster than F or FF. Okay, so it's just like a finer. It's like fine, fine, fine grain powder. <laughs> it's triple fine grain powder, just like you have a triple A rating. Or double A rating. What? Uh, it's like America's... What? American debt is... Why did I take this out? I don't need to take that out. I need to take this out. America's able to um, hold a lot of debt because like a triple eight or something. Fine, finer, finest, finiest, etc. <laughs> There's quadruple F, which is extra fine, meant for prime flint locks or wheel locks. Well, there you go. Does it make sense? Let's drop this off. Let's drop this off. We continue use this to burn. We want to keep getting that going. We want to keep getting the steel on the way. We're still, you know, seven and a smidgen levels out from being able to use steel, but we still like to get it going. All right, let's go ahead and start truncheoning things. Let's go. 
Which I said earlier about the magic bones. Oh no, I missed that. That's right. Oh, uh, where was it? It merges with them upon holding it for too long. There is a huge detriment though. Oh, you can't know what it does until you notice the improvement in slash, oh, on slash in yourself. And the only way to remove it is to cut off that limb. So head, torso, external bones are basically unremovable. Jeez. And if you do, if you die, die, your body disintegrates, leaving the bones behind. Oh, so the bones like magically disintegrate your body too. Holy. I think that's a pretty cool system. I like that. It's a nice system because it allows the players to improve themselves, but they don't necessarily know how. So there's some mystery involved, which is nice. I'll take him down. I just want to hit this guy once. I need enough stamina to hit him once. There we go. There he goes. Okay, unlock. Still bleeding. Back up over here. Good swig. All right, fighter two. Uh oh, two-handed boy. Don't do it. Don't do it, mister. He's the one I'm going to grab. I'm going to grab a tier one because we can train them faster. Oh, this guy actually just respawned. <laughs> wait. Okay, I was going to say, wait, the sorcerer respawned too? How? No, he didn't. He's just that guy. Okay, that was very awkward. Because I locked onto him like that, I couldn't actually jump off at the... <laughs> I was standing on him. I can't remember who the other guy was. Um, I want to take a look at what their culture is. This culture matters. The different cultures have different, like, bonus health and whatnot. You did, though... Um, you did though implement it that every 20 times uh, a bone is not dropped. Start running now, and I won't have to kill he doesn't have anything on him. Yeah. So it's a Shemite fighter. And who's the other guy that keeps getting involved? What are you? A Hyborian. Hyborian is better. Memory serves. Hyborians are more trained for combat or whatever. We'll do that. Yeah, so he had no items on him. That's really disappointing. Put your shield down, mister. There go, mister. <laughs> oh no, he does have items on. Perfect. So on all those. Wait. I did that without swapping the journey step over, did I? Didn't I? It's okay. Luckily, there's a second sorcerer here. <laughs> Luckily, there's a second sorcerer here. All right. Find and defeat a sorcerer. To learn the art of sorcery, you need to find where to seek its source. By defeating sorcerers find, found in enemy encampments, you too can learn where to unlock the power of sorcery. Okay, so I need to go kill the other sorcerer. All right. So let's go and remember that. Go back to Thrall. Back to Thrall Taker. There are you. As long as it's just him, we're fine. Two, three. Block. What? I had my shield up. But my shield was up. I had my shields up. Oh my goodness, he hits so hard. Even with all this new armor I've got, he still hits like an absolute truck. Oh, it's because he's doing heavy attacks, so he just blasts right through it. It's only the lights that I could actually block. No, not good. Not good. <laughs> Jeez, he hits like an absolute truck. 
Oh, I don't... I, hmm. Maybe this two-handed guy is the wrong person to try and try and tame. Ooh, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Nice. That's good finds. Let's go ahead and let's get rid of my body here. Let's remove the evidence. Alright, so I'm not even going to try and block. We're just going to go for the dodges. Two, three. Let me back up. Right. Oh! He still hit me. Two, three. Back up. We're playing some Dark Souls here now with this guy. Jeez, he hits so hard. Pop off. <laughs> I just feel like we're playing Elden Ring. Go right back to playing Elden Ring again. Okay. You've got no chance, mate. Two and three. So I'm counting out my attacks. One, two, and three. We gotta back up away. We don't want that sorcerer getting involved. Okay, more stamina. Saw that coming. One, two, and three. I'm so close to leveling too. One, two, and three. Okay, is that half health or half uh, consciousness? One, no. One, two, and three. You'll dance for me now, or swing for me ah, later. I'm taking too much damage. You've got no chance, mate. I'll back off. Watch your flanks. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. He's down to one third. Pokey pokey, mate. Okay. One, two, three. Down to a quarter wall! <laughs> I got cocky. Ow. Thank goodness we have all these <laughs> thank goodness we have so much aloe on hand, right? We picked up so much aloe because we had to go and get the scythe to be able to go and get the journey step done for reasons. Even though it told you that, even though it, in the description it said you could just pick it up with your hands, it definitely did not want you to do that to allow us to complete it. So we just went and picked up a bunch of aloe. So we've got a bunch back at home. There we go. He's a truncheon. All right. Oh, now here, convert a warrior. Use your bindings. So I guess now I have to go find bindings. This is when you're like, what are bindings? On an unconscious human fighter or archer, then drag, uh, then drag them to the Wheel of Pain. There they'll be broken over time and become thralls in your employ. Drag enemies by equipping your binding and interacting with E with the unconscious body. Oh, jeez, severed legs. Uh, we'll hold on to this. This is actually still useful. We could, we could use the severed legs. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go. Got a cutlass. It's got a steel cutlass. This guy we're taking here has a steel two-handed greatsword. So we'll definitely be taking this. How many severed legs can a human body give? Uh, apparently a lot. I mean, we're, we are playing on an official PvP server where there's increased harvest rates. So I think it's four times his default harvest rate on PvP servers. If not normally, it is now. At least right now when we're playing with it. Let's see, from what you can what you've seen, black powder consistently goes at transonic for around 100 to 150 yards. Wow, that's still crazy. Assuming you have enough oomph to send it uh, supersonic to begin with. That's just impressive. You know, I, I always imagine you know them being a lot less you know potent. <laughs> Let's see. You did, uh, you did, though, implement them at a time uh, that at every 20 times a bone did not drop. The target number on a D100 drops a one. That makes sense. So it's, you eventually, it, it's inevitable. It's just specifically when no one knows. I like that. That's good. That's a good way to do it. So, uh, so on 1 to 19, is it hit its 20? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. 
All right, what is the next one? Rule is one of the most basic food types available. Place plant fiber, seeds, and fuel in a campfire inventory and activate it with a play button. After the gruel is cooked, take it to your camp, take from a campfire into your own inventory. Okay. Do I have any fiber left on me? I don't think I do. I think I converted it all. I'll have to get some of that sorted. I put all these severed legs in here. <laughs> there they go. What are the severed legs for? Ah, you wait and see. You wait and see. Severed legs are actually really good to have because you can use them to get bone and blood, which is nice. Nice one else leveled. Attributes. Two more levels, and then we can be harvesting twice as fast. That'll be nice. All right, we're gonna take all the meat out. Okay, seeds, fiber, and this is when I want more branches. I guess we'll just use wood for now. It's 50 wood in this campfire. That's fine. 50 wood. Get the gruel going. Uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll dump all the meat in here with the other meat. Doesn't hurt to do. We've actually picked up some brimstone, so we'll dump that in here. We got a hardened brick. Nice. Pop that bit boy in here. Sorcerer skull. If we do that, we'll leave the human flesh in here too. Might as well start stacking some of that. Bones. The head. Head. Broth. The iron in here. And the stack. Let's get two more of these going. We're always going to need your iron reinforcements, so we might as well do that now. And drop off the hind. Get that going. Let's go ahead and open up this laser satchel. There we go. The last feast. It's here. It meets. Go in here. Note six? What? Why is there six note? Okay, made from the pith of flattened reeds, fire scrolls are common use, uh, commonly used in Stygia for holding the words of sacred texts. The material used is too brittle to be very good for the creation of long-form texts, but the simple messages a papyrus scroll is uh, but for simple messages a papyrus scroll is cheap and easy to produce. This scroll can be filled in and then uh, shared with others. If they can read, of course. That source we're We'll take a look at that after we get the first marker done. All right. Rule. Done. Rule lasts for a long time and is perfect for enemies in the Wheel of Pain. Foods are used up in the conversion process for a thrall, and you may need to cook a lot of gruel to make sure the conversion finishes. Now that's a to start. Fighters, archers, bearers, and dancers can be placed in the world and commanded to follow you. You can place them by assigning them to a shortcut slot and placing them from there. Place a thrall in the world. Okay, so we're done until this fighter is finished, which is going to be a bit. We're done with this journey step until the fighter is finished. About an hour and change until he'll be done. Okay. Ideally, we get a tanner or a. Sorry, we get an armor or a uh, taskmaster next. That'd be ideal. Craft a craft stone can saw, craft a brick. Unlock steel, still can't. Still waiting on that one. We can make medium padding and medium armor. We don't have to really rush for that. Is there anything else we want to work on right now? Mason? No. Homesteader? We're not doing Homesteader until we actually start building out the base, so we can wait on that one a little bit longer. Low prep day, just made combat, and should fill about two to four hours of the session. Nice. You don't want to be hit by any projectile accelerated by anything more powerful than a decent bow. Yeah. Look, I don't care how slow it is. It's a .58 caliber lead slug. 
Is nothing something you should want to be hit by? Yeah, no, it just sounds like a bad idea. I don't want to hit by an arrow either. Yeah, no. I mean, at least an arrow is slower, and there's maybe a chance you can get your arm in the way. Right? It's still not good, but at least, you know, there's a chance you can, like, stop yourself from dying from it. Right? What is it? Um, samurai are able to, like, cut arrows in half when they're being shot at them to deflect them. I've seen videos of it. It's absolutely crazy. So do potion maker, do sorcerer. I think sorcerer would probably be the next one we could look at. Let's do, do sorcery. Did you know that uh, the good shot from a bow and arrow can just go through you almost instantly? Uh, it can, but I mean, if it goes through your arm first before then it tries to hit your body, like maybe there's a chance that it uh, it doesn't kill you. <laughs> you know, that's, that's all I'm saying. If you're unarmed and you have to get hit by something, I think a bow over a, a, a what a lead slug would probably go better. Your bones will at least stop an arrow. I mean, I still end up dying, but you know, your bones will at least stop an arrow. I don't think your bones are going to stop a lead slug. <laughs> I think that lead slug's gonna do whatever it wants. I'm not an expert in weapons though, so could be wrong. Get ten of these going again. We're gonna need more stacked up. Arguable. Okay, there you go. Let's get even more steel going, so let's get this rolling. And we wanna have as much steel as we can. And each time one of these is crafted, I think we still get experience, right? Let's watch this. All right, two, three, four. No, it doesn't count as crafting. It's annoying. It's only these whenever we craft them from here. Bummer. Yeah, we need to make medium armor next. Which requires medium padding. I guess we might as well start doing this. I guess we can go do this one next. Let's keep working on armor. Might as well get started on it. Great. Craft medium padding. Craft a piece of medium armor. Where to make a piece of medium armor? We can get these three done real quick here. We can already see the progress going. So we'll go ahead and we'll get ourselves crafted up into medium armor. And then with that medium armor, we'll run over and get the sorcery. Go get sorcery unlocked. But again, we're going to be really struggling with corruption. Okay. Armors will grant you not only defensive capabilities, but also shield you from the enemies. Okay, it's literally the same as it was for the other one. All right, while it's doing that, let's take a look at this real quick here. In sorcery, does it at all tell us how to deal with corruption? Cast, just go to cast a spell. Ooh, it does not tell us about how to deal with corruption. We'll have to see if it tells us how to deal with corruption. By comparison to bullets, arrows are very, very heavy. That is a good point. That's a good point. They are very heavy, so they've got a lot more momentum to them. If anything, eating an arrow on the arm bone might shatter it as well as a bullet will. Hmm. Arrow wounds are probably also more annoying to heal. Yeah, because it's, it's a larger gash, I would imagine, than from a, a small metal slug. Okay, so while this is going on... Actually, we don't need... We only need three. We, again, we've got the gloves and we've got the boots. <laughs> we only need three. We only need three. We need medium. All right, we need some steel in here. All right, so wear a piece of medium armor. Done. It is easy. Okay. Animals such as rhinos, elephants, and bears are reliable sources of thick hide. Thick hide is used in the crafting of heavy armors. Use your skinning knife to def uh, on a defeated enemy, on a defeated animal. Kind of hard for us to do. So let's go ahead and let's just get medium. Yeah, that's right, we need the iron. Get the iron. Mid. Give me a helm, give me a chest piece, and give me a tasked. 
was built. Arrow wounds are arguably more traumatic on the psychological level, because surprise, you suddenly have this big thing sticking out of you. Yeah, that probably would also <laughs> that probably also would mess with people. I can see that being the case. I need to get more hide too soon. I need to get more iron more importantly, so I think we're gonna have to go do an iron run first. Only two levels out. Uh, and with going, actually, if we go and we get iron and we do a big brimstone run with it as well, that might actually be really good. Might be really good for us. Never pull anything sharp out of you if it's wounding you. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. <laughs> You're going to make it worse. Okay, let's go ahead and let's get these repaired. Boots aren't fully repaired, but that's fine. So that's fully repaired. Maybe this armor here. In case we ever want to use it or put it on a thrall. Like an emergency deck out of thrall. Alright, we're in solid medium armor now. Perfect. Looking good. Let's go ahead and grab you. Got six of those going, so we can stack that back up to another stack. Perfect. Um, we're not going to be doing any thralling right now. So I guess for now what we'll do is I'll just leave the truncheon the bindings in here for later. I think that works. Alright, so we're at 20% carrying capacity currently. And all this stuff gives us more carrying capacity, so that's nice. And our armor is now 25% damage mitigation. is huge. That's big. Remember, before we were running around at 6%, so this is going to be significantly better for us. Oh my goodness, so much better. All right. Journey. So we're kind of done here until we can, until we can actually acquire Thick Hide. Not in the way I want to do it, which is stitching it together, but actually like going and killing a Rhino. Let's see. Place a Thrall into the world, tell him to follow you, attack something, convert a crafter, then assign the crafter to a station. Okay, so we'll, so we'll do that one after. I see, I see. So we'll do Sorcerer. So Sorcerer is what we're going to work on. So defeat a Sorcerer is number one. We can do that after the Sandstorm, actually. We can do that after the Sandstorm. <laughs> Alright, is there anything else we can do in the meantime before the Sandstorm shows up? Anything else we want to work on? This tar. Oh, this tar. Make sure this just keeps on going. We want this brimstone to just keep churning. Keep on churning. Do I have any spare iron? Let's grab this. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to we need to go get iron. We gotta do an iron run. Bring it up. It's so funny this thing has 40% armor pen. <laughs> it's just amazing. Top off of water, I think we're good to go. Alright, looks like that's done. Let's go do a quick iron run. We get a level or two out of it, I imagine. And then once we get our iron run done, then we'll go and we'll kill that sorcerer. And then we'll go and acquire sorcery itself. And when we do, maybe we go check out that uh, teleporter and see where it can teleport us to. I'm not too worried if we lose any of the armor that we're wearing or if we end up losing the gear that we're carrying because we could actually remake this pretty easily if we have enough iron lying around. That's really our main limiting factor is just having spare iron. Uh, our entire outfit is probably maybe 200 to 250 iron. So as long as we have that much just sitting around in reserve, we should be fine. Just having to rebuild it. All right, let's get in here. What the? There's a wall spider. That's scary. It's terrifying. Let's 
go ahead and let's actually mine this guy here real quick. Not mine. We want to axe. They're all flush. Why do we get the chitin? Chitin? There it is. Yep. There we go. Got it. Oh, one health. There we go. Yeah, I want that chitin. Because we can use it for a better shield. That's still in combat? Someone's following me. Hopefully it's just a spider in a wall. <laughs> Alright, let's get that brimstone. Let's get our levels up here. Yeah, you see, it's not we're not getting quite as much experience anymore. The experience bar is huge compared to what it used to be. Let's get some light down here. Make life a little easier. Alright, that's the rest. That's We're not getting up any more brimstone here. We need to get iron. The whole reason we're down here is for iron. The brimstone is a nice bonus. Okay, there's another level. Grab all the iron we can. There's still one on us. No? Nope. Could have sworn I heard him. Maybe he's in the pillar in front of us, I don't know. some we'll drop some stone for sure we don't have to drop the brimstone too you know we probably would all right let's just finish off with some brimstone here for right now when we get back ow what the up that it's constantly knocking me over Down they go. All right, we're actually going to we're going to ignore the brimstone. The brimstone is not important. That's not what we're here for. We're here for the brimstone experience, but not for actually carrying it back. We're here for the experience. Oh, cartographer is unlocked. Okay, we're level twenty-five. Ah, all right. It means attributes. We can actually now mine significantly faster. And I think all the rest of our points. Yeah, we're going to get five points into vitality next. So by level thirty, we'll have. Five points of vitality so we can have passive health regen. Which is going to be very nice because that passive health regen is really convenient. Especially since it stacks the food. Let's go get all this iron. I think I'm encumbered enough. The iron that we picked up. Is there any iron I missed coming through here? Nope. Let's head up and out of here. What we can take a quick peek at is. Oh boy. We can go fight this sorcerer here real quick. He's a tier two, so he should be easier for us to take out. Oh, no stamina. Not good. He's decided not to bring out his daggers, which is great. There we go. Completed. No, 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 no. We gotta go. No! That two handed guy is just absolutely brutal. I just gotta get around the corner. I need a little more stamina. Yo. I still wanna loot that sorcerer. Okay. Drop. Just grab everything. Just 
Grab all the things. Oh my goodness, look at all the legs. Let's get out of here. We're gonna get up and get gone. Okay, what do we get? Field source for uh, page. Perfect, okay. What are you? Tier 3 fighter? What are you? Smelter 2. Okay, we can pick up that Smelter 2 later. We can pick them up later. All right. Find the hidden sorcerer's cave. The map dropped from the dead sor uh, from the defeated sorcerer leads to where the secrets of sorcery can be can be learned. All right, perfect. So we can get that sword next. So it next. Just find the sorcerer's cave. So we just know we know where it is. We found it before. So we know where it is. We just need to make the journey over there. We're going to have to deal with the corruption now. If we're going to start playing with Sorcerer, we have to start dealing with corruption. It's going to be a real problem otherwise. As you can see, we still get hit very hard and our health is still... Um, it's not good enough. Drop you off and go. Drop you off and go. Open that up for notes, a cloth piece, and whatnot. Okay, let's go ahead and double check real quick with home. Oh, cartographer, there it is. Find the summoning place, Black Galleon, Sepamaru. Okay, cool, great. That's actually really good. So we'll turn these on as we are roaming. Yes, this one we're waiting. This one is a reinforced wooden box. I imagine it's a better version of the basic wooden box, yeah? Maybe we should get this. I was going to go and just move straight up to the next box. The um, the metal one. But maybe we do actually just build this one out. Let's do Homesteader. We can do Homesteader. We can build a second floor. No, nothing says we can't build a second floor here. Is it, the hard part with sorcery is I'm just worried about it. What would a vampire dragonborn? What would a vampire dragonborn look like? I guess like the canine teeth are even big. <laughs> maybe like um, maybe instead of like the brilliant colored scales, they're like muted a little. You know, slightly muted scales. Let's go ahead and drop this off in here. Yeah, we've got enough carrying capacity. It's fine. All right. Unlock the bed shaper knowledge. No home is complete without a bed. Unlock bed shaper from knowledge uh, from the knowledge menu. You can access the knowledge window by pressing O. O. That was in the basics, but it was not. All right. Let's get bed shaper. I need to get the furniture table. But we'll get bed shaper first. We'll go in the order. Why do I not see it? I know it's here. There it is. <laughs> Why don't I see it? There we go. Alright. Beds allow you to have a second point to return should you be vanquished while adventuring. You can have multiple beds, although you can only bind to one bed at a time. Doing so gives you the option to return to your bed, bedrolls, uh, or bedroll separately from uh, dying. You can place a bed using the construction. Okay. Construction hammer. Decorations, beds, bed. I need twine, hide, and wood. Twine. Wood. Hide. I just like slide this right here. Okay. Bam, bed acquired. All right, unlock torchbearer knowledge. Torches and lanterns help crack, uh, help combat the darkness during nighttime. Torches and lanterns can be turned off by interacting with them. Unlock Torchbearer in the Knowledge menu. Press it. Okay. It's in survival. Torchbearer requires basic torching, though. Yeah, I was just going to go and get the large box. It requires level 20. It gives us covered in large box. So I'm curious to see what the, large, what the reinforced one gives us instead. Might be better. 
What about a deep blue with metallic silver color on the scales? Yeah, that, that would work. Although, I don't know, because isn't aren't vampires, like, weak to silver? So wouldn't that be kind of weird if it was, like, silver coloring on the scales? They just need a portrait? Nice. All right, so we need to unlock... Torch. Torch bearer. Yeah, which requires torches. Okay. Unlock torches. Unlock torch bearing. Okay. Torch bearing done. Wheel, <laughs> place or wield a torch. Well, we got that in our survival kit earlier, so that's done. All right. Furniture maker. You can decorate your home with furniture with functional furniture or decor to make it suit your purposes. Unlock the furniture maker knowledge. Okay. Furniture maker knowledge. Where'd it go? There it is. Artisan tables are needed to build some decorative items. By placing a thrall in the table, you further increase the efficiency of the artisan table. Oh! He just, I always assumed there's no real point in ever putting a thrall in there. I just never thought there was a point in putting a thrall in an artisan table. If it increases the efficiency so you end up using less materials, it's actually really good. It's actually quite good. I don't see why Dragonborn and Vampires have to look any different. True. Vampires don't have that many set weaknesses in your world yet. Nice. Okay. I mean, it's, it can look however you think is going to look coolest, to be honest. But, oh, that's so interesting. I did not know that was a thing. Artist tip. I'm running out of space here. Actually, not kind of. I am out of space. All right, we're going to put this here for now. We're going to go and get a second floor built at this rate. All right, tables can be placed as decor to, or to increase the placement possibilities of other objects. No true home is without a table. Craft the table. Probably need some wood, I imagine. Table. Shaped wood. Oh my goodness, it's the last two things. They need shaped wood. Okay, we need to do the tinker? No. Mason? Mason. Mason? Insulated wood. Where's the one that tells us how we have to do carpentry? Is there one for carpentry? Am I blind? Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. They've made thralls decrease resource costs? Apparently only for that one. Time to build a floor? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna need to go build a floor, but... Weird. Farming, brewing, cooking. Improved campfire knowledge, okay. Grinder knowledge, dread preserves, preparing a meal, fish strips and stove. All right, cool. So there's some good ones in here. Dismantler, put bone and grinder, plant fiber and grinder. Oh, they actually have you put plant fiber and grinder so you can end up getting spices. That's really cool. They actually tell you. I had to figure that out on my own. Raider is using a trebuchet. Artificer is... Casts and molds, war painter. There's nothing here for carpentry. Is it just me or is that nuts? There's nothing here for carpentry. I unlocked the carpenter, but there's nothing that actually requires you to do that for carpentry. There's, there's no journey step for learning how to use the carpenter. What? That's weird. A 
not so nice when we have the harvest faster. Harvest faster, faster perk is so good. It's so good. Now we've got, we're playing with iron. We get even more material out of it. Oh, we're probably going to get the Tinker Bench upgrade soon. Yeah, let's get a let's get a second floor going here. Do I have stone in my pockets? I got enough stone. You should be fine for now. Carpenter. We'll sort that out in a minute. Let's go to building pieces. Let's get to plot some walls. So we're just going to make a second floor here. I have to, to make it actually wider. Because it could make it wider. We could go out by one. Mm -hmm. This isn't our permanent house. We'll, we'll leave it as is. It's fine. This is this will end up being a, like a magic outpost or something, probably. We can turn this into, like, a wizard tower or something. But this is not going to be our final house. Okay. Ceiling tiles. Well, you know what? It doesn't need to be too high if we put an actual roof on it. So that'll actually open up the space for us. Right, if we put an actual roof on it. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's like, where is it? The slope box is still. I need more fiber and branches. Yikes. Okay. Okay, fiber it is. Oh, <laughs> careful. Oh. <laughs> careful now. There we go. There's the sickle. It is. Let's get more. Wait, I thought I had enough fiber. What? Am I out of branches? Or do we just pick up 200 that do we get that much per swing? Oh uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Holy, yeah we do. I was so confused there. I was like, wait a second, I didn't have that much. Uh yeah, it's cuz we get that much each time we swing at these. This four time harvest rate is insane. This is only with an iron sickle too. I still remember when the iron sickle didn't exist and you had to go to the steel to be able to do it. Oh, that was so brutal. All right, yeah, if we get a roof on here, we actually don't need it to go up two stories and then put a flat top on it. We can just go ahead and build a roof. It isn't the best. No, I'm, what I'm looking at, it's not really the best kind of roof, huh? Just because you can see through it. It's not ideal, for sure. But what's nice about it is we can have it have an awning going all the way around. Because what if we went with a... It's a curve? Alright, cause could I do this? No. Oh. Oh, okay. Get another thing. So your players will be fighting a thieves guild? A thieves guild vampire dragonborn, jeez. 
<laughs> I wish them good luck. That sounds pretty intense. It sounds pretty intense. Okay, yeah, that gives us more options, I see. It's unlocked a whole bunch of additional ones here. Still doesn't give the one I was looking for. Yeah, we can go ahead and we can use this instead. This way no one can actually see inside. So I think this is smarter. So we can't have someone climb up here and just like glance inside, you know? Be like, wow, there's actually a lot of stuff in here. Maybe we should go ahead and raid him. I'm hoping this makes it look cooler. It might it might just be a total dud. I don't know how I'd fill in these little parts here though. But yeah, I can fill these parts in. Come on now. There we go. Can't stand on those though. They count as a very slippery slope. Or one. Alright, there we go. Would a Dragonborn and Blizzard Folk have a similar bite? I believe so. I believe they would. Because they're both lizard-esque creatures. And like, a monkey's bite and a human's bite are similar. Not the same, but, you know, similar. So what I'm wondering is if I can do... I really can't get them to connect, can I? So I have the option of either that or that. Might just be the better option. But we'll take a look at both. Let's see what it looks like from a distance here. I'm trying to make it look nice, but uh, if it doesn't look nice... And again, we're... We shouldn't really care too much about this. Yeah, no, I think this is better than that. It's too much gapping. But yeah, it really shouldn't matter that much since, you know, we are going to be moving at some point. I shouldn't get too wrapped up in how pretty it is. But I do want it to look pretty. I'm working on it anyway. the last one. Yeah, that's all it is. Okay, so we can either go up another one, or I'm actually just going to have us ca uh, cap it off here. Ooh, if we can. I don't know if we can. The way I did the roof, we might not be able to. Yeah, no, I totally made it so we can't. You can see there's that problem. There's no spacing. That's not gonna work. Uh oh. Well, that would explain why it's struggling. We could do. Alright, if it was this guy, and then. I don't feel like I'm missing a roof type. What's a pointed roof type? Is this one? That's a corner piece. I don't want that. Is it this one? Be the one for the very, very top.
Hmm. Why do I feel like I'm missing a piece? Because we have like, we have an up triangle and a down triangle. And over here, we only have a down triangle. And the up triangles are don't quite work like that. Maybe that's why. So yeah, we have an up triangle, down triangles. Knock those off. And then we'll go back to a flat guy. Yeah, okay, so I did I did botch it. I didn't do it right. Hold on. <laughs> Let's fix gotta fix our roof or else we can't go up two levels. Oh uh oh, maybe we can't anyway. Why are roofs so hard? What? How am I... How am I struggling with this? Hmm. Or maybe all their teeth become blood-sucking teeth? I would still leave it as just two. Myself. Uh, if we're doing that. I would just leave it as, like, the, the two canines. Or maybe the... Like, four. Maybe have four teeth do it. It'd be, seem kind of weird if it was, like, all... Right? I go plug this in here real quick. My headset is almost out of power. There we go. That was my noise, not your noise. It's my noise. Plug this thing in. I thought I had plenty of power on it. I thought I plugged it in earlier today, but I guess not. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling with the roof like I am, but hey, it's daytime now, so hopefully it's going to be easier for me to see. Because if we try this again... Alright, so we had those, then we go for a square. Yeah, what am I talking about? This seems fine. I, I must have had it on the wrong one. At one point, one of these must have been on the wrong one. Goodness. No, it's not. Look at that. I know it is. Hey, yeah, we got it. Oh, thank goodness. We're gonna need to get more sticks. Almost out of branches. <laughs> Alright, perfect. But we're just gonna put a flat top. Oh, okay. okay. Let's put a flat top on top from here, though. Let me go here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe there isn't enough stability. Oh, yeah, there's definitely not enough stability off of that. So I'll have to go triangles first. Triangle here, and triangle here, and then we can go for... No? Is stability that bad? No, it won't snap. Can I do this and then put it in? I can. Um, okay. Sure, why not? You know, if it works, it works, right? So I guess they're overlapping. I guess it's counting it as overlapping right now. I don't know how it, how it sees it as that, but okay, if it if it does, it does, yeah. It's the sun is blinding <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> they burn. Okay, good. Look at our squares. Why do I keep looking in here? I can just copy it. Dust. <laughs> the sun. We gotta get this roof up here quickly. Keep doing that. Don't do that. Just grab this. And it is all closed off. Once we, of course, go and get the inverse triangle here. Well, 
don't do this to me. Come on. <laughs> it seems like it works. Can we get the top roof done? Top floor done? There we go. All right. We've got it. We've got an upper floor. We got an upper and lower floor. Perfect. Um, I don't remember where the I don't remember where the front door is. I think there's somewhere over here. Oh my goodness! I called it. Nice. Okay, so with this being the front door, how do I want to get up? I don't really want to use ladders, you know. I'd rather use stairs if you can. The best place to use the stairs would be here. Let's move these things out of the way for a second. Stairs would be best placed here. Get. That's right, we're gonna have to deal with the, the upper floor nonsense. So we have to get to the next square piece. Okay. Back this here, can I still get in and out? I can't. Perfect, okay. This actually fits well under here. Okay. And the fireball cauldron. Get it under there? No, definitely can't. But I can put it here. Office bench will move. The bed bed we can definitely take upstairs. Don't need that down here. Um, awkward. <laughs> Still a hole in the floor. Let me get that sorted here first. Okay. We'll just put this bed right where the front door is. There we go. All right, we got a second floor. Now we're talking. Doom trigger's still online. All right. Yeah, and I was thinking the same thing. Mobs are hitting a lot harder. I don't remember them hitting so hard. The pain room going. Doom trigger. How many people are still on? A uh, good number. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Jeez. A lot of people still on here. But yeah, so Lemons is still online. Are you maybe a different spec or armor than before? Could be. I'm not in my full armor myself. Tarun is on his own. Ah, level 54. So not quite max leveled at 60. It's good. Good to see I'm not the only one that's still not there. Alright, so with that move, bed moved out of the way from here. Those there. Let's go ahead and let's move the campfire. The campfire right here by the door. Move the box. Here. Move the box. Here and we'll move this box there. You towards this corner here. As tightly as we can snug it in there. Perfect. Same with the arson table. That needs to be angled a bit. And then we'll move the box back. The box. The box. And the box. There we go. Well, so no longer need this now that we have the bed. So we can go ahead and we can pick up the raw uh, bedroll and we'll keep that with us. Why do I have so much stuff in my inventory? Did I just like not drop it off? Maybe I just never dropped it off. I just don't remember having so much on me. Iron. Go. Stone. That's not the stone one. That's the stone one. 
stone. I'll say if I feel like American servers have a longer leash for mobs, chasey, especially wolves and sabers. And I guess, yeah, it depends on what what country they're playing from, because we are playing on an American server. Get some more gruel if you want. How long is this gruel going for? Two hours? He's almost done. We've almost got him. That's good. We do need to get more hides, though. Well, the 139, that's, that's strong. That's good. Get that in here. That going. Get that going there. Okay, so we'll have over 100 steel, which means we can make three pieces. Still not a lot. <laughs> we can still we can make uh, a weapon and two tools. So we can get by with what we have currently. It's a start. It's a start for sure. All right, so now we need to get the carpenter's bench going. This, this whole thing, we did this whole thing just so we'd have space for a carpenter's bench. We need 100 stone. 100 stone. This whole thing was so we can dump the carpenter's bench up here. Well, we might move it down later. But for now, let's just put the carpenter's bench, like, right here. All right. So we just need to get a little bit of wood in here. All of our wood in here. Make all 19. We are going to need a bunch of shaped wood in the long run. All right, so we get the four, then we can get the table. We're probably going to need another four, so we make the chairs. So that way we can get that one done. Back to the journey steps. We're currently... Okay, we're still working on this for the table and chairs. We'll put the table and chairs upstairs, and that'll work out. Oop, I need more tea. Let me pour myself some more tea here. Yeah, so we'll get the table and chairs online. That'll finish up the homesteader one, which will give us the reinforced wooden box. Which I'm really curious to see if it is actually just an upgrade to the box, if it has more health than the normal wooden box, or what what's going on with it? Because it's a brand new item I've never seen before. Um, I'm gonna drop off. Well, actually, let's wait until we get that box and we'll see if we can drop things out of our inventory. Okay, it's enough of the table. Let's get the table going. Game's table, artisan table. Table, table. Here we go. One table. This thing is, this table is huge, by the way. This is not a small table, this is a big table. Journey step completed. All right. Some objects, such as chairs, can be interacted with uh, once placed. Sitting in a chair and taking a load off and just enjoying the serene environment can be rewarding sometimes. Okay. So you got to make a chair. Or actually, the table's smaller than I remember it being. I remember this table being much bigger. Put the table here, though. That's enough. So it says craft a chair. Can we even craft a chair? Do we have the ability to? Or do I have to get chair crafter first? Yeah, I have to get chair crafter first. I, I can't actually make a chair. <laughs> Why did you not tell me I need to be able to get chair crafter? At least at this point, most people will be able to identify that you need like table making and whatnot. But it should have said learn table maker and learn chair crafter uh, right here. Chair maker. Unlock those. Only one point to unlock. You get a lot of options. Comfort chair, regular chair, stools. Now we have a comfortable chair. It's a wooden chair. But they're all four. It's all four. Yeah, we're good. And there's the chair. Done. Journey step completed. Let's go and dump this chair. Down right here. There we go. We can take a load off. <laughs> oh, actually, let's just dump this chair a little bit further away. Let's get closer to the wall. Yeah, better. All right. Journey. Homesteader. Homesteaders craft furniture, both practical and fashion. Uh, fashion. Wait. Fanciful. 
I can read. Uh, in order to decorate their homes. Find a reward. We got a future meat. All right, so now we can make a new type of box. How does this work? Storage. 25. So it's an extra three, extra six twine, extra 25 wood. Somewhere to place excess items and materials. This box is made of simple materials. Uh, it can be locked against strangers, but a determined thief will be able to smash it open and take what they please. The only difference here is a receptacle to store everything. Okay. Is it bigger? Does it look different? What? What's going on here? I don't have any spare wood. Oh my goodness, I don't have any wood in here. Now let's go grab some wood. Let's us grab some wood. We'll grab a decent amount. I don't know how much we need. It's really funny looking around and seeing all these people playing Armored Core. Oh, there's a lot of people playing it right now, Dalka. That's a plant. We will get this ground tree. Yeah, it's really not the prettiest looking thing, but you know what it works. <laughs> you can even see there are floors in there. It it is not a pretty work of art, but you know what? It's it's our work of art. And it's practical and it gets the job done. Well, there's a lot more people playing on floor now. Interesting. Uh, was do you know of anything that could have like caused the surge? People's interest. Right, so the armored box. The reinforced box looks the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, so it is one inventory slot better. Nice. Remove. Move. Move. So the armored box is actually one better. It's really nice. Cool. So it's definitely worth getting this early on. Let's drop off our building materials and the like in here. Go ahead and I guess it does include fiber. All of the fiber. Yeah, we'll keep one set of fiber in here. Not the Optimus bench, tan bench. Go ahead and we'll get this fiber turned into twine. Go ahead and drop off all the sticks. Make this one our food and part <laughs> food and body parts box. Do that. Food and body parts. Do that. People are going to give it a shot and try the old games just by developer association. Oh, okay. I see. And you know since Armor Core is made by FromSoft which is uh, now a big name in the industry. That makes sense. So more people are just interested in trying out other games made by the developer. Makes sense to me. Let's drop this off, that off, that off. This one's gonna be more everything else, I think. This is gonna be a dump chest, I think. We're just gonna have this front one be for dumping stuff in here. And I'll identify where to chuck them another time. I have a lot of notes. That's technically food. That's technically food. We'll have this because that's where we're going to be stacking food. So you, you, and you can go in here. Which means the corner. Okay. And then, is there anything in here for building? I can take you out and put you in. 
classify that building. That's fine. Still have horns. Whoa. Getting a lot of insects. So many notes. Golly. Take this brimstone out. Dump the horns in. There we go. Done. Nice. When this dragonborn escapes, he'll be escaping. He'll be escaping most likely. Give him mobile and warcaster feats. Uh, speed boost for being a vampire. Also level 3, wizard level 3 rogue. Oh yeah, he's probably going to be escaping. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to nail him down if that's if that's what he's got going for him. Alright, perfect. So we are level 25, and we can look for a new journey. So Mason, again, we end up getting materials. not something we can really work with right now. So we really can't work with. This one we're going to be able to do soon, but we're only going to get up to here, then we're going to have to convert into a crafter, and that's going to take time. Photographer. So we could go and get the sorcery underway, but I'm still really worried about the whole... Eh, it's probably fine. Probably fine. That's fine, it's fine, it's good. I, I th All right, let's go on an adventure. Let's go on our adventure for sorcery. Yeah? Everything else can wait for the moment. Switch journeys. We don't have. We still have iron and the like going. I probably should do another iron run before we leave. Just make sure this is always running, but. I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and repair this first. Repair everything we think we need. And we'll go on our adventure. I think we'll go and we'll pick up the sorcery, so we'll go and we'll grab these out while we're out. And then we're going to go and check out that teleporter that we ran into. Alright, is there anything else I want to change before we go? I really don't need the scythe. I'm pretty sure we can just leave that behind. Whoa! <laughs> we're banding around. We can leave the scythe. I don't think we're going to need it. Let's go ahead and we'll just bring... A little bit of fiber with me, so we can make bindings. Or wraps, rather. Okay. Let's go on a little adventure. By that, I mean we're just going to return the way we came. Is there a direction we'd rather go? Do we want to go above or below? We've kind of already explored through here. I think this... No, no, we got up to here. The amazing where we came from the south side. I don't think it really matters which way we go. But either way, let's go and explore to the west. We now have medium armor. We now have an iron mace. We're actually doing quite well for ourselves. We're doing quite well for ourselves. We've fully embraced the Iron Age. We now have proper extracts and the like. This is going well. So let's head on over there. Map drop from the sorcerer leads to where it needs to be. So it looks like we don't have to open the map. So that's good. Luckily, we don't have to open the map with the sword, uh, the sorcerer's map to get onto the next set of the or next part of the journey. So that's good. We're just gonna head off. Let's see. Uh, he can he can action and bonus action dash. Oh, geez, Stormy Stuff. <laughs> giving him all sorts of power. So he can move a total of 150 feet a turn. Holy! Also, last Saturday the group almost died to two rabbits. I mean, were they Monty Python rabbits? If so. They're lucky. They're lucky they got away with their life. Um. Well, I will take this, but it is a bad sign seeing these guys dead. That means there's a player about... Let's rest. Eat those. There's a player roaming around right now because this entire camp is dead. Which means probably someone's found our house. Someone probably found our house since I've been running around and getting everything prepped and ready with those journeys and doodling with the roof. 
So there's someone active in the in the region here. I doubt it's this guy. We might as well check. We might as well still check all the time. Nope, not him. Is that a smidgen of iron? That is just a tiny little note of iron. Not gonna pick it up because who knows what else we're gonna be picking up all around and about. Get to see other pieces where iron's at. Where's that base up there? I don't really want to have to climb up there to check it. Let's just keep our eyes open. Our eyes and ears open. Small iron nose here. It was two transmuted rabbits performing... Uh, oh, performed by a hag? Oh, jeez. So they're super-powered rabbits, is what you're saying. The base is up there. There's gotta be... I, I wonder if it is Cat. I've not found Cat's base, but then again, I don't know if Cat is part of any group. Or if they're on their own. If Cat is on their own, then I haven't found their base. But if they're with someone, there's a lot of bases we found. They're size small? Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, yeah, that makes it even harder, because size small gets what? It's harder to hit. Plus one AC. Yeah, because there's no bases actually built here. Although there is the one right there. That was for... Was it for thralling, or was it for... That's... Was that there? Was that there? I think that was there. I think I think that was there. I think. I. Hmm. I'll know when we get up to it. I think it was there. I don't think it's new. I think this was here. Yeah. Okay. The thralls are here. So we could go in and try and level with more brimstone. That's fine. We'll continue on for now. Origin. What the? <laughs> Was that the hyena that just made that noise? Oh wow, the croc has really moved off from its uh, normal spot. Do we want to go this way or go up? I will go down. Well, we haven't explored up to see if anyone's built. Remember there was that one place last time we were playing uh, when we did the Iron Man run? There was that one place that we found that we uh, had to blow into. <laughs> he got like half rated, but not like truly rated. That was up here. Let's go check that area. It is a pretty big place that people build in because there's so much iron available. What level do we need? 35 or 10 levels off. Hey, 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 here we go. We found something along the way. Always thought this was an interesting spot to build. So we've got tier 3 building materials. They haven't been online in a while. And they've had, it's not any actual damage, just people trying to see what's inside. Airlock. Yeah, this guy's. Doing some proper honeycomb here. Well, <laughs> or he was until someone blew inside. Cool. Uh, is there anything useful in here? Yeah, I can easily get back out. Or is everything taken? He's got the staff. Look at these nicer benches. Ooh. I think I need glowing essence. I always feel I don't want to. I if I can help it. I don't want to take things out of a bench because then people know I exist. I'll open. There's nothing else in here. Glowing essence is the only thing that could be useful for me. 
In Glowing Essence, we should just go and get the recipe to make. We should just go to the dregs and go get that. So we need to go there anyway to be able to make the Witchfire powder. So we'll, we'll wait on that. We'll not take anything. We'll stay invisible. We don't want them to see us on their log. There's more construction up here, it looks like. No, it's Pathfinder 2nd Edition, you believe? Ah, okay. Yeah, no, that's right, yeah. Alright, so there's an outside build? What's this? Party favors. I'm sure there's nothing in these. This must have been a house at one point, and that's all that's left. There's a box over here. Whose box is this? Yeah, I can see this iron up here. Just more people tend to build in this area. There's powers built here. Oh, what is this? Furnace base. Hmm. We'll make a note here. I'm trying to remember where else power is living. I was living down there. Okay, power. Okay. The sewing place, but there's a lot of stuff over there at the sewing place. Be expected. This one thief is going to be a hassle to deal with. Yeah, another vampire? Yeah, it's going to be. A real trial, that's for sure. I yeah, need to decide on what type of wizard he sh is, too. Ooh, um... I like... Someone who focuses on, like, illusions would be pretty cool. Better, better enchantment, because, you know, the whole, like, vampire enchantment trope. You know? Okay, so let's go and check over here. Let's check on this ridge. So that's where that guy was building last time. And sometimes people build up there. I don't really want to climb all the way up there. Yep, there you go. I just called it. People keep building over here. This is where that guy was last time when we raided. Throw him a curveball and make him an evoker. Oh my goodness. Surprise, surprise. You thought you knew what you were coming up against. Not a bad idea. Oh, I instantly know whose base this is. <laughs> it's, it's not English characters. Well, well, well. I don't know how I'm supposed to write his name so I know who he is. Oh, uh, he was horribly rated. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm going to figure this out. Well, he's rated, so does it matter? No. It's pants in there. Some of these base designs always look weird to me. Cleaning the furnaces. That just brings you outside. Brings you outside. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Just a regular hunting bow. Yeah, there's there's just nothing in here. There's a bed. Down to Chendu. Well, the rating is pretty intense around here. There is a build here. We were running around over there, and I just I always saw this place open, this open plateau down there. Just assumed. Oh, I know we were down there. What am I talking about? We jumped in there. And we we poked around. What am I saying? You believe it's Chinese? Yeah, it's Chinese. It's not Japanese or Korean. It's very straight lines. It's Chinese. Um, that's all. I, that's all. I tell the difference. If you put all three of them together, I can tell the difference. Um, because Chinese has a lot of lines in it. Japanese and Korean is a little bit harder to differentiate between. Especially since I don't know any of the words in any of them, but... Ooh, what's up here? 
I'm really going the long route to get over here, right? Or not really? No, we have to go here. I'm still going. I'm still on. Still on target. Still on target. But someone was building a jump into the heavens. What is that? Ah, it's cheeky. Okay. Look at all of the iron here. It's literally mental how much iron there is here. It's absolutely insane. What we should probably do is just, like, come over here at some point with a... Uh, when we've got Beast of Burden perk active and just clear out all the iron and just be done with one run. You believe that Korean has a lot of little circles in their letters? How's it going, Agile Bacon? Good to see you. Um... Maybe I, I would have I'd have to look at I'd have to see the writing to identify it. It's a lot of circles, yeah. Okay. I'd have to look at it. I don't recall. There is a build over here. A weird build. Looks like it might have been blown up as well. I wonder who's doing all the explosions. I'm assuming it's one of these uh, mega clans up here that we've yet to see. Revealing. Yeah, revealing got completely decimated. Oh, it looks like this would have been a really cool base, too. It was a dam base. What the? Hey, boys. A little more experience out of that. There we go. Yeah, Japanese is very flowy writing in comparison to the others. So if this Dragonborn needs to, he can teleport 90 feet, then a bonus action for an additional 100 feet movement? Jeez. Yeah, these guys are never going to be able to catch him. Yeah, this, the entire base is just completely gone. Oh, there's a person here. Oh, it's got a Delincia Snow Hunter. Wow, okay. He actually went out and grabbed the... Tier four. All right. Huh. Oh, I probably should have checked the decay timer on this. Yeah, the fact that Delincia Snow Hunter is not uh, attacking us—that means that we are out of the raid window. Yeah, what I want to see here. Get back in. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That is a definitive yes. <laughs> he got raided. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting raided. Our base is tier one. It's very visible. But again, what we're mostly doing is going through the journey steps and, you know, slowly teching up and getting experience. So even if we get raided, it won't be that bad for us. We can rebuild pretty quickly. There's a player that can keep up, the monk of the party. How fast is the monk? How fast is the party monk to be able to keep up with someone like that? I didn't bring any water with us. We'll have to drink the water before we go. And use the teleporter. Alright. Here we go. Did I go too far? I think I went too far. Who's that with those crocodiles? Ugly thing right there. Was I above it? Oh, I literally ran right past it. <laughs> 50 movement speed base? Holy, he's fast. Alright, we're just gonna sprint in and sprint out because of this corruption. We're literally just gonna sprint in and sprint out because of the corruption. We don't want to build up too much corruption if we can help it. Alright, we've gained two so far. Remember, we're supposed to have 210 health. Oh, you know what? I think I'm supposed to open the map. Yeah, I was supposed to kill a sorcerer and open up the map. I didn't open up the map. So I'm looking at it, it says, find the hidden sorcerer cave, and it still says find the hidden sorcerer cave. 
Even though I just picked up the Tome of Kurak. That's no good. Where is the nearest sorcerer to us? Let's jump out of this cave where we're getting corruption and see if I can sort that out. Oh, the fact that we have to do these in order is brutal. It is brutal. Maybe there's a sorcerer over there. I don't think so. I don't think there's a sorcerer there. We can. There's probably a sorcerer up top. We'll find one there. Yikes. Okay, we're down six health and six stamina now. Six health, three stamina, rather. Break up. Hmm. All right, you're out of here, Stormy Snow. I will right, we'll see you. Let's see, we need one, one sorcerer. Archer three. No, 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 no sorcerer. Uh oh, myself caught. <laughs> Don't do that. Armor, archers. Where can I find a sorcerer? We're gonna find a sorcerer nearby. So we're gonna have to jump back in. I think we're gonna have to go back this way. We have to climb if we want to do that, though. It's the best place for me to climb. Um, maybe I should go down to that base. Ah, you got me, you dingus! Stop that! <laughs> I gotta switch to a melee weapon. So it won't keep crippling us. Apparently today is the 10th anniversary of Margaret Thatcher's death. Wait, really? Hmm. Yeah, there's this spider cave. I don't remember if it goes anywhere useful for us. I'm not gonna go playing it. A little little house here that's got a hole in it. Daisies. How's it going, the Box Nation? Welcome. Thanks for the follow. How are you doing today? Let's see if we can get up from over here. So we need to go. We need to go up. We need to get all the way up. I think. Right? Is there a, even is there even a sorcerer up there? Man, I am blanking. I don't, I don't think we have enough stamina to get up there. Hmm. I don't think we have the stamina to make the climb. We'll have to go around. Sorcerer, sorcerer, sorcerer. Where is the nearest sorcerer? Yeah, there might be sorcerers up here. I mean, we could take this time to go to the dregs, I guess. We can go to the dregs. Right, there should be... A, yeah, no, there is a sorcerer in Skulker's End. So let's go over here, and then... So we'll go over here, and then we'll come back up here. So we'll get the obelisk. We'll go and we'll pick up the patterns for witch, uh, witch fire powder, which we need anyway. We need to go pick up the witch fire powder recipe. And we'll get the obelisk as well. So, okay. All right, cool, cool. We're not, <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what a waste of a trip. Nah, nah, we're still good. So good. Can I walk across this is this bridge? Yeah, it is good. Perfect. I still need to kill one more thing to level. Oh, dodging him. <laughs> dodging and waving. This hyenas. Brutal. Just keep running. We'll be fine. Our ankles will be fine. We'll just eat some steak. It's fine. Just keep running on a sprained ankle. Right. Made it back. So there is the shaman's respite. Shaman's rise. What the? He looks different. He's all red. Wow, we do no damage to this thing. There's our level. What if this guy gives us coal? Always use more coal. 
Thankfully, we've got a mace, so we do sundering damage. He's got a lot of health, and he's very tanky. So that sundering is helping to add up. Oh, jeez. Some frames here, please. Nice. Pick up that coal. Wait, bloodstone? Blood crystal? Blood crystal. Info. A crimson crystal that was harvested from the remains of a manifestation who was drawn to sorcery. It seems to be radiating with a strange energy. Okay. How heavy is this? 832. Jeez, that is heavy. Okay. We found a thing. I don't know what to use it for, but we found it. So there's that teleporter we're going to use. We're going we're gonna to test this teleporter and see where it actually sends us. But before we do that, I want to... Hello? Oh, rattling noise is interesting. Before we use this, because this teleporter, again, like... It's got five locations that are tagged to it. West... Um, so the west center of the dragon. North... Uh, Mechamos' spire. Uh, west of Shattered Springs. Woo! The South Abandoned Silver Mines. Perfect. So this, if we're not enclosed and we're not, like, captured and stuck in there, wherever we end up going to, that would get us close to Sephamaru to go and deal with our corruption. And South of the Dregs. Wait, South of the Dregs? It's literally where I'm going. No, no, that's not it. Yeah, isn't... I don't know where South of the Dregs is. That's Revealing. So we found Revealing's base blown up. And then we found Revealing's blade. Okay. Hmm. All right, we'll come back there. But yeah, Revealing's base is the one that was destroyed that we just saw. Let's take this one down. I'll pick that. Oh, an armor. Oh, do I want an armor? Okay, cool. So we will leave her alive. Leave that armor tier one alive. We want that armor. That armor will let us make heavy armor. The kide. Uh, won't let us do the journey step for it, but she'll let us make the kide. So we're gonna leave. We're gonna leave her alive over there. We're just gonna have to try and remember. I didn't bring my truncheon or anything, so we're gonna have to get leather. Which I mean, we could just make a tanning table, skin some hides, and make some leather. So that shouldn't be too hard to do. But if we can bring her home, that'd be great. Especially because the, as soon, when we get back home, our fighter will be done. Our fighter thrall will be done. And so being able to put her immediately onto the wheel would be beneficial for uh, for getting that journey steps done. Getting all those journey steps going. So that can get us up there. We want the sorcerer. And we want to go and get the recipe. And we want to get the obelisk. We have three objectives over here. Last time we came here just strictly for the weapon, because uh, we needed it, and, you know, there's there's no way we were going to be trying to fight our way through initially. <laughs> we didn't have any armor, we did we had basically nothing. So we're going to run straight through this first time, to see if I can remember where that sorcerer is, because I'm pretty sure there is a sorcerer here. Yeah, there he is. Uh oh don't slow, don't slow me down. Oh, we're gonna die if I keep this up. <laughs> Yog, what was that? Nope. All right, there's an armor one as well. It's cool. All right, cool. So we found the sorcerer. I was trying to see what level the sorcerer was. That did not work out well. So we'll go this way instead. Just gonna climb up here. You clicked on a video that titled "Can You Beat Darkest Dungeon 2 Without Grinding." And did not realize it's a nine-hour video. What are you doing? Watching one of my VODs? <laughs> Watching one of the VODs here? Four or five hour long? Sometimes they're longer. Still following, huh? Oh, it's the Cannibal Brute. I do not want to fight her. Just a lot of damage. We will be fighting her in a moment here. Ugh. Jeez, we might as well go inspect this guy real quick. 
We might as well go and inspect this really quick while we're here. Someone always builds up here. Who is this? Let's get him on the map. Actually, not nine hours. That's <laughs> ten hours? Golly. Jeez. This has been blown up. Son of Loki. It's had damage to it. It is a hodgepodge thrown together thing, that's for sure. Is this also Son of Loki or someone else? It's also Son of Loki. Yeah. It's a full upper base. It, was it destroyed and raided? I mean, the door's down. This door's up. Got some decay. Not much. Alright. Son of Loki. Oh, jeez, I'm over... Oh, no, I'm overheating? Oh, this is very bad. Why are we so hot? Oh, you know what? I know why we're so hot. You guys being cheeky. I'm pretty sure it's banned. I, think, I don't think you're allowed to do that. So, what you can do is... On a place where someone needs to climb... Right? You can have it where, like, some, where someone needs to climb... Is... If you take any damage while climbing, you instantly let go and fall. And, oh, there's a base over here. And something a lot of people used to do a couple years ago in Conan was they you would just put torches, just hundreds of torches, lining wherever you needed to walk. Because it would cause it to be super hot, and so people would drop. But it caused a lot of performance issues, because it would really put strain with all the Legion of Doom. It put out a lot of strain on the server because of, and the client side as well, because of all the fires. There's so many little fires, so many little flames. Who's this? It's probably the same one as we found before. Maybe this is what they do for their teleporter rooms. Build it looking like this. It's 9 hours, 40, 40, uh, 59 minutes, 1 second. It's literally 59 seconds off from being 10 hours. That's funny. A bunch of doors in here for Star Wars. I'm pretty sure this is just a teleport room. I'm pretty confident it is. Let's go get the dancing mode and go from there. I'm not going to mark it. Look out. So is it right here is where we get the dance moves? Yeah, dance moves. There we go. The Keton dance. How's it going, Rose? Welcome back. Surely fencing can serve the same purpose of control. Much more elegantly. It can, but it also, the thing is that if you go and you destroy the fence, you can then climb up the wall, right? If you destroy a fence, you can then climb up it. But the fence is what you're supposed to be doing. Do you stream for honor? No, I've never played for honor. Never have. I've seen some gameplay of it. Okay. <laughs> Can we climb this with the stamina we have? No, no, we can't. Wait for more stamina. Are you a fan of big, uh, For Honor? Have you played a bunch of it? Oh, that's what we're talking about. There's the base I was looking for. I was like, there's got to be a bigger base around here. So, although it's been blown out. Pick up more corruption while we're at it. Whose base is this? The oh, jeez, I'm down in the hole. It's not what I wanted. Just kept sliding. I think I've got enough stamina to climb out. <laughs> yeah, nice. Is there still like a big player base for For Honor? 
Can I climb? Can I let go? There we go. Yeah, can I walk yet? Goodness. Alright. Whose is this? Who are you? This foundation belongs to Revealing. Wow, Revealing just got annihilated. Someone just knocked him off the Oh, I knew it. When it said Southern Dregs, I was like, that's where I'm going, isn't it? So yeah, this is the Southern Dregs, and then that's the Southern Cavern of Fiends. Yeah, so the Southern Dregs is right here. Yeah, see, he just got wiped off the map. Someone came through and just hit all of his bases. It's got, like, nothing left here. Actually, these foundations look new. It's only 11 hours, though, until all of his stuff decays. So he hasn't been on in a week. So unless he gets on within the next hour, uh, next 11 hours, all the stuff's gonna vanish. There you go. You'd say there is? Nice. That's always good to see. I mean, he's sticking around. Go ahead and get this sorcerer here. We have to go and fight our way through, unfortunately. Oh, jeez. Okay, I thought she was the cannibal brute. Oh. Oh, jeez. They hit very hard. They hit very hard. You're stunned. Your heart will be eaten. Nope. Back up. Okay, she's down. Oh, she hits hard. Oh, there's no one of those, uh... Oh, it's a brute. There's no one of those, um, crystal rock noses. Should probably go get him. I don't know how important that stuff is. Taking that. Is this a cannibal brute? No, it's Archer. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna stay on target here. Ooh. Yes. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Cannibal brute is very powerful and hurts very much. Oh, she annihilated this thing. I was hoping he was going to keep her distracted longer. I'll take that. I can't help roots. Oh, she goes back to her post. Good, good. Alright. Combat, someone's attacking me. Oh, the swords are perfect. Exactly who we were looking for. Perfect. Okay. Iron light. What? Iron guardian light. Okay. Oh, nice. We wanted that. We want that. We want that. We want that. We want that. And I'll take that too. Nice. Got a good haul from him. All right. Let's go ahead and use this. We got notes, but no note on how to do sorcery or where to go for sorcery. That's not good. Um, well, that sucks. So I can get his passing note. It's good. That's really unfortunate. Okay, I was really hoping we were gonna be able to get a failed note, but we did not get one. We'll have to try and find one somewhere else. Hmm. Corruption used to be so fearsome. Uh, until there became so much of it, and so much. Uh, need to cleanse it that it became acceptable and now it's an annoyance it's true now it's just a little annoying but back in the day it was like no you you had to get rid of it mm. fighter three archer that archer's gonna be a pain but if i get the fighter three over here oh not the can uh, not the oh no Okay. Very quickly. 
I'm out of stamina. No. Drink. Luckily, they get, they struggle with pathing on that. Okay, on target. Oh, no stamina. Okay, he's dead. I need to kill her on this. Okay, good. All right, I'm ready. Come here. There we go. Oh, got her. I don't need that torch. Like that. Perfect. Got my torch. All right. Blood has been spilled. A sacrifice given. And down and down to the depths we go. Build pages will be all too plentiful once you start uh, partaking in sorcery yourself. Yeah, I mean, this will be useful, but... Ah, oh, yes, this is what I need. There we go. Trigger. Alright. Did I get what I needed? Fire? No. What's this? No. Wait, where do I learn which fire powder from? I thought it was from this. I got Dregger. Let's take a look at Dregger. Dregger. Blowing essence. Wait, so there's which fire? Was that what I needed? Which fire powder we learn on our own. Okay, perfect. Cool, cool. We're just locked behind the level. All right, we got what we need. Something I do want to check, though. We just got Dungeon Delver. Find find the dregs. Explore the dregs. Take this journey. Find the dregs. Explore the dregs. Find the Midnight Grove. Explore the Midnight Grove. Consume Flesh of Remembrance. I keep... Wow, okay. Not doing that anytime soon. But we can at least find the dregs. You'll need a glowing loop to make witch fire? Yeah, yeah. Now we can make the glowing essence. There we go. Found the dregs. Got them. A complete exploring the dregs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that later. Don't worry about it. But not now. We will do it. Ooh! The ranger armor. That's pretty cool. This is what I need. Map drop relieved. So I have to, like, open the map, I guess. So we need to go and find another sorcerer. <sighs> so I think instead... Let's go and play with this teleporter. Yeah, the glowing goop we can get. Uh, but we need the glowing goop to make the glowing essence, and then the glowing essence to make the witch fire powder. And so I, I couldn't remember what we needed. But yeah, I, I thought we learned the... Which fire power to there as well? We don't. There are actually three sorcerers in the... Wait, there are three sorcerers in the camp? Really? Get her, really? I'm gonna save her. Alright, let's go hunting for him. We found one. I just need to get the dead sorcerer's map. At the dregs, yeah? Excellent. Thank you. We'll let us hunt. I know that one there. I don't know where else they are. Ow. So no, I got that guy. Some sorcerers. Nice. Romer. Ah! John, what was that? A tier two medicine man. I see him. Right, we're gonna run back and reset these guys and come back in. If you know where the camp is, perhaps simply going directly there will fulfill the journey step. To the extent that the journey works as well uh, at all. Yeah, I mean. Oh, nice. He's still coming at me. Yeah, I killed him. No, just don't die. I need stamina! <laughs> I need some stamina! Oh, I can't. I just... I, oh my goodness. Just do not die. The problem is I, I can run away and not die, but the thing I'm worried about is that all of his stuff will despawn, because it does happen from time to time, obnoxiously. No! Thanks so much for healing. 
No. Run around the rocks. His body's still there, but sometimes items just despawn from his body. Or from bodies. Alright, good, everyone reset. I tried to run by and loot everything. Nice. Stone Guardian Leg, Iron Guardian Leg, Iron Guardian Empty Arm. Okay, we'll figure that out later. All right, use. No, it's just the notes. Ah, I don't want the notes. I don't want the notes. I want. I want the map. Running out of olive potions. Is there really one more? I don't know if there's one more. Found two so far. Ah, there is! You're right! Nice! Thank you so much. Oh Jesus, Sorcerer 3. I gotta I gotta go while Oh! <laughs> I gotta go while everyone's knocked over. Oh, and over. Okay, and up we get. Medicine man still on me or not? Let's patch up and get back in there. Jeez. All right. Go. Orchard boy. All right now he's still alive. Let's pick up this curio while we're here. Go. Down he is. Oh, I can't loot him because every time I hit to loot, I get pushed. Maybe I did loot him. He looks like he's empty. Maybe I did loot him. I thought I didn't. You're climbing. No! No! <laughs> All the sticks. <laughs> so many little sticks. Wrap up. <laughs> Alright, I get it. Oh, for the love of... We got the Black Kingdom's language, we'll learn that. Spells the scroll I already got, so we can we can drop that. Spells pages, we'll hold on to those. Failed ones, hold on to those, no spells to that. I just want a map. <laughs> I just want a map. Oh. Cool. I just Huh. I mean, it doesn't look like we can wear it, but something with it. Oh, I just want the map so we can get the find the hidden sorcerer's cave dealt with. Because otherwise, I have to run from here all the way back to base. Look at the map. Run all the way back here. I just don't want to have to do that. Granted, we are getting uh, spell pages. So, I mean, those will be useful for sorcery. So, that, that's at, least, at least it's not for not. But, we howdy. But I'd like to get this done. Sorcerer skulls, knocking out sorcerers in the blood crystals, or resources, um, getting metas. I mean, it's good, we need it, but I, I also would really much like to continue on with our journey here. Well, let's just go and thin the herd, I guess, while we wait. Ow? Where? I have no idea who shot me. Yeah, we have to wait for this guy to come back. Honestly, I think we're just gonna not. We'll just have to wait on sorcery again. Let's go and explore his other houses. We can always explore those and come back and then get from here. What the? Oh! <laughs> um. Working as intended. Okay. 
Seems like he keeps respawning there. That's good to know. It's not like he wandered in from some other location. Looks like that's his spawn point. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's use this teleporter. So what we do know already is that that is where we can go. We've already been. So there's only three locations for us to check. And we'll do this one last. So let's go check out North Mechamosis Aspire. Who knows? We might end up dying when we arrive, but still want to see who's got over here. All right. Oh, cool. It's been blown out as well. Yeah, I'll, I think someone came through his teleporter and just blew up all of his stuff. You can see our corruption is horrific right now, but it'll get better. Where are we? Oh, we're up here. We can actually go and get some thick rhino hide while we're here. We can go pick up some thick rhino hide while we're here. That'd be very good for us. Yeah. Okay. The tainted corruption will disappear soon. Because yeah, the unstable corruption, it disappears after a while, I think. Right? When teleporting, doesn't it disappear over time? Are we on that ledge that I like? We are. That building there is there. There's another two or three sorcerers at the camp near the safari too? Okay, perfect. Problem is, with my health being so low right now, there's not much I can do. There's a map room in the center, that's nice. That can at least get us back to the other obelisk if things go badly. All concave walls. Grab it. It does disappear eventually, but it takes some time. The longer the teleport taken, the longer it lasts. Oh, interesting. So distance actually matters? That's cool. We have to fight a rhino. Elephants are going to murder us. <laughs> we, we cannot fight an elephant. We have to fight a rhino. A few minutes, typically? Okay. We'll just have to be careful about it in the meantime. Lady Bits lives here. Someone else has a building up top there. Wait, entertainment! Entertainment? We gained entertainment. Is there a dancer up here? It says we're entertained. I hear her. Let's get stamina back up. Because we're entertained, we're healing. But our corruption isn't going down. That's as far as we can go. Oh, yes! Yes, we found a spot! <laughs> Losing corruption! We did it! These <laughs> veins on us. Nice. The tainted effect has passed. Yeah, yeah, but also we can remove all of our... We can also remove all of the corruption that we were building up to. So we can go back to having 210 health. That's big. Attribute points. One point. Do we want vitality or do we want grit? We should probably do vitality first. Okay. So now we can have even more health. Now, of course, it was, was going to hurt landing, but that's what you get for using all of our stamina to get up there and cling on for dear life. Looks like we're still missing one hit point, though. Looks like we're still missing a hit point. That's acceptable. We can function at 229. Alright, we just gotta take out one rhino. And maybe map out a little bit of what's going on here. So whose is this? Hello. Wait, Trayrens made this? Trayrens aren't even level 60 yet. Oh jeez. 
I was gonna go fight the Kudu, but now I don't want to. Son of Loki's vault. Ow. Gutted house, too. Oh, perfect. Yes, fight. Fight, you two. Fight. To the victor, they shall fight me. I right, do not fall in there. That is a trap. All right, it was blown all the way through, so it doesn't matter. It's little trap pieces. Let them continue on as they are. Drink up myself. Oh, that rhino's on me. Get up. Get up, get up. Yeah, the rhino died. Nice. Exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, so the rhino's dead. So now we go to Journey. And we go to... Here we go. Expert Armorer. Grab our skin knife. And we skin. There we go. Harvest thick hide from an animal. Journey step completed. Place bark and thick hide in a dryer. It's the same problem. It says dryer again when it's supposed to say tanner. In the dryer's inventory and activate it with, by pressing the play button. After the hide has dried to leather, take it from the tannery inventory for yourself. There you go. He's struggling with that, huh? Well, this is a great teleport. This is working out well for us. So I want to see who's up here on top of Swagger Rock. Let's go check that out. Looks like there's also building up there. It hasn't completely rendered in yet. There it is. It's behind the spire. That's where you, um, up there is where the, is it not, uh, not Yogg, the other one, a uh, set, the set priest is. Under the religion of set. Could run up there and grab it real quick if we want, but I don't think we're going to do that right now. We're going to kind of focus on this. I don't see any other builds at this range, at least. Let's climb up. Alright, so. We'll finish checking here. And we'll go check his other bases. This is blown into as well. Son of Loki. Okay, so Son of Loki got really knock knocked into, huh? Yeah, someone, someone had a... There might have been a war, honestly. With how... Ruthless it's been. Yeah, there's that door. If you haven't checked out the red light, it's worth looking at. It's a new location attraction. Oh, okay. I don't want to continue to focus on our journeys for the moment, but yeah, we can go check that out later. I'm sure at some point one of our journeys would tell us to go there. Okay, so we want to go back, but we also... Oh! Should go check that out. We should also go see about a sorcerer and learning about a map so we can get this journey done. I've done all the other things. I just forgot to read the map. I had forgotten to read the map and now we can't get the journey done. A little disappointing I can't skip some steps. Careful, elephant, please. Alright, what's up with this house? Who are you? Son of Loki. Wow, Son of Loki's everywhere. So it must have been a couple of guys. Not just one. Must, must have been a... I'm curious as to how big the clan was. It's definitely more than one. So it seems... So there's sorcerers here. Settlement may have to post more sorcerers. We're off to go check it out. Jeez, he hits very hard. These two-handed guys hit like a truck. Just 
Spider Threes. I don't know if I can fight this guy right now. <laughs> Here. Oh, there's another base. Here they come. <laughs> oh, gave up. Oh, nice. How convenient. Alright, we're going to run through and see if we can find the sorcerers first. Ah, literally right here. Don't mind me. All right, found it. Six-hour delight today? Oh, yeah, no. I mean, tomorrow's Saturday. Sleep in. I can sleep in. All right. Medicine man. Stamina. No, not two-handed boy. He hits way too hard. Two-handed boy hits too hard, especially when I don't have stamina. We really need to get the grit up at some point. But right now, I want more health so we can get that passive health regen. It'd be very beneficial. That's not who I wanted to target. <gasps> get out! Oh, golly. That's... That two-handed strike... I, I don't know, is this just me or they hit really hard? Goodness. All I want to do is murder this sorcerer in cold blood. Why can't they let me do that? All I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, it's Seiza. Hello and welcome, raiders. Hello and welcome. How was your stream today? Did you conquer more land? Did you take them for all they're good for? Yeah? Well, how's it going? It's going well. I'm struggling. We're still a little on the, uh... Not super strong side, but... Oh, can we get you to fight? We're slowly going through the, the new journey steps. I'll take care of that. Perfect. Okay. Medicine Man actually came to me. Alright. Please, fingers crossed. Please, fingers crossed. Dead Man's map. Come on. It's Note. Maybe it's because I already have one in my possession. I can't loot another one. Does anyone know? No one bankrupt? <laughs> oh, no. See, you went bankrupt? Oh, no. <laughs> did the did you at least manage to hold the territory together or or did it all fall apart went well ish we'll have to restart next time oh no <laughs> oh no ah oh, well that, that's part of the game right that's that's the whole thing with paradox games you don't always win right when it comes to paradox games you don't always win but hey you know we try right <laughs> oh that's a bummer Right, who's hanging out over here? Ranger. Ranger danger. He's got nothing in there. It's just a wall. Alright, I, I think it might be the case that we can only get one map and that's it. And we can't get another map once we found one. We've killed a lot of sorcerers. Like, a lot, a lot of them. Yeah, how many sorcerer skulls do we have? We've got four sorcerer skulls. We're going to turn those in. Turn these bad boys in for some goodies. Do that. But hey, so if you ever played this game, Final Exiles, House, it's a really good game. Totally different from the usual game you play, though. All right, we got gold coins and silver coins now, so we can actually make some alchemical base. Oh, yeah, we got some exotic flesh, too. Excellent. And we also got a, uh, a chemical base. We've got demon blood, and then we got the obelisk. Kind of crazy how good that is. You get so much just amazing stuff. I'm dropping that, dropping that off, killing sorcerers. Character looks like Shredder if he was in Conan, uh, Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, it's exactly right. He's even got he's even got the stare down too. Like check, look at this guy's eyes. He's even got the stare down. I'll get those turtles. <laughs> All right, let's go use that teleporter and see where else we can go. Don't hit me, Mister. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't do it. Uh, we're currently playing on a official server, official PvP server. So just anyone and everyone is still roaming around. Like, there's no whitelist, no blacklist. And there's currently... There's still a good number of people online right now, even though 
it's 3 a.m. Even though it's 3 a.m., there's still a lot of people online. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That didn't work. That didn't work at all. Oh! This Kodu is saying <laughs> me! Oh, my goodness. Do you want to go home? You gotta get through me! Alright, I'll do it. Yeah, sit down, mister. I'll get through you. In fact, I'll take you home with me. Alright. <laughs> Kudo. Oh, it's the daisies. Alright, let's check out the next next place we want to go to. Not there, not there, not there. The abandoned mine. West Ironbreak Ridge. Oh my goodness, West Ironbreak Ridge. Oh no no no, okay. I thought it was a different spot. <laughs> I thought I thought it was, it was talking about like up here. No, West Ironbreak Ridge is gonna be over here. So I must have missed his construction then. This is Chatham Spring. Huh. Go to this one. I want to check this out. The Jawbone. Another big structure over here. So this is where we go to get silver in large quantities. We're going to have to check out that house over there. And Sephamaru's over there. Well, let's corruption subside. You can buy a really good war axe from those traders with 15 opals. Wait, really? Only 15? I've got 16 on hand. The floating stone is roughly in the direction of its destination. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have to, the hard part is I have to re now remember location names because they're actually relevant. All right, who, who are you? I, mean, I could probably find out by just taking my repair hammer out. Stinky Nuts. This is Stinky Nuts base. Looks like he's expanding. Looks like he's expanding. What the? Who's building squares? <laughs> ah, yes. Aliens come to our world, come to Earth, on a vessel called a square, a cube. They are not but Borg. There's a whole bunch of Borg cubes down here. What is this? Oh, they're vaults. All well, Stinky Nuts vaults. He has all of his vaults covered. Why do you have vaults down here, buddy? Far away from where you want things. Oh, he's literally online right now. Uh, we're gonna back up. We're gonna back up right now. I'm not gonna get involved. We have so much taint right now. We're absolutely corrupted. I have no desire to get involved. We're gonna hang out right here. Just keep an eye on him. I think I'm out of range of vision now, though. I don't want them surprising me. Oh no, I've kept the medium corruption. The corruption hasn't disappeared. Wait, is the corruption permanent? I thought teleporting the corruption wasn't permanent. Is it permanent now? With the most recent update? Uh oh. You make markers on your map for the extensive network on the server you play on? Ah, smart. I think this corruption is permanent. I was under the impression it was going to subside, but that does not seem to be the case. Yeah. You need a dancer to cleanse it? Yeah, I do. It's more stinky nuts? No, it's Papyrian. It's currently making a bunch of stuff in here. If that's his base, of course. There's two people, and I'm encumbered to the point that I've got slow stamina regen, and I don't have a full stamina bar. I'm very nervous to jump in here. But I'm still curious. I'm curiosity. As we all know, we can't play safe. We gotta go find out. Alright, let's listen quietly. Alright, 
Ranger. It says the Legion of Doom, and they're active. There's two people involved in it. There's two people in that clan. That rhino boss. Um. Lie down. Perfect. Okay. Let's see here. Mission of Doom. And Stinky Nuts. Alright, marked on the map. <laughs> Got him. Still playing almost six and a half hours. Will there be a Conan Excel this weekend? Uh, maybe. We might be playing more of this tomorrow, yeah. We'll see if I can get the time. I believe the teleporter can make you corrupt down to nearly your last hit points, but corruption beyond 50% can't be permanent. Okay. That might be where I was confused on it. Well, I badly need a dancer then. If we're going to use a teleporter, so I don't want to teleport back then. Then what we'll do is we'll go through Sepp and Maru, we'll lose the we'll lose the corruption, we'll pick up some gold and the like while we're here. We'll get to this obelisk and see if there's a teleporter here to teleport us to the pit or the sinkhole. Sinkhole, we'll get back. And that's gonna be our move. Yeah, we're gonna go to yeah, we're gonna go to the tavern. Exactly right. Yeah. Oh, uh oh. Hardcore rubber banding there for a second. Cheering in. I could really use a Taskmaster. Um. Oh no, it's not two people. It's only one guy. He could totally murder me. I'm on the fence. I want to go up next to him so I can see who he is, but he could also total, totally murder me. Who is this person? Hello. Bone donor. Bone Donor is part of the Legion of Doom. This is good to know. We've learned information. He didn't attack me. Ugh. I was holding my breath. <laughs> if we had, if we didn't have corruption, I'd feel way safer. If we didn't have corruption, and if we didn't have, um, if we weren't so unbelievably uh, encumbered, I would have felt so much safer about that. But oh my goodness, I'm gonna hold my breath. Hopefully we don't run across any tier 4s, because if so, I'm going to have to get them. I know it's going to be real tough for me to do so. I could really use an alchemist. Fighter. Dancer 1. Oh man, getting a Dancer 1 would be great. Oh, that's right, I wanted to go and get the... If we're teleporting, we're going to get all this corruption again anyway. Yeah, for, maybe we just go back. Maybe we just head back. But the thing is, the corruption is going to... We're going to have this corruption unless I get rid of it. And then do what I can to avoid acquiring more corruption. Having such a small amount of um, stamina is brutal. You can also buy dancers for 100 gold coins. But it's all the way in Pirate Bay. Yeah, it's way too far away. I'd rather just go get a tier 1. And trainer myself. But yeah, having our stamina be this small is just painful. <laughs> it's painful. Uh, we're going to go in... I'm hoping there's a map room. If there's a map room, we're good to go. No problems. If there isn't a map room, life might be a little difficult. We'll see. Wait, what? If 
Found a cat. Adorable. <laughs> Fizz your top. Nah, now nah, we're not doing that. Well, these guys are hostile, aren't they? Yeah. We're in the hostile part of town. We do not want to be fighting. Let's get out of here. Although... <laughs> it's a hostile part of town, but underwater... Gold and silver bars. I'll happily take those. Should be another one over here. There it is. S what? Star metal ore is in here? And thick leather. Well, okay. Well, I guess we got that next part of the journey done. Make sure we actually breathe. Alright, cool. So we didn't have to actually tan it. We just have it now. Cook too. All right, let's get in the tavern. I'll kill the sorcerer. Yeah, I'm just too worried about having such low health. We're so far away. Coming back, like essentially all of our items here are forfeit. So I'm not going to be running all the way back. It's really far. All right, let's go and lose this corruption, please. What's this note say? Oh yeah, that's right. In the cellar. Regenerating? Oh, lose corruption. Thank you. Oh my goodness, my corruption. Okay. Right. So from here, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the obelisk here and hope, hope and hope and hope that they have a map room here on the server and we can teleport back to we're gonna teleport back down here. Otherwise we can run down manually. Don't want to, but we can. Back to the dregs. Because in front of the dragons, we can go and grab the armor that was here. The armor of tier 1. Drag her back. We need some leather armor. Uh, sorry, leather... Light leather if we're going to do that. We don't have any. Radium guardian head. We're going to have to figure out all this guardian stuff. Oh, the cat. Oh my goodness, we lose corruption so slowly here. Sit down for a minute. It's okay. In the meantime, we can plan out where we're going. The other option is we could go straight north and check out who's got... like Because up here, these are going to be the Alpha Clans. These are going to be the big, big boys. So we could go up there and check those out and see what's going on. But I'd rather head back to base and get Thralls moving. Because our Fighter Thrall is done, and we can get the next Thrall on the wheel. We could go get the next Thrall on the wheel. And that way we can start... I mean, we could pick up a Dancer from nearby. Uh, there are Dancers that spawn near where we are. Surely it's not too much trouble to teleport home. If there is no one... Uh, if no one is there to dance for you, you're in a better position to bring in someone who will. Yeah, I could track down a, a Dancer. The hard part is I need to get regular leather. I don't have any regular leather on me right now. We can go check some of the, some of the chests, see if we can find some. So we can find some regular leather, then we can make a truncheon. We don't have one right now, though. Yeah, so craft heavy padding. So we just have to craft the heavy armor now. That's easy. We need an armor to do more of it. No, no, we've got the leather. We can we can get that done. That's easy. This is Thrall in the World. We need to go do that. Mason, we're not going to get that done. Steelsmith. Are we level 30 yet? <laughs> no, we still can't use steel. Oh my goodness. Okay. We can get up at least. Maximum hell. Perfectly sated. Alright. Let's go and grab some of these... Some of these things from around here. How many hides and thick hide? Do you have stretch normal hides? So yeah, I've got... Uh, I've got 68 thick hide here. As well as more Rhino Hide, 132. And then we've just picked up the 15 leather, so we'll be good. We'll be good to go. We can go loot up around here. Uh, empty? <laughs> Completely empty. 
There's an interact around here. There it is. There we go. The point emote. Another one here somewhere. There we go. The clap emote. Who are you? Armor 2. I need an armor. Who could. Armor 2 is going to be tough. Whoa! 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 Hello! Looks like they've got either were busted into or haven't finished building. Who's this? This map from near the Warmaker dungeon. You know the server you're on, but I won't say it. Nice, thank you. But there's a map room near Sept 2. Okay, cool. And lady bits, okay. Oh, <laughs> I found it! I found the other map room. So the Star Wars and Lady Bits are both here. But I think these are for thralling. If I had to guess. I don't think they're their main bases. So then what we can do is we can actually we could grab someone and go. Oh my goodness, we found her. We found we found the one. Alright, we just gotta go find some light leather. We gotta find some regular leather. Some sorcerers over here. Let's go ahead and track down some chests. If we can get some light leather. There's one of them. There's chests on a bunch of these buildings. But the problem is, I don't remember where they all are. Uh, that's a person. They're thralling. They're checking all the people. They're going my way or no? Maybe. It's not helpful items. I think that one has one too. I'm just gonna stand here like a lemon for a moment. See if she comes up this way. Now she's going all the way around. She's going to the map room. We're fine. It's a very nice village. Yeah. So. One of the, uh, it's like the main place in the, for NPCs. If we attack anyone, we get in trouble, though. Yeah, I don't remember all these. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Ah! Come out of the tree! My goodness. What if they thrall you? Hopefully not. It'd be really bad. If still only the, that were part of the game, that would be kind of cool, though. Not gonna lie, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, these guys are missing. Alright, so I'm assuming she's not gonna go for that Dancer 1. So what we're gonna do is... We're going to jump out here. Alright, and break her ridge. Gotta love a sign that says nothing on it. Let you know there's nothing but potential. Who's here? Oakton. Or Orcan. Holy! Who's this? <laughs> Sands Casino? This place is very much falling apart. It's out of here in less than 24. It is if you roleplay hard enough. That's true. True. If you roleplay hard enough, it is. Who's this? Who built this monstrosity? Out of all boring sandstone. Come on, guys. We can do better than that. Orcan. Is this the Orcan space? All right. I don't know if he's still online or not. He was just a moment ago. Well, not just a moment ago, but like he was earlier. It's got an airlock in there, you can see it. Look, 
death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. That Orcan actually has another letter in there. Orcan. Okay. Make sure you spell it right. How's it going, Comatix? I'm do I'll do the best I can. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be cautious, but I'm also trying to, you know, see where people are so I can avoid, you know, getting in trouble with them. Trying my best. Alright. Giving up on that. We're gonna go and make it ourselves, the old fashioned way. What do we need? Crafting station. Tannery. Bark and wood. Okay, bark. Someone's building under there. Wood. It's not a valid place to build, it's fine. Oh, yeah, I'm not building under it, they're building right here. It's a beautiful build. How's it going, Sadness? How are you doing today? Who's this? Star Wars. Star Wars is literally everywhere. Like, no exaggeration. They're in every single, like, point, like, place of note. <laughs> Star Wars. The clan Star Wars is hanging out. It looks like they're still expanding here. Looks like they're not done. Goodness. Alright, swim to this side, and we'll get this going. Actually, I need to go kill one of these guys and skin him. Unless there's something else to do. Now, we'll go get this guy. Stamina. Alright. And... Skinning knife. Skin them. There's all the hide I need. Oh, I still have plenty. I have 350 something on there. I have plenty. You have many hides already from skinning animals in the savannah there? Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> I should have read that comment a moment ago. It just saved me a little bit of uh, trouble. Valid building location. We can build up here. In this flat place up here, we can build. I think. Can I not build here? Does this have to be on foundations now? I've only ever been seeing things on foundations, so maybe it has to be built on a foundation. Maybe. Building pieces, foundations. Nope, invalid. We can't build here. What are you? An armor three, tempting, but we're gonna go get that. Uh, we're gonna get that dancer so that we can deal with the corruption. Oh jeez! I kill this. Kind of. Yeah, I can get rid of it. Oh, it's very hard. Actually, it's not as hard as I thought. I forgot I wasn't at full health. Switch for some stamina. Ow. Just waiting for stamina, mister. Go. Got a feline hive over here. Okay. Where am I allowed to build? What? Two over. Got the resin. And... The hats, gloves. You hungry? Not really. Um. Drop the meat. All right, here we go. Crafting station. Tannery. All right, it doesn't have to be on anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a nice little space back here. Here you go, there you go, get started on that. Climb up here real quick. Let me climb up here real quick. Let's 
It's a nice little spot here. Well, sometimes people hide bases over here. In the sand. Nope. There's nothing I can see here. Might be more down that way. Even those can be eluded with careful footwork. It's true, yeah. Or the shield. Yeah, I do have the shield. I should have used that. I have the shield. At my disposal, I should be taking advantage of that. Alright. Builds over there. This place is... This server is just so full. <laughs> There's so much going on here. So many buildings everywhere. I'm just trying to get by. Alright, so we'll drop this off. My inventory. And we'll go ahead and we'll grab that. And we'll make a truncheon. Up with one more. There it is. We'll make that truncheon. And we'll make that binding. We'll pick everything up. Off we go. All right. Let's go grab that tier one dancer. And we'll use the map room to teleport back to the sinkhole. And we'll run back to base. We'll get her set up. We'll read the thing for the sorcerer journey. And I guess we'll go back to the Sorcerer Cave at some point. <laughs> because that's something we need to do again. In which case, we might just drop the... Let's drop these. We have to go back anyway. We'll get them later. You can bring captives with you through the map room? Yes, yes you can. Uh, it doesn't always look like they come with you, but that's because they're taking their time to catch up. It's because they're taking their sweet time to catch back up. Okay. Where was she? She was upstairs. Yeah, she's upstairs. All right. Here we go. Dungeon ready. It can be very glitchy. Yeah, it can be very glitchy. It's not. It's not a clean. Um, not a clean teleport. That's for sure. Okay, she's here. Don't want to, don't want to grab anyone else. Interact. Oh. Ponder. Hmm. Hello. <gasps> Follow me, please. Oh, jeez. More than I bargained for. Okay, he's reset, but she is perfect. One, two, three. Back up. One, two, three, and strafe. And then strafe hard enough. Any more stamina? Strafing. One, two, three. Two and three. It's gonna dash at me, I think. Nope. Okay. There we go. One, two, and three. At half. I don't wanna get bleed. I don't want her to start bleeding me out. No, come back here! No, we went too far. Ah. They coming to help? Maybe. I should have brought her back a little bit closer. Ah, oh, jeez, here we go again. Okay, they've all backed off. Is she still coming? Good. All right, we're gonna fight on the slope this time, as opposed to all the way over there. We'll fight here. Thank some hits. Just got her just far enough away that she went and reset. Really? Ow. Okay. 
Okay, almost. Down to a third. Down to a fifth. Let's tank through it. Oh, one more. There we go. There we go. Got her. Nice. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. We got her. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so with this tier one dancer, we'll get her converted very quickly, which is good. That's what we need. Also, who's so kind? Plus five noob slayer. Hmm, okay. Who's the kind person to build it? Uh, nope, we could go there. Yes, we'll take this one. And away we go. But yeah, so now that we've got her, we'll go ahead and get her trained. She's a tier one, so she'll train quickly. You don't need top tier dancers. You don't need high tier dancers. Uh, low tier is perfectly fine. You can see the... There she is. She made it. <laughs> tier 1 dancers are perfectly fine because uh, tier 1, 2, 3, and tier 4, there's no difference in how fast you lose corruption or how much additional health regen you get while they're entertaining you with their dancing skills. So it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to take the tier 1 because she's going to be faster to convert. And what's the story how... Z <laughs> and that's the story how Zelda got his wife home. I mean, uh, she's going to get some serious sand burns, that's for sure. She's, she, we're not going to the beach anytime soon. How did I miss that base? I have no idea how I missed that base. <laughs> I have no idea how I missed that base. Uh, the fiber bindings are still, are still working. Let's go find out who this is. Won't take long for us to get there. Who is this? It's all sandstone. Nothing special. Who are you? The Fallen Lords, and he's currently online right now. there. Except we'll put his name in when we're not running for our life. The Fallen Lords. Hmm. Unfortunately, they're right next door to us. <laughs> we're very much visible from there. Um, what? How did I not see? How? How did I not see this face? How did I not see this base? How? What? I'm so stunned. I ran past this base. How did I not see this base? It's huge. Perhaps it's built recently? I mean, it could be, but like... With the scale it is, that guy must... He... To do that, it's minimum... Ow, spiders. To do what he's been doing, it's like minimum 20 minutes. Minimum. Maybe like an hour. Otherwise, if the fortress eludes your view, perhaps yours eludes theirs as well. Right now, from where he's standing, if he stands from atop his his kingdom, right? He actually won't see our house. We're out of, um, we're out of render range. So he won't see our house. Our house is behind that tree, so we can't even see it right now. Our house hasn't rendered in yet. So you can get a, you can get an idea as we keep looking towards where our house will pop up. It takes some time for it to render in. There it is. It just popped in right now. So so long as he stays up there, he'll never see us. But I'm just stunned that I did not see him because I scouted this area. I was up there. Ah yes, our totally garbage-looking house. It's beautiful. Again, we'll be making a better one later. The ropes won't hold forever? Yeah, they don't. You can see the health bar below the rope in slot 5. It's almost out. But, uh, yeah, this house is temporary. This is just to get us up to up to and preferably past steel. Once we get to steel, uh, to hardened steel tier, we should be moving away from this house. Shouldn't be using this house anymore. <laughs> she made it! Wait until she's no longer jittering like crazy. There we go. 
All right, Journey. Brawl Taker. All right, we can just take you out. Put her in. That started. She's not a... Um, it's not a crafter thrall, so we're not going to be able to continue the, the journey that we're currently doing. The journey we're currently doing isn't going to get like further along after we place this guy down. There we go. Interact with the thrall. After you've placed the thrall, approach them and press E to interact. Tell them to follow you by holding E and choosing the follow command. Okay. Instruct them to attack. Okay, we can do that. It's got a two-handed steel sword. It's good. Tanner's bench. Drop this off. Drop this off. Anything else? Tannery. Gotta keep this rolling. Off the bark. Drop off the... Do we need the hides? How much of the hides do we need? Heavy. He has 40. Good gracious. Alright. We'll dump 40 in here. Get that going. Alright. Being so round is more uh, more than most architects can claim. Yeah, that's, that's true. Be oh, sorry. Being so rounded is more than most architects can claim. Very true. When following, thralls can be instructed to perform tasks by holding E, the command, uh, and command your thrall to move there, or press E once, twice, or thrice to quickly command the thrall to perform tasks such as moving to a location, attacking, or attacking an enemy. Get him. Inverter crafter. We will do that after the dancer. Dancer comes first, though. Come back here. You've done your job. You just need to go and get that started. Yeah, we're gonna get this dancing first. I mean, we could technically put a second wheel of pain upstairs. Nothing stopping us from doing that. Why don't we just do that? We can go get a crafter. It's 500 iron. Whoa. Just 50, please. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get my construction hammer. We're gonna have to deal with our inventory in a moment here, but. Pain. Twine. I don't have enough twine, do I? Nope. Not enough twine. Let's go ahead and take what? Let's take exactly 50, I guess. It's Harborian Fighter, please. Move here. Stay there. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe we can put this foot down. There we go. Perfect. Guess we can give him some armor. Let's go ahead and give him this armor. Uh, this. That armor. And give me this. It's a chest piece, yeah. Actually, is it better or worse? I can't remember. 11 armor and 14... It actually is better. <laughs> 14 armor and strength damage. Okay. There you go. You use that then. We'll go ahead and we can... Store this armor for later. Let's so drop off some stuff here. Not our building box. Not the building box. Building box. Here we go. Building box. I don't know what to do with all these, so we're going to leave those there for now. <laughs> Not too sure what we're going to get done with that. We've got a little bit of iron we can get rolling. Some steel fire we can get dumping here. I guess we're getting there. Yeah, we still need to get to level 30 before we can even use steel. Not even at that point yet. We're still waiting on it. We'll get there soon. Hey, Kidder. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. It's been good having you in chat. All right. It's going. Oh, we got plenty of gold and silver now. That's great. 
Get the bees out of here. Drop these. This, drop you and you. Dropped, that gets dropped. Make a thing of silk. Is the silk being stored here? No, it isn't. It's being stored here. Silk. So many spell scrolls too. All right, we're gonna need to go and get some more, uh, more boxes. We need more boxes. These boxes aren't holding enough. What am I missing? Wood. Okay, easy enough. Wine is the problem now. I'm just going to take all of it. Let's double stack our boxes here. Lock them. Lock them. Great. Uh, first things first. You Now we can rename these. This is going to be building. So you can see there's building. Here, with that in there is kind of building supplies, I guess. Nothing else? We'll dump everything else in for now. Well, the cats don't have a decay time. Interesting. <laughs> I guess just put them in the box in. Punch and meat. Hello, meat. Drop that off. Can't believe we found star metal. Nuts. Those 18 notes. I'm too sure what I'm going to do with those 18 notes. That tar, give me this. We're going to have you start working on that thick stuff now. Besides, we'll dump this in here for storage. Okay, and then for you, drop you off in here. Get this rolling for even more steel fire. Because again, we want to get as strong of a pile of steel fire as we can. Regardless if we can use it yet or not. Wait, is the meat box full? Not yet. Fill the meat box more. Okay. Perfect. I want to get more gruel going. So not this one. Seeds and that's all. Do we have any more? <laughs> a little bit of plant fiber. No more plant fiber. That's it. Okay, so should we get the tool? There we go. All right, plant fiber. We go. Grab the plant fiber. Plant fiber. Jeez, 400 plant fiber with two plants with a steel sickle. Oh my goodness. Uh, where is it over here? You can feed captives on the wheel with uh, almost any food, not only gruel. Yeah, we can do it with any of them. Oh, there's actually stuff in here. But the thing is, the gruel lasts the longest, it, it decays the slowest um, out of the cheap foods we can make. So I want to use that. That's my, that's my thoughts. But yeah, we can use anything. Uh, I've, I used to do it with steak. With the grilled steak, just because the savory flesh is so common, it's so easy to get. And that way I didn't have to deal with gruel. Because I wasn't going to consume it. But the fact that gruel, when you're starting to train people, when you're actually training them, right, for combat and the like, having gruel gives them the... Gives them the strength bonus, the plus 14 bonus to acquiring strength. Jeez. 95% chance of getting an agility. And it was this, what, 86% chance of strength? Below 50% of vitality? Ugh. Brutal. That's no good. That's no good. Let's stuff that in. Was it over here? Box. Go. Yep. 
Alright, so we're kind of waiting on this. Uh, we're waiting on the hides. Oof, this is gonna be a bit. Ooh, we got a point. Got vitality. Okay, so we can go and try and grab a crafter. I mean, a... Let's go try and grab a crafter if we can. Oh my goodness, the durability is four. I'm not even gonna repair it, we're just gonna throw it away. It has durability four. Give me that. This truncheon is getting kind of close to broken. Follow me. Alright, let's go see if we can go find a crafter. Preferably an armorer. If we can get an armor, that'd be great. Actually, an armor or a taskmaster, but there's no taskmasters around here for us to pick up. So an armorer is our goal. Why are they over here? The smelter too. The fact they're over here indicates to me that someone ran past them and kited them over here. And so that means that they've seen our base. What you got? You picked the wrong cap, Oops. Mate. Okay. Oh, hello. Here, check check out what I found. Shoes. You're welcome. Better three. It's got a steel cutlass. And dead. Uh oh. <laughs> Falling off again. Hey, we leveled. Nice. I bash his head clean off. Ooh. Well, that rhino hide's very convenient. Nice. Alright. Back up we go. Alright, 250 health. We're starting to slowly get a better health pool. Oof. If they aren't already resetting, uh, resetted, then the other person must be nearby. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I'm sure that that range of him being up there still counts. Holy good gracious, my heart! <laughs> oh, I just saw a face just show up in the middle of the screen. I was not expecting it. I was not ready. I was not ready. What was this guy's name again? Lord something? Lord, Lord something. Jeez. Our Harborian fighter shows up. Like, ah, the Fallen Lords. Oh my goodness. Well done. Thanks for remembering. Fallen Lords. Okay. Alright, cool. Unfortunately... I mean, you look at the map, you see that there's, like, right here is where we should have built to try and stay away from people. We haven't explored over here to see how densely populated that area is either. But again, this is kind of our setup and startup base, so... Let's see what happens as we go. As so many are, uh, who find themselves in these lands. It's true, yeah. It's true. Many a fallen lord can be found within the exiled lands. Man, the lag here. And yep. The follower leveled up. I don't know what he's doing down there because he can't knock him unconscious. I don't know if there's an armor in there. We're just going to assume there isn't and just go and blast through them all. An archer. Oh! <laughs> Fighter. Ow. What else we got? Fighter one. Where are you? <gasps> Braggy the Bold? We found the one and only Braggy the Bold. Sorcerer, no sorcerer scroll. 
Watch your flanks. Oh, jeez. Sorry, Brag of the Bold. I am not keeping you alive this time. I, I, I want to make sure we keep our guy that we currently have alive. Oh. No, Braggy, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Miss Downa. Well, I've definitely pulled aggro, that's for sure. Go for it. Get back in there. Get some big AoE swings. Clearing them out. Take Braggy down. Nicely done. Alright, what we got? Stone Golem Head. Okay. Nice, I'll take that for sure. Take those. Why is he still shooting at me? Doesn't he understand he's being mauled? <laughs> What's he doing? Um, that's his medium best. It gives him more armor, but he gets more damage right now, so I think we're gonna leave him with that. Tent. Okay. More iron. Good. So, is there anything here for us? In the sorcerer? In the sorcerer scrolls? No, no scrolls. Okay. Your fighter serves well? He's doing well, especially for being a tier one. He did a really good job. I am pleased. What's this outcome? You've pleased me. Well done. Did we level during that? No, we didn't level during that. Okay. Looking for an armor. I'm not sure if we're going to find one. Get ourselves a couple more ramps. Let's see if we can find an armor. An armor would be great. A taskmaster would be amazing. I'm just not expecting a taskmaster though. So I don't think there are any to spawn over it. Well, I think there might be some from time to time. Alright, buddy. Let me switch you over. Oh, for the... We got it! <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait, what? The map dropped by the dead sorcerers leads to... Wait, how am I supposed to activate it then? I looked at the map. What? Oh, you know what? Does the cave have a name? I think it didn't give me the cave. I, I think it didn't finalize the exploration of the location and give me the cave's name. Most likely, your task is to go in that cave. I've already gone in there, is the thing. I dropped all the stuff that we picked up from it because I thought we had to go back. Because I think we do. Is something in the effect of shield back hollow? So I think that's what it is. Is I went there and I thought it was like I needed to open up a open up the map. And that's what it would be. Find the hidden sorcerer's cave. I thought that would mean like on the map. <laughs> Read the thing. We're gonna get back in here because it's a sandstorm. Um That's what I thought it was. But I think it's we actually needed it to say shale back hollow or or whatever the title of the place is, and then it would count us as finding it. I think that's what it is. So you actually have to get it on the map. Storm doesn't reach this far north? Oh, you're right, it doesn't. Well, I ran for no good reason. <laughs> that's fine. We cleared out those guys. We can instead go down here. Check out down here. These guys over there, none of them are going to end up being armorers. However, or 
dancers or anything else I want. We already have dancers, but we can go to this one. This encampment over here, on the other hand, is quite likely going to have something we want. That shale back's not where it's supposed to be. That shieldback is not even close to where it's supposed to be. You'll dance for me now or swing for me later. Wow. Why well, am I am missing wildly? Me and me mates are thick as thieves. Hmm. Fighter. I don't know who that's gonna end up being. Death fighter. What are you? Oh. Archer. Blacksmith. Archer. There you go. Fighter. Book. Fighter. Nope. Nothing. That's just effort would be these ones, which is what? A dancer and a... A smelter and a fighter. Nope. Nothing of what I want. Darn. Oh, well, we can take the cook, but... Oh, the cripples. No. Oh, I'd be dead here. Oh, my friend's dead, actually. I left him alone for... <laughs> That's fine. We'll rely on the dancer anyway. Oh. It's fine. We'll rely on... Our plan was to rely on the dancer anyway. Uh, we only trained him up because it was part of the quest. We only trained him up because it was part of the quest. Oh! Don't do it. Me and me mates are thick as thieves. Oh, no big deal. Blacksmith 2 is actually probably what I should go for. You'll dance for me now or uh oh. Swing for me later. I'm getting stuck. Oh, I'm gonna die here. I need to get some stamina. And he's still on me, which is good. So we want to see. Roll. Yes. Perfect. Take that, cook one. Woo. A lot of stuff. We'll take all that. Stormy Snow is such. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry about the story stuff. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's get some weak potions in here. Okay. Back up here. We'll at least go and get his steel two-handed sword. Wrap ourselves up. Taskmaster always spawns in the exiled camp to the southeast across the river. Oh, you're right. They're right here. That's right. There's always a Taskmaster there. You're right. Oh my goodness. Her overhanded attack is crazy damaging. Very much ow. <laughs> Oh, jeez. My potions didn't automatically appear in my hotbar, like I was hoping. Wait. Where are my potions? Oh. Wait, what? Okay. No potions. I gotcha. Alright. Okay, game. <laughs> sure. Okay, then. <laughs> you just got here? I don't know, Sadness. I don't know how much longer we're going to be going. I don't think we're going another four hours. I don't think we're doing that much. Taking that. Okay, well, we, we whipped... 
You know, I keep trying to target the person directly in front of me, and it does not consistently target the person in front of me. It is oftentimes targeting the person behind the person I'm trying to target. I don't know what that's all about. Oh, jeez. She just hits too hard for me. Knock her down. Okay. Killed one of them. Move! Move. I hear her. Alright, vanish back up. I wish we had our potions, but for some reason it won't let me make any potions. I don't understand that. I, I don't understand why I can't make potions. That is baffling. I guess we'll just be relying on the old rough wraps. <laughs> That's all we can do. It's a bear, too. This could be something useful. What we get? I'm not waiting. Twine and feathers. Well, I mean, the twine, I guess, is useful. Feathers is debatable. You've got no chance, mate. Back up. No, no, I have no stamina. All right, stop, stop focusing on her. Oh, I got stuck on the um, the tent. <laughs> got stuck in the tent. Ah, right, second death today. Actually, second death the whole run. But yeah. Remind yourself Oof. that overconfidence is a slow <laughs> and insidious killer. <laughs> it's true. Ow. Luckily, she's already one-third of the way to being converted. And once we have her, we'll properly train her up. Get her in some proper gear. Good to go. Moving the mask while targeting lock... Uh, while target lock will change who's targeted? Wait, really? Wait, who's this? A cook one. I don't know what the Tafari cook one's doing over here. I'll have to go test that race. We'll figure that out. First things first, pick up my body. Alright, get rid of my body, get rid of the evidence. It's never here. Oh my goodness, okay. How many, how many severed arms is one person supposed to have? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a physician, but... Feels like a lot. Nope, get out! Ugh, I got stuck on him. Oh my goodness, okay. I need to figure out how to kill the I the two-handed is so tough for me. Two the two-handed fighters have been the only ones that have killed me so far. It's the two-handed greatsword fighters. Perhaps you can make great uh, potions now? Oh maybe. That's a good point. Let's try that. Maybe I can. Maybe it just took a death. Reset us. So the two-handed fighters with the greatswords? Oh my good gracious! A the amount of damage. Hello. A, the amount of damage, but more importantly, B, they black, they go straight through the shield. I can't block. I can only dodge. And unfortunately, once I get into a town, can't. I start getting caught up on other people or the terrain. Yeah, let's see if we can go and build ourselves. Where's my body? There it is. We can go build that. Away. What? Apparently I used the aloe. <laughs> Apparently the aloe was used and is no longer in my inventory. I don't know how that works, but that's it's a I, I Alright, what do you say, Conan? 
Apparently my 64 aloe wasn't real. Oh my goodness, I got two archers after me. Oh my goodness, right past my face. Craft 10 of those. I was just trying to test that. Bonk, bonk, bonk. I, mean, I guess this works in the end because we are clearing the ones that I don't want. I just want to get that blacksmith too. Stone and armor. I don't know where she went. Her body's gone. Vanished. Okay, more aloe. Alright, let's keep on keeping on. Looks like we'll yield more aloe. Yeah, that's what we did originally. When we first jumped in for making potions. We've got tier 2 potions back in the base. That I really should be using instead of these tier 1 potions here. Smelter 1 and a fighter, right? Yeah. Jeez. Thought I was connecting, but I was not. Okay. Right. There we go. Nope, get him! Look at when I miss. <laughs> Rexer, come on, man. Don't do this to me. Don't make me feel don't make me feel self-conscious about me still being up. I'm not good. Okay, potion and dodge. Potion and dodge. Oh. Yes. There she goes. Woo! Okay. Slowly clearing them out. We can just get this blacksmith. Okay, so now, we have just this one fighter and then the blacksmith. This way we don't have to fight the tier three. Getting called out, I know, right? She fell in the water? Ah, okay, I'll have to go back and check that. Hey Artemis, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Good to have you here. All right, Mister. You come here, but don't bring your friend. Oh, that, that friend's fine. Ar Archer's fine. I can sort out the Archer. Holy! These two-handed weapons. I swear they do more damage than I'm used to. Dodge him. Where did Archer go? Ah, he returned. You've got no chance, mate. All right. Two and three. Here we go. Watch your flanks. Me and my mates are so it begins. Oh my goodness, jeez. The fact that he just doesn't get staggered sometimes, even though I'm hitting him. Really brutal. The last potion, too. I don't think I can do it. I don't think we can do it. We're gonna we're gonna abandon ship on this one. I, I need a better truncheon. The tier 1 truncheon is just absolute garbage. It's very bad. I'm not even going to go pick up more aloe. We got plenty of aloe back at base. Let's head back to base. 
Let's focus on something else. We just have to wait until the dancer's done. We'll train the dancer on a couple of the uh, animals around here, and we'll take him out. Can't you just wait with uh, hitting until he's done with combos? I can, but it's going to take a long time. And the thing is, if you look at my truncheon, I'm worried that I'm actually going to have the truncheon break before we actually finish fighting him. <laughs> you have to make two attacks before being open to a counterattack? Yeah. I'm just worried that with how slow it was to break him down is that the truncheon is not going to finish. And the last thing I want to do is get him down to where he's like a quarter or a fifth of his consciousness health left. And then have to leave because the truncheon broke and I don't have what I need to repair it. <laughs> that would be so sad. So instead of rather back up. And let's take a look. How close are we to the next slaving? Can we do the next slaver? I think it's tier... I think it's level 30. So everything seems to be level 30, huh? Oh, that's not what I want. Don't do that. A higher tier truncheon or a blunt fitting. Yeah, it would help capture more. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, I accidentally hit the... <laughs> I just accidentally hit the screenshot button. <laughs> As I was trying to exit it out... Instead of hitting backspace, I ended up hitting the screenshot. It's funny. Is it in the survival section, you believe? I think it is. I was just hoping I could find it under Thrall, make my life easy. But the answer to that is a no. It's under wheel. Yeah, it is level 30. So level 30, we can get the iron truncheon. It's only three levels out, two and a half levels out. But we can go ahead and we can finish the heavy the heavy armor journey. We can get that guy done. Which journeys? Give me that. Actually, no. We'll take this. You get that and make me heavy. Go ahead and drop off the. Where's the hide? Here's the hide. This over here. That rolling? Go. You thought that was you? Yeah, because I hit that button. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. And we're back in here. Heavy heavy pad crafting done. Heavy armor is bulky and heavy, but strong. It may not be the best armor to climb mountains in, but it is offset by its unmatched damage protection. Craft heavy armor for the bench. Okay, before we do... So we could we could go and upgrade our armors. With the old savage armors here. Mujin armor uses medium, so I'd like to go and do that. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go get some medium gun. We need some regular old thick hide, which means I need to go and get that rhino hide and convert it. Because I used the regular already. There's that rhino hide. There's this, and then... Did I just, like, leave it in here? I did. Convert all the rhino hide over. Let's start making the kombujin armor. Heavy. Make the heavy chest plate, which requires iron, which I don't have enough of. It's a lag. We need to get another iron run going here. Off the iron. Heavy. This piece go. Get that done. Then we put it on, and it's over. Got it all sorted. Okay. So I'm gonna get this equipped. There we go. Craft a piece of heavy armor. Now we just have to wear it. Armor will grant you not only the. Okay, it's the same thing as it was for the other ones. 
It will not only grant you armor, but it will also give you protection from the elements. Expert done. Nice. Journey. Reward. Repair kits. Claim. Five advanced repair kits. Nice. Go ahead and drop them off in here. I think we're going to stick to the medium harness, just because of how heavy this is. But we'll hold on to it for our guy. Okay. Gloves. In this case, we need gloves. Where did I put the robot pieces? In here. The guardian pieces. That's it. Metal pieces. Iron dies. You off. Some steel in the like as well to drop off. Got a bunch of steel on hand, it's good. Okay, so that's done. We just need to get the horns and the thick hide and the leather. Made out of leather. leather. Alright. Leather, hides, mead. Looking for those. Any more twine? Do I have twine on me? Oh, yeah. 500 twine! I have so much twine on me. What? Right, make me five of those. An armor reduction kit can make a heavy armor less burdensome, but still protective. Yeah, no, we're going to need to do tinkering next. So we can get um, the blunt weapon fitting. We can go and get the uh, add-ons for our armor and whatnot as well. Yeah, yeah. No, that's going to be really good. Absolutely. The time was dropped by the bear. Oh, that's right. It was dropped by the bear. I completely forgot. I'm like, why do we have 500? That's a lot of twine just lying around. All right, she's almost done. She's almost done. Yeah, we're going to go and get the kombucha and shaman armor. It's my preferred medium armor. It's pretty strong. Not the best, but it's good. It's got 76 chest piece armor against the 59, so it is better than the standard medium, but it's not as good as heavy. Also, the 500 feathers, yeah, I should probably drop that off. Oh my goodness, please, menus. I lag when I'm trying to open up a uh, menu, and it just, it just lags out like crazy. Notes and map. Coins go in here, right? Yeah, coins go in here. Some here. Three. It's a little bit more. Let's drop off this coal. Go ahead and drop off this gruel. There you go. <laughs> Top her off. There you go. You're welcome. But mostly armor in that one. This one's still a dump chest. So it's full. We go on to the next. We'll do some serious inventory management in a bit here. But not yet. Not yet. We'll get around to it. Don't worry. The brimstone. Drop off the aloe. Take a stack of ten. Let me make eight. I'm gonna have to get more aloe. We don't have enough. Is it five hundred pounds of feathers? Heavy is five hundred pounds of feathers heavier than five hundred pounds of iron? Um no, but the feathers will fall slower depending on how you have them packaged. Depending on how you have it packaged, they might fall slower. Let's go ahead and let's get our full set. You, 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 you. And we're just missing the horns. And horns. Oh, I still only want some. Four back. And the horns. 
the kombucha armor. There are the horns. Alright. Because this gives us strength bonus and it gives us more armor. Also looks really cool. Looking forward to wearing this again. It's my go-to set. I guess, uh, except when we're playing and where we go and we get the Lemurian armor, which I think is better than Kombuchan armor, but not the legendary Kombuchan armor. I think that is better than the, Le the legendary Lemurian. All right. We are Shredder no longer. Nice. Feeling good. Rub all that off. It does reduce our carrying capacity, because again, this did give us 15 carrying capacity for each piece of gear. So, you know, 5 by 15. So, quite a lot. So, is that 5? The 75 additional carrying capacity. It's quite a bit that we no longer have to play with. But we have plenty of carrying capacity right now. We don't have to worry about it too much. So, next is we're going to need to get more iron going, so then we can get uh, steel rolling. That's the next thing we need to get up and going. And then Carpenter's Bench. You don't have anything currently active in the Carpenter's Bench going along. I need to go do that. I need to go do that. But we are going to go ahead and end the stream here. It has been a double, almost a double length stream. Way longer than needed. But <laughs> no, uh, don't worry, don't worry, sadness. I'm gonna try and see if we can get back again tomorrow. It's double length stream essentially, longer than normal. But then again, it is a Friday stream, an unusual stream, not a day we often stream, not a day we often get the chance to stream. But we're gonna have to go ahead and end it here. See if we can find someone to raid. We'll find someone to raid here. Um, let's see, who can we raid? Hmm. Thanks for the stream. Be well. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I'm glad you had fun. Glad you enjoyed. Let's go ahead and give Alta Funk a raid. He's currently playing Project Zomboid, a game I do want to play at some point. I haven't played it before, but it is a game I do want to play. We'll give him a raid. But the so hopefully we'll have another stream tomorrow. We'll jump back in, play even more Conan. Uh, the goal is to not play Conan on Monday. <laughs> The, our, our target goal, our objective, is to not be playing Conan Exiles on Monday. We're supposed to be playing Fallout 4. We're playing Nuka World. We're supposed to do that on Monday. As long as we do that, I'm going to call it a success. But we'll try and do some more Conan tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi, everyone. I really appreciate it. Have a good morning, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>